Hooray! <laughs> We could be excited in, and yeah. some of us have echo chambers. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Adam, where's the volume? Yeah. Uh, Hello. It's here, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> here, let me just get up to these little holes here. Yeah. Adam! <laughs> <laughs> I leaned forward and everything. <laughs> Anyhow, as you can see, this is a very silly set where hats matter because it's infinity. And we have some wonderful <laughs> friends here to play with us. So I'm just going to go around the table and introduce everybody. We have Maria from Good Luck High Five! Hey, everybody, today I'm cosplaying as the Ajani plushie that you can win in <laughs> <laughs> Pre-completion. <laughs> Rest in peace to a real one. Yeah. <laughs> Darkest timeline. Dark. Uh, Nelson, who Hi, are you I'm cosplaying? Here. Yes. I uh, am like a gender bent Captain Beckett brass, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. On guard. Perfect. Adam yeah, has hearing damage. Dark souls. <laughs> <laughs> I, I chose the hat most unlike me in our entire costume area. We have Cameron, who looks no different than normal. Yeah. Uh, my face mask was ruled not a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Serge, you look ready for action. Thank you. I feel as a judge, it's very appropriate to have like a construction or order like hat, so mm -hmm. I chose an appropriate job. I'll yeah. be administering stuff from behind the scenes. It's a real pull up your bootstraps hat. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just excited to go to your show afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Please. This is family friendly and tailor, sir. <laughs> Megan from Good Luck High Five. Yay. I like Canadian Mounties better half. Mm -hmm. oh, so yes. true. And last but not least, we have lead designer of the set, Mark Rosewater. Yay! Hey, I'm very excited to be playing Infinity. So I, I can't I can't wait to actually play this in front of all of you guys. So Yay! So the fun thing about this set is it is supposed to be, you're supposed to have fun with your friends. It's supposed to be ridiculous and casual and hats matter and there's a, a, a robot tribal themed archetype <laughs> that you can draft. So instead of doing our normal sort of six rounds, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three rounds and we're just gonna give those pairings in those three rounds 90 minutes to play as much magic and have as many hijinks as possible. Mm -hmm. So that is gonna be fun. This is not gonna be something we're gonna do for future PPRs, but this is a different set. We're going to do something different. We want to see how wacky we can make things happen. So, and when you, the very observant among you would probably have said, wait a minute, you said three rounds, but there's eight people in this draft pod. That is true, because tomorrow morning, before we send Mark <laughs> back to Seattle, we're going to have a, uh, a special fourth ultimate judge round show off featuring Nelson and Serge <laughs> with Mark as our table friend. Oh, Velvet Glove. <laughs> now, because of this, this is of course the ultimate judge show off, they're not just gonna have 90 minutes to be wacky because we know you are two very serious people, right? In fact, this will be a proper best of three and James has informed me that there's going to be some kind of prize on Ooh. the line. So, you know, pride, money, riches, fame, you can check it all out on the LRR MTG YouTube channel next week. Actual stakes. Ooh. I well, assume it's a piece of power. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Box vanilla, perhaps. Ooh, Ooh delicious. <laughs> James is going to take one of you up for ice cream. If <laughs> I just called that and ruined the surprise. <laughs> Wouldn't be much of a surprise. Well, we've oh, met James. So much of a surprise. He's going to take both out for ice cream, but only one of them gets any. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're just watching. Yeah, yeah, no, you both order ice cream. One person has to eat both. <laughs> <laughs> But Nelson's vegan. <laughs> <laughs> Sex to him, yeah. big vanilla cone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, before we get to the draft, I think it's probably important that we know how to draft. So, and because this set's a little different, we've done something a little different for you guys in regards to the dra the uh, judge video. And we have a wonderful video with Serge and Mark explaining how it works. So let's watch that now. Hi, I'm Serge, and normally with Nelson, we do the judge video for the PPRs, and here's my judge shirt, but I don't really need it today because I'm joined by special guest Mark Rosewater. Mark, for people who aren't familiar, what's your role with the set? 
Um, well, this particular for Infinity, I am the lead designer of Infinity. Okay. Um, but also, I am the Unrules manager <laughs> and the head designer of Magic. So I have many hats. Uh, but I'm very, very involved in the rules of this particular set because half of the cards in the set are what we call Acorn, which are what formerly was Silver Bordered, meaning cards that don't quite work in the normal rules. And then half the cards are what we call Eternal, which are normal cards that would work like, you know, any card normally works. I'm so glad you're here. I get very stressed out for having to do unrules, and I'm happy to put the burden <laughs> onto you. Well, let's start with some of the big mechanics from the set. And first okay. up, we have stickers and tickets. Yeah. How do those work? Okay, so the way the, the the stickers work is in your booster pack, On in each sheet, there's one sheet inside each booster pack. Okay. On each sheet, there are three name stickers, three art stickers, two ability stickers, and two power toughness stickers. So 10, 10 total. Okay. And the way it works is... A card will say that you can, it'll give you some number of tickets, uh, and the tickets are like energy. They are counters that you, the player, get. And then all the ability and the power toughness stickers require a ticket cost. Oh, so cool. So most cards will first give you some tickets and then have you sticker a card. When you sticker a card, you only can sticker a non-land permanent that you own. Mm. So it has to be a permit, not land, and you literally have to own it. You can't sticker a card you don't own. I bet you a lot of people want to sticker their <laughs> opponent's cards, right? right? They can't. You cannot yeah. sticker your opponent's cards. And if somehow you get your opponent's cards, even if it tells you you can sticker, you can't because you don't. You do not own that card. Mm, you can only a, sticker a card that you own. That's a very important distinction. And so the way it works is a card will say, "I'll give you usually some number of tickets, and then I I will sticker something." Some cards will say, "Sticker a name sticker, sticker an art sticker," but most cards just say, "Sticker a sticker," and you can choose what you want. If you're unable to pay a ticket cost, then you can only do names or art. You can't do, let's say you have no tickets or one ticket, the, the smallest ticket cost is two. So mm. let's say I only have one ticket. Well, there's no ability or power toughness I can use, so those will be off limits to me. But then you choose what you want to do, you put, it on the, you put it on the card. The way stickers work is, as long as that card stays in a public zone, which means people can see where it is, uh, the public zones are on the battlefield, yep. in the graveyard, in exile, and in the command zone. As long as in any of those zones, the sticker stays on till the end of the game. Yep. Uh, if it goes to a non-public zone, which is the hand or library, it peels off the, and goes back onto your sticker sheet. Once the sticker goes back on the sticker sheet, you're free to sticker it again if another card lets you sticker. I actually love that. And mm. the idea, and at the end, by the way, at the end of the game, they always come off. The stickers of never last more than a single game. Yeah. So at the end of the game, if something still has a sticker on it, remove it. Um, but because stickers can stay on in certain zones, like there's cards in the set that allow you to, for example, get a card with a sticker in the graveyard and put it on the battlefield, stuff like that. That's so. really cool. In Constructed, what you do is bring 10 unique ones, so it's, it's single 10, and then you randomly pick three at the start of each game. So you have some control where your stickers are, but not complete control of the stickers. And then in a limited game, if it's a draft, you just get the three you open. If you're playing sealed, you choose three of the ones you open. But you you can only ever have three sticker sheets. Oh, so okay, if you have okay, more okay. than three because you're playing some form of limited that has more than three boosters, you, you pick whatever three you want. And the way to think about them is they're a lot like, I mean, they're not technically counters or stickers, but yeah. they're a lot like counters in the sense that they just add abilities and add something onto a, a card. And because we have stickers to remind you what they are, it allows us to be, you know, to do more. Usually oh, when yeah. we do a counter, it's pretty simple because it, it doesn't say on it what it does yeah, so we flying yeah something, flying right? counter yeah. something uh so these are a little more have a little more detail to them and there's 48 sticker sheets other than power toughness there is no repeats no names repeat wow. no art repeats no abilities repeat hmm. the reason power toughness repeats is there just weren't 96 different power <laughs> toughness combinations so we, we we were obligated to repeat some power toughness combinations that's a lot of permutations. Yes. All right, let's move on. The next major mechanic in the set is attractions. And I've actually prepared an example if people aren't familiar. The card okay. is called Centrifuge. So it's an attraction mm -hmm. artifact, and it has an ability. Visit. Each player draws a card from the library of the player to their right. Mm -hmm. You may create three treasure tokens. And very notably on the card in the art, there mm -hmm. are six slots beside it, and some mm -hmm. of those slots have little numbers in them. So what is an attraction? How does it work? And what are those little numbers along the side? Okay, so the way an attraction works, attraction is a second deck, uh, much like contraptions work in Unstable. Yeah. So they do not have a magic back. They do not go in your normal deck. You randomize them and put them in your deck. In a limited game, you have to have at least three, but you can have multiples. Okay. In a constructed game, you have to have a minimum of 10 and a single 10. You can have as many as uh, there are 35 unique ones. So you can have up to 35 because it's single 10. Mm. Um, and then you shuffle them. 
when something says to open an attraction, you take the top card of your attraction deck, you put it face up on the battlefield. It is an artifact. You act. It acts like an artifact. Yep. The only difference is if it ever uh, would leave the battlefield, instead of going wherever you're sending it, it goes to the discard pile of the attraction deck that we call the junkyard. Oh, so it goes okay. to the junkyard. There's no way to get anything out of the junkyard. Sure, so once sure, it goes sure, there, sure, sure. it's just a place to put it so it's away. But it doesn't go anywhere else. Okay. You cannot play an attraction deck in limited mm. unless your attraction deck's at least three attractions. Okay. So there are two attractions per booster. You do draft the attractions, unlike stickers that you don't draft. Sure. And so if you want to have attractions, you have to draft at least three. Like I said, there's two per boosters. You have three boosters. You know, like, there's plenty of opportunity to sure, take three. Sure, sure. So I would try to get in the habit of, eh, take at least three. Take so at least three yeah, the or, or give it up entirely. Yeah. That's... So attractions, we talked about that little numbers on the side. Yes. So let's, let me explain what's there in play. Okay, now okay. that you have it in play. So you've played a triggered ability right. or a spell that lets you play right. a spell from your right. attraction Is this deck. open attraction? You put your yeah. attraction deck. Okay. Okay, as long as you have at least one attraction, at the beginning of your main first main phase, okay. you roll one six-sided die, and it doesn't matter how many attractions you have, you only ever roll one die, and then you roll the number, and on the attraction to the right side of the text is uh, one through six, and certain oh, numbers are lit up. Yeah. Whatever number you roll, you visit everything that's lit up. That's so cool, like um, jackpot, right? So if you roll a three, for example, you, like you would visit anything that has a three lit up. Mm. Nothing has a one lit up, everything has a six lit up. Oh, that's So if you roll a one, cool. you will never visit anything. Huh. If you roll a six, you will visit everything you have. Now I have to ask about the golden rule. Yes. For these attractions, mm -hmm. are they the same? Like, do they have the same number? So every centrifuge, for example, would it have no. three and six? They're all different? Yeah, so the way it works is, <laughs> uh, depending on the rarity and how many we have on the sheet, okay. um, there are, I mean, there's one attraction, Ferris wheel, that there's only one version. Okay. Um, there are some rares that there's only two versions based on how the rare sheet worked. Uh, and then there are, everything else has either four or six versions of it. Hmm. There's three different type of attractions. Oh, great. This is more informal, I guess. Uh, what we call rides, which are just things that represent the Ferris wheel, the roller coaster, the log flume, just things you would do at you know at a carnival music sure, park. Sure, sure. Um, and those have different effects. They, they often affect your creatures, but they, they do something. They have some general effect. There are what we call stands or stores, uh, like the concession stand, the costume shop, we're and those are here, those yeah. are where you you get things. You get a card, you get a sticker, you get a token. They mm -hmm. help you get something. And then there are the games, and the games are little mini games, all of which have a prize. So it'll tell you something to play. If you visit it, you get to play it. If you are successful in the thing that it's telling you to do, you win the prize, uh, and the prize will be something you get. And then if you ever win a prize, you get rid of the that card. It goes to the, to the junkyard, and then you open up a new attraction. So it sort of cycles into a new attraction uh, once you've won it once. You don't get to win it many times. You just get to win it once. Mm -hmm. If you don't win, it'll stay there, and you can visit again and try to win again. So they all function similarly in that they're all attractions that get yes. played the same way. They all get triggered yes. the same way. But they have very different sort of payoffs in how they, how they act in your deck. Correct. The other thing is, like I said before, other than the lights changing, all the attractions are the same, mm -hmm. the rules-wise, with three exceptions. Trivia Contest, mm -hmm. Superlatorium, and Scavenger Hunt. And those, each of the cards has different text on them because you're playing a game. And just to give you more different ways for the game to play, there's different text on those three. That's so if you're playing one of those, keep your eye out because yeah, there are yeah, different yeah. versions. That's amazing. All right. Any last thoughts on attractions? Are you ready to move on to our last sort of mechanic? I'm ready to move on. All right. The final, let's call this more of a minor mechanic mm -hmm. of this set is hats. So I have an example of a card that cares about hats. Grim's Barone, a midway mobster. Now they are a five mana five for legendary human rogue for three, a white and a black. When they enter the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on each other creature you control that has a hat. And then Grim's Barone has menace as long as you as a player are wearing a hat. Yes. So w what's going on here? So basically what we're looking for is at common and uncommon, uh, this is white black draft archetype is hats matter. <laughs> and so you want to care about whether or not things have a hat. Okay. A hat basically is a decorative item that is worn on the head. It should not be connected to other things like hoods aren't hats. And most importantly to this thing, space helmets, which are part of space suits, aren't hats. Okay. Although a lot of things that have space helmets will have a hat on underneath. So you sure. got to look. I was gonna. Um, I was gonna ask. Yeah, where's <laughs> that line between hat and not a hat? So it has to be able to come off. Right. It, it has to be something that goes on your head. That's decorative on your head. Um, just because something puts an object on their head doesn't inherently make it a hat. It has to be something meant for, de for to be decorative. 
Um, but we're pretty flexible. There's lots of different types of hats. The other thing is about two thirds of the sticker sheets have a hat sticker. So if you put a hat sticker on your creature, it, is, it now has a hat. Of course. So here's the important thing to remember. Uh, it says has a hat, so it does not need to be wearing the hat. For example, Carnivore Barker is a card, uh, a little dog that uh, that gets you to come see things. Sure. Um, he's holding his top hat. Ah. He's not wearing it, but it says has a hat. So it's fine as long as they have the hat. The other thing is it's referring to the card uh, that the creature is. Sure. So if you're talking about there's a creature in the foreground, that's the creature, and then there's things in the background, things in the background having a hat don't matter. It's talking about the creature whose hat is in. Does this creature have a hat? I love they don't, this. They, they don't have to be wearing it, but they have to have a hat. All right. I have a very important question specifically yeah. about like uh, old brims here. Yeah. So it says if you're wearing a hat, you have an ability. Can yes. you put a hat on at instant speed as a combat trick, or do you have to sort of decide when the game starts if you're wearing a hat or not? Oh no, no, you can. I mean, you could choose to take your hat on and off. Uh, when your hat is on, uh, Brims, for example, has menace. Yeah. When your hat is off, Brims doesn't have menace. Uh. So, for example, you have to understand correctly when you need to care about menace. Sure. So, for example, I don't want to take my hat off and then attack. Sure. Because yeah. then that I don't, I wouldn't have menace. Yeah. After blockers. But if I, <laughs> if I have a hat on and I attack, and then they, they declare blockers, I can take my hat off if I want because menace doesn't matter at that point. I so, love this. Yeah. Well, let's move on to a very broad conversation, which mm -hmm. is just judge and rules philosophy yes. in an unset. So, an yes. example like that. So, people can be sticklers for rules yes. in this game. What are we What are we looking for in general in telling players how it comes to judging and understanding how an unset works? Right. So, one of the things is as the un uh, you know rules manager. Yeah. Mostly, what I want to do is I want to make sure that things are are clear and that people are having fun. Okay. That the number one goal of the uncards, the number one reason we make Infinity and sets like it, is to have fun and, and enjoy magic. And it is you know the opposite end of the spectrum of sort of serious competitive play. Mm. This is more social and casual. And so, when you are making rules, when you're doing something. Thing, hey, keep that in mind. You know, this is not about rules lawyering. This is not about, you know, trying to suck the fun out of it. Sure. It is trying to, you know, I like to be as open and turf as possible. One of the things that happens a lot in ungames is yeah. crazy weird things come up. And so, yeah. look, you and your opponent should judge and figure out what you think makes sense. Um, if you you and your opponent just can't agree, we do what we call outside assistance, which is you can get someone not in the game yeah. and they get to be the tiebreaker. Somehow you and your opponent can't agree. But usually we like you to talk and come to an agreement that you both can agree to. So talk to a friend, have somebody like, look, we can't figure out what this is. This is your decision now. Yes, if you can't agree with your opponent, you go to outside assistance. They they break the tie. I'm amazing. I absolutely love that. Any last things you'd like to add, just in general, for the spirit of Infinity of the Rules? We, we just touched on the outside assistance, not interference, outside assistance. Outside assistance. I mean, mostly what I want to say is when you are uh, playing in tournaments, like, Read the cards, understand what's going on. We do. We spend a lot of time and energy sort of explaining what the cards are doing. Often, reading the card will answer the card. Sure. But when you get in situations that it doesn't, uh, there, there is an FAQ that's posted on, online. So we, we've answered a lot of questions for you. But if something falls through the cracks, because a lot of weird things that can happen, you know, use your best judgment. And once again, stay in the spirit. We're, we're, we're trying to have fun. You know, this is all about sort of embracing the fun side of magic. So keep that in mind as you're doing the rules. I mean, what a great way to end a talk there. So for those of you watching at home, hopefully this helped clear up a lot of the mechanics on how the set's going to work, and as well as ways to resolve if things don't make too much sense. Mark, thank you so much for your time. Uh, you're welcome. And hope you enjoy playing the set at home. All right, now that we have a better idea of how to play a game of Infinity, we're going to draft. But before we draft, Mark, what are the archetypes? Okay, so here are the ten, the basic archetypes are two color archetypes. Here are the ten two color archetypes. First up is white and blue. White and blue is about names or name stickers matter. Uh, it very much, it, it's an evasive deck and it uses names as a means to help you get evasive. So it cares a lot about names and name stickers. Blue black is uh, dice control. And what that means is blue and black are the two colors that most manipulate die rolls. Blue can re-roll die rolls or roll extra dice and pick one. Black can uh, make die rolls go up or, or down by one. So it's a control deck, but you want to sort of play with dice cards. And remember, attractions all roll a die. So whenever I talk about dice being good, attractions are good in a deck that care about dice. Next up is black red. Black red is about high roll. It, uh, it it's sort of a it's a controlly deck in the sense that it black and red are really good at destroying things, and it sort of wants you to roll dice and roll high, and then. Uh, Good things happen when you roll high, and it allows you to win the game. Uh, Red-green is uh, a dice matters, and it wants lots and lots of dice. 
uh, and uh, attractions once again are very good in any sort of die rolling deck. Uh, and you get rewarded for usually every time you roll a die and if you roll three or more dice in a turn, the scars that reward you. So you just want to be rolling lots and lots of dice in red-green. And that's kind of our mid-range deck. Um, next is green-white. Green-white is an ability stickers matter. Um, ability stickers and power toughness stickers care about tickets. So uh, green-white is one of the color combinations that's good at generating tickets. And basically the idea is you want to get a lot of creatures out because green-white are the creature colors. And you want to build up your creatures with abilities and then attack for the win. Uh, next up is uh, White Black. White Black is uh, Hats Recursion. So it's a recursive deck, but it cares about hats. So you want to have lots of things that are wearing hats, you get rewarded. Remember, hat stickers stay on in the graveyard, so you can sticker things to give them hats if they don't naturally have hats, and then you can recurse them out of your graveyard with White Black. Um, next up is Blue Red. Blue Red is Art Matters, and Art Stickers Matter. Uh, and so you want to get a lot. Ideally, there's a few exceptions to this, but mostly you want a lot of stickers on a lot of different cards. The Blue Red cards tend to reward you for having lots of things with Art Stickers rather than just one thing with lots of Art Stickers. There's a few exceptions, um, but mostly you want to spread your Art Stickers. Black Green is uh, attractions, attractions, attractions. It just wants you to play and visit a lot of attractions. Usually Black Green has stuff like, if you visit three or more attractions in turn, there's rewards. So it just wants you to play a lot of attractions and then visit them. Uh, Red White is uh, Robot Aggro. So it's uh, all the robots in the set, most of which are clowns. Uh, you want it's, uh, it's an aggro deck, it's aggressive, but you can pump them up if, if, if you do Red White. All the robots are Red White or, or uh, colorless. Uh, and finally, Green Blue is Power Toughness Matters. Power Toughness Stickers Matter. Um, and like Green White, it's the other color combination that's good. It's sort of a ramp deck. It gets you mana, it gets you tickets, and then you just make your creatures much bigger with stickers and then attack. Um, and those are the ten archetypes. types. Perfect. And one more thing to remember, when you are drafting Infinity for yourself, when you open the pack, you take out the land, you take out the stickers, you draft everything else. Well, take out the token, the token. Oh, and the token. <laughs> Almost got it right. So take out the token, the land, and the stickers. Those are yours. Everything else goes around the table. And now, without further ado, we finally get the draft of our activity! Well, I'm very excited to open these packs with my Ajani hand. <laughs> Uh, how, how, how you doing there? Well, it's not working. <laughs> okay, Is it because you don't have thumbs? Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> Just claws. Watch your eyes. Look at the cool stickers! Can we talk about on. just how absolutely beautiful these lands are, though? Oh, oh my so god. Oh, yes. Oh, my god. Yeah, and there's Here's two mine. different cycles of spacic lands. There's uh, Sorry, the one spacic lands. Basic lands yes. <laughs> the, uh, there's ones that are the planetary lands that are on, on the planets. Uh, and those, I think, are about three out of four. Like three out of four packs will have that. Yeah. And then about roughly one out of four packs will have the, um, mm. what do we call them? The, the ones that are in space. Uh, like the name of them. But there's the ones that are set in space. Uh, and then one out of 24 times, you will get a shock land, a space shock land. Mm. Uh, this will always be in the, your full art land slot. Oh. Wow. I wonder how good this is. You know? Uh, what do I choose? I want all of these cards. I know. Is that a problem? I've decided to take the silliest one. I looked at all the cards and one made me laugh and I was like, yep, that one. that's my first take pick. That one. <laughs> I'm gonna take that one. So the back of the, there's a little thing that says, collect your ticket counters here. And then the back of it has uh, a little excerpt from the Astratorium waiver. The Astratorium is not responsible for any loss of property, limbs, or lunch caused by participation in the following attractions. Teferi's Time Twister, Chandra's Incendiary Experience, the Sliver Hive, Handshake with Phage, Ashiox, Unnervatorium, Elish Nord's Prank, Phyrexianizations, the Chaos Warp, A Day in the Life of Stuffy Doll, Lasers, the Musical, the Rod of Ruin, the Croxa Simulator, or the Shark Typhoon. <laughs> For people new to this set, how much fixing is there? Like, oh, sure. can you aggressively be three colors or more? Or um, there's a little bit of fixing. There's two, um, 
There's a basic land that can tap for any color. There is an uncommon land that taps for any color of the shirt you're wearing. So <laughs> if you're wearing the right shirt, you can get the colors you need. Uh, and then there's an artifact that can search out a land, but only of a different art. Uh, and then there's a green there's a green card that can get you land. So there's 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 a it's you can splash a third color. I wouldn't say it's easy to play a third color. That set is not set up to play three color decks normally. I mean, you can splash a third color. He literally did a whole thing where he talked about the ten pair <laughs> color arc. But that doesn't mean that easily supports <laughs> three color or not, you know? But yeah, that is fair. That is Th fair. This is why you're playing the best of three round tomorrow with a prize on the line, Surge. <laughs> That's why I gotta ask these questions. One of my sticker sheets has the word playable on it, so... <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's pretty good. Now you know which ones to play. Yeah. I mean... This stuff is... Oh. This is really good. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mark, <laughs> sending over the skate of the pack. You see our t pack here, everybody? Yeah, check that out. <laughs> sure. Okay. What do I choose? <laughs> I don't know. Mm. He's picking things. Cool. Ready? I mean, I'm still picking, but you can send it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow, that's cool. deck is already impossibly cool and I've only drafted three cards. Oh, congratulations. Hmm. I mean, you may as well concede now, Nelson. I'm happy to do that. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh no. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't want to go off the table. <laughs> there you go. I'm drafting so much slower than Mark. <laughs> I might have drafted the set before. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> In fact, I believe I've drafted this set more than any other human on Earth, so... Mm. And la last week we did, a, we did a make a wish and for the very first time ever we drafted with the, the Make-A-Wish, and so... I, I oh. actually got a draft with Magic cards once before, with li the little cards once before, so... Oh, wow. Oh, shiny. You know what? I, I know how to interpret a signal. And I've got some signals, and I have my lane. And you know what? No matter what else happens in this draft, <laughs> four picks in, I've chosen what's happening, and I'm not moving off it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We're not drafting unstable, we're drafting <laughs> infinity. <Yeah. laughs> Where are the host options? Hmm. For the person who says fan of most everything, he was like kind of sad that we're not wearing costumes. We ordered costumes. We had our very <laughs> good friend, uh, Olivia Gobert Hicks. She made us Astratorium Jub Suits. They're done. She overnight shipped them on Monday, and FedEx lost them. So, there were supposed to be costumes. Yay to her. Boo to FedEx. Mm. Hmm. 
Seems fun. I do like the answer in chat of guess Mark has to come back for another draft when we get them. <laughs> We're going to have to invite everyone back. I'm down to do this again. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so am I supposed to be like remembering which stickers I have when I'm making these draft picks. Is <laughs> I mean, you should look, I mean, you should look at to be aware of what you're capable of doing. Yeah, OK. <laughs> the only stickers we're going to have access to in the game are the three sets Correct. that we yes. open up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Right. <laughs> Found your pick. That's a good one. Where there's a mechanic, like, record the number of times you laughed when reading this card. Target creature gets. <laughs> Can I have the, uh... Oh, the skate. There you go. The skate. <coughs> Oh, sorry, Perk. <laughs> <laughs> hard to draft because you have to consider so many other things <laughs> that you don't have to consider in a normal draft. <laughs> so, be aware, originally we had you draft the sticker sheet and it was so mind melty. We're like, mm. oh, okay, yeah. okay, let's listen to that. So I will say out there, for people, if you play this and really get into it and love the complexity and everything, you can draft the sticker sheet. It's just really, really, really hard. Preview cards, so I'm gonna pick that. Loyalty. Yeah. We appreciate that. I here. designed that, so I'll keep that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Mark. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Playing a dangerous game. Adam, is, can I grab this? Card? Yes. Okay. Sorry. I want to grab your now I have to look around the room to see if the things are here. Oh. There certainly are a lot of things in this room, so. <laughs> I just keep looking at this forest. It's so pretty. Mm. Mm. What have I already taken? Everybody? Look at my island. Sick brags. Yeah. That's really cool. nice. But look at the very rings pretty. on this. Here, very pretty. See my island. This is some Neptune Ep Oops. action over here. Yeah, that, that's pretty. That's a pretty island. <laughs> oh, by the way, for, for um, people watching my draft, there's my sticker sheet. This, this ability is quite the ability. It costs five stickers, but it's really a good ability. 
five tickets. Sorry, dude. <laughs> God, there you go. <laughs> Roller skate cam. Mm. Okay, the table is not the optical illusion of the table. I'm trying to get just enough pressure that it stops. Yeah, that was good. Here, so. Keep seeing what you have because I just passed it to you. I have to not look on the next on the next round. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing over here. I have no clue what this is. I've just been staring at my sticker sheet, wondering if this pylon that's rubbing its belly and tapping its head at the same time counts as having a hat. Because it looks like it's got another little pylon on top oh. of itself. You know? mm -hmm. Wh which which the sticker of the pylon? Is that a hat or is that just the pylon's that's body? The, the top thing? Yeah. That is a hat. Oh no, the oh. thing on the bottom left. <laughs> the bottom left. Hmm. Oh, this? That's not a hat. All right. That is a robot. But does the robot have a hat? Oh, does the robot have a hat? Yeah, that's what The I'm robot asking. does have a hat. Yeah. Good call, good wow. call. So if we put that sticker on another card, it's like well, now the, that the, card has, has a hat. hat. Well, the, but the problem though is you, the, it's the creature who the card is has to have the hat, yeah. not the background robot on the card. Yeah. So, but you're, you do have a hat on that sticker sheet. Okay. The, the, yeah, yeah, the that, that's, ER that's, thing that's a hat. Yeah. So you do have a hat. But just one. <laughs> so this is an awesome card, by the way. If you are at a tournament with lots of people around you and not playing in the studio where you're the yeah. only game playing, um, just as a side note, <laughs> I won't be playing that in my deck. But <laughs> yeah, there's like strategic advantage to trying to ask people to play games in the friend lounge <laughs> while <laughs> you're playing your match <laughs> on screen. Yeah, one of the things about this set is. Where you play will greatly impact power of certain cards. Mm. So, all right, everybody ready for pack two? Yeah, okay. yeah. Sure. Not, not looking Maria. Don't look my pack card. <laughs> <laughs> okay, remember, take out your sticker, your art, and your token. Oh, what is my sticker? Look at my sticker, everybody. <laughs> oh, here's my here's my whoops here's my sticker. The clown robot is so cute. Oh, so cute. There's two clown robots. There's two treasures, two foods, and two clown robot tokens. Do you wanna you wanna show that off on camera? Oh yeah, I'll show that off camera. He's a he's a very festive folk. Uh, right? Yeah. And then there's another one that throws pies, I believe, is the other <laughs> one. Yeah, I'll get back to your clown Thank you. And then where's my oh there's my there's my forest. Oops. I tried to figure out where there's my forest. Hmm. Oh yeah, gotta then, take this. Oh, and the, and uh, the ticket, bo uh, the <laughs> ticket bucket bot That's is for cool, you to right? track your tickets on. Get things to the basic. So yeah, awesome. so the if you open a shock land, it's the, in place of the basic, right? Yeah, yeah. I One out of twenty-four times you get a shock land. I got, so. a, I got a godless shrine. Oh, Ooh. nice. And then yeah, you just set it aside, and that's yours. Nice. It doesn't get drafted. Oh uh, yeah, just set it aside. That is yours. Dang. Mm -hmm. I almost passed my pick. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, here's the best Hand card. Hand it over. <laughs> there you go, Mark. Oh, not sure. Okay. I now have two planes for my new draft lands that I'll be using after this set, everybody. Mm. Brain, please. Brain, we can do this. Okay. Brain. <laughs> brain. Brain. Come on, brain. There's brain. a there's a follow-up question in the chat a lot of people are asking. If you open a Rav Duel. Yeah. Can you put that in your deck? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can play it. Cool. Um, the Normally in stores, the reason they put the land aside is not to have people fight over lands and sure. sort of keep the lands. But yes, you can play the lands you open. Well, there you go, Adam. Very Sweet. cool. <laughs> Slammed. I have to look at it. I have to go there. This way. Enjoy those. 
I will. Wow, this pack has so much good stuff for me. Oh, I have to do more. Yeah. Mm. Uh, not the good pick, but the fun pick. Sigh. <laughs> This one seems cool. Have to do a quick check. I love the callouts to uh, other cards and sets and stuff in the unsets. Who yes. knows who this guy <laughs> is? <laughs> I had to do a check for this card, but I, I checked. I'm good. How am I doing, Chad? Does my how's my deck look? Pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Can I just take this pack? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Canadian question here is a Tuca hat. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What's a Tuca? What's a tuca? <laughs> <laughs> really glad someone really asked. That was the setup. Yeah. 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 It's a warm what winter is hat. That? Yeah. It's a it's a knitted cap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> From bee, Canada. A bee yeah. is what Americans call them. A Tuca. Yeah. That's a much better word. <laughs> Just a Tuca. Just a little toot. <laughs> oh, you're going Ooh, out in the snow? One. Don't forget your toot. Don't forget your toot. Your little ears are going to get cold. <laughs> I sometimes worry when our Minnesotan guests are here that my Canadian will slip into Minnesota and I won't even know what's happening. Like, <laughs> have they have they usurped my accent here? Yeah. What's going on, eh? Hmm. Mark, I've got a question for you here. Yep. Does a TV, mm -hmm. which is a preview and a reflection of myself, count as a mirror? No. <laughs> no. No. Interesting. Okay. Also, if you read the card, it has to be on a wall. Okay. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> what about on the back side of a blackboard? Because <laughs> <laughs> because that's what we have in the prop. Yeah. God, you just sit down and start like decorating the set <laughs> with the various props you need. Oh my goodness. I love it. Every card for my deck is in the same pack, but at least it's funnier now. <laughs> <laughs> A cool card. S 
also, if we have an ability that allows us to put a name sticker on a permanent we control, we can yes. only put it on one that has a blank space, right? No, no, not true. You can okay. put a name sticker on any card, okay. and it can go, it's additive, but you could put it anywhere in the name. Okay. So let's say, for example, it is a grizzly bear and you have dark. Mm -hmm. It could be dark grizzly bear. Okay. It could be grizzly dark bear. It could be grizzly bear dark. Okay. Sounds like a candy bar, but um, <laughs> anyway, so you can choose, it. you you don't cover the name, it mm -hmm. has to be added, but you can put it anywhere you want in the name. Okay, but it has to go in the name, like, yes. bar? Yeah, okay. it goes where the, in the name area. Sweet. What colors am I? <laughs> so, at this point, what a good question. Yeah, Whatever really colors question. you have in your head. Check your sticker sheet. Maybe it says red or black on it. <laughs> okay, for drafters at home, you should be drafting this. They don't know how good this is. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Wow, I want to know. I want to know what it was. This is a very, very powerful card that they don't know. We just got mega. I can't believe this is still in the pack. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, you see, this is what I knew I should have been doing, but then I didn't do that. You know what I mean? It's like every F and M, you can go and see like a casual, you know, like um, corner ball diamond near your house next to the middle school. I can't believe this is still in the pack. But every now and then at the PPR, you get someone with a degree, and yeah. I can't believe this is still in the pack. Mm -hmm. And they just present like a TED talk mm -hmm. of I can't believe this is still in the pack. Yeah, I mean one of the things about this set because th there are some really weird cards that it can be very hard when you first see the card to really understand it, because it's just a weird card that does something Magic's never done before. Um, but having played with some of these cards a lot, it's like, oh, this, this <laughs> card's actually a lot better than you might realize at first blush. So. My curve's more of a straight line. <laughs> so to answer a question someone asked on the board. Uh, if you have a big top and you don't have any colors on your shirt, it will not produce anything. It cannot produce colorless. Although, hopefully, if your shirt has black, white, red, green, or blue on it, but if it does not, if you're wearing like your all-yellow shirt, you will get nothing out of your big top. I, I may have uh, dressed strategically today <laughs> in case oh. I open one. Like struggling to figure out okay. whether I can add blue or black. Are we uh, able to open the last pack? Everyone ready for so, pack yeah. three? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so first, let's see my sticker. Oh, Ooh. an egg. <laughs> and then take spooky. out Spooky, it has the word spooky. Oh, great word. And then my land. Oh, my land. Gone robot. <laughs> you also a very powerful card, everybody. A very powerful card. <laughs> What? <laughs> this is just for you, Mark. Just for me, okay. There's a card in there. It's just for you. Just for me. God. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. So we'll have some fun with this one. Make Megan looking out for me, so. No problem. You know, <laughs> we all want what we all want. <laughs> all right, fine. <laughs> How can it happen? You may ask. Oh, I, I don't know. Something, though. What? I need the way to cast it. Okay, I gotta. You're if you're gonna figure it out. I I'll believe. Figure it out. I'll figure it out. Oh no.
Ooh, look at that one, everybody. Look at that attraction. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty good. Ski, ski over to me. Oh, what am I doing? No, no, no. You I need this. I there. need this. So that I need <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> We're, we've solved it. Another one of these, can I? Or can I? Uh, I can. It's your right. Turns out. Yeah. <gasps> Good camera noises. All right, picking up my signpost uncommon in pack three. Seems good too. I think my deck's really going to come together next pack. Yeah, same. over an ability for a full 10 seconds just now and then realized mm -hmm. this is a 3-3 three, three for 3. I'm taking it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always do the vanilla check and then see if I... Yeah, I looked at the top right, I looked at the bottom right, I stopped looking at the cards. <laughs> it was a weird draft. Yup. Yup. I definitely want to play this card. Two is just dry for me because I think I was in the right colors. I think. In fact, two is just a unlucky circumstance considering how packs one and three went. I need a 
classic mistake here in my draft. What's that? I'll tell you in a second. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> you made one of the all-time classic blunders. Yep. Starting a land war in Asia. And betting against the Sicilian when death was on the line. I didn't draft three attractions. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh. I was so deep in doing something else, I'm like, oh wait a minute. And I, I think someone before me took all my attractions, so. <laughs> I, oh god. This is pack three for me. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like a wall of attractions. So my deck's not very much about attractions, but it has a few attraction cards, which yeah, I mean, get maybe, much worse. Maybe this will make you feel better. I took six attractions and like one card that can open an attraction. <laughs> <laughs> Skate me, Mark. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh we're not done. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well. We've got a couple cards left. <laughs> Give me that last one. That one's going to make it right hey, there. Hey, nice following, Ben. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a really good action. <laughs> that's, that's a pro. Sure. That's a pro. <laughs> Are we ready for our feature? Feature length action film now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have a cool thing I can do, but I gotta talk to the team if they could shoot it. So we'll see. Wow. <laughs> All right. Has everybody done their draft? I think so. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. So here's what's gonna happen next, our wonderful viewers. In we're going to take a short break because we got to go sleeve our decks, we got to build our decks, and all of that stuff. But while that is happening, we have a pre recorded chat with Graham, Mark, and Sean Baby, uh, who worked on the set to just talk about. I don't know, I haven't actually seen the video. What did you guys talk about, Mark? Uh, the writing of flavor text. Talk about the names and flavor text and how. Perfect. Because all three of us worked on the names and flavor text, so we talk all about it. So we're going to have that video. That's going to go for about half an hour. And then we're going to come back and we're going to have round one, which is going to be me versus Mark. 90 minutes of goofy magic showdown. He's got no attractions. I've got so many cards. <laughs> you said you had to draft them. So I was like, all right, noted. Attractions, attractions, attractions. So this should be a great match. Mm -hmm. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Hi, folks. Graham here. Now, ordinarily, I would say, from Loading Ready Run, and that is still true, but for the purposes of this interview, I am here as a member of the creative text team for Unfinity, something I'm very proud of and not likely to shut up about anytime soon. The rest of the creative text team, bunch of great folks, was our team lead, Ari Zarulnik, a flavor text veteran, Austin Bridges, Loading Ready Run's own Kathleen DeVere and Cameron Lauder, and my two guests right now, internet comedy writer supreme Sean Baby and the one and only Mark Rosewater, who is... Mar Mark, what's your actual job description over there at Wizards? Uh, I, I'm the head designer of Magic the Gathering. And in the realm of Unfinity, you're also uh, Mr. On Every Team? Uh, yeah, I led every single design team. So I led the Explorator design team, I led the Vision design team, I led the Set design team. So I led it from the very first day of design to the very last day of design. So how did Unfinity come to be? Let's let's start with that. Let's sort of give you the floor for a bit, Mark. Uh, okay. How, how did Unfinity start and where did it end up? Uh, Unfinity was, I think, the only time that I did an unset where someone came to me, uh, other than the very, very first one, that someone came to me and said, we'd like to do another unset. Usually it's a, it's a struggle getting unsets made. Uh, but Unstable did very, very well. It got reprinted four times. People had a lot of fun with it. So after Unstable came out, someone actually came to me and said, hey, would you like to make another unset? Which is a crazy thing to ask me, but they did. Uh, and I said, yes, of course, of course I'd like to make another unset. Uh, and so the inspiration, uh, one of the things we try to do with unsets is what is a cool thing ma magic normally does, but we can kind of do it through the lens of, of an unset, of a set that's geared toward more casual play, more humor, you know, unsets have a certain sensibility to them. Uh, and so the idea I latched onto right away is I wanted to do a top-down set. So, for example, um, 
Uh, Innistrad is a gothic horror top-down set. Uh, Throne of Eldraine is a fairy tale top-down set. So most of the idea of a top-down set is you start with some sort of thing that's familiar that the audience knows, and then you try to say, how can we capture it with magic? How can magic do this well-known area of tropes? How can magic capture that? The goal of an unset is to try to do things we're not going to do in normal magic. So uh, my art director is named Dawn Mirren. Dawn had worked with me on Unstable, and she and I both signed up again to do the unset. And so I said to Dawn, I go, okay, I want to do a top-down set. I want to do something that's super flavorful, but I want to do something that normal magic probably wouldn't do, because that's kind of what unsets do. And so I said to her, okay, why don't we go away, and in a week we'll come back and we'll share ideas, and we'll, and we'll go from there. So we came back a week later, and Dawn said, okay, I have it. I would like to do retro science fiction. Back in the 1950s, there was this sort of idea of what the future would be. And so she was really interested in doing science fiction, but through the lens of retro, the retro pop, sort of a 1950s take on it. I said, well, I kind of want to do like a circus, a carnival, an amusement park, something that's very sort of fun that has a lot of trope space in it. Um, and so we looked at each other and we said, could we just do both? Could we just do a retro science fiction space carnival? And we said, yes, we could. And from there, that, that's what we made. So how did you get from that point to something that also included the actual magic IP in the world? We were trying to come up with stuff and somebody drew uh, a fortune teller, like a, like a robotic fortune teller that looked like Jace. We get artists together for about three weeks and we just sort of riff off ideas and like build the world, build the visual sense of what the world will be. So somebody in that drew what would end up becoming Fortune Teller in the set. And we just, we were enamored by the idea of, uh, the park is run by someone named Myra, Myra the Magnificent. In fact, the official name of the park is Myra the Magnificent's Intergalactic Astratorium of Fun. Myra is, she does what she needs to do to make the park work, right? And so we got the idea, like, yeah, she'd rip off people, you know, she'd, she'd do whatever she wants to do. So the, the, the thing we thought was really funny is it has a magic IP to it, but eh, Myra probably didn't actually uh, ask permission to do that. Uh, and so <laughs> a, a lot, like, for example, uh, the Ajani plushie, eh, it's the wrong eye that's out, you know, that's, that's out. Like, it's just sort of like, you know, there's this running joke in the park that, like, eh, not all the things are technically correct. The fact that the park could have a magic theme to it let us have all this opportunity to sort of make fun of magic in a fun way. And so uh, once we realized that was, a, like, that was an opportunity, we just ran with it. We're like, this, this is awesome. So then, Sean, aka Sean Baby, how did you get involved in 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 this? How what's your experience with magic prior to being involved with Infinity? Uh geez, I played a lot in 1995 and uh, 1996, I suppose. Once I started playing it, I think it probably uh, grabbed me more than any other game. Like the something about magic's like basic design is probably. Uh, the most influential thing on me as a as a game designer so when i'm not writing the jokes i do game design and um i can sit there all day and debate about how much a card could cost for example like that's the kind of system design i really nerd out on and so uh i played a lot uh and i can say with that ego i got a little better than my friends and then it sort of became no fun for me or them and just stopped playing after that so it's been a long time since i was like hardcore magic player i'd get into about every two years revisit it so this was uh very nostalgic for me getting involved with magic. So this was your first time, obviously, working on doing anything of this kind of doing the creative text for, for actual magic cards. It certainly was for us as well. It was us and you and Austin and Ari and Mark. And uh, then it was sort of like, here's all these cards. Um, some of them have some suggested names, but they need they need names and flavor. Yeah, go I, I for really it. Liked- I like this process a lot. Uh, like the internal tool we had, there's sort of a, a social media just for magic card writers, which was great. And so uh, occasionally we could sort of build off of each other's ideas, which I thought was pretty helpful and it's unusual. It's called Lore Seeker, by the way. Lore Seeker, mm. of course. <laughs> yeah. Find it, find it at home. Uh, <laughs> so I really liked doing that. I liked when someone made like a, a pretty mediocre gag and someone said like, you know, we could punch that up a bit. Uh, I'm sort of a solo writer, so it's nice to sort of be back in that writer's room setting. So that was fun. It was a good project. How do you, Mark, having worked on, you know, not just other unsets, but other magic cards in general, how do you approach 
sort of this mostly blank slate of, all right, here's a card that maybe there's some art for it. Come up with a name and flavor text. The, the thing about names and flavor text I have found is it's a lot like poetry in the sense that you're trying to convey a lot in as little space as you can. Mm -hmm. And so really, you know, if you're trying to get the right name to the card, it's just a matter of like, what, what are you trying to convey about the card? What, what exactly are, are you trying to say about the card? And then flavor text is usually, what is the angle you're trying to take? There's a certain style stand-up where you have a lot of like one-liners that are very quick and short. Mm -hmm. um, and the very first time I, I, first, I started doing um, flavor text, my comment to my, my girlfriend at the time, now wife, was, oh, this is a, this is a lot like writing stand-up. <laughs> <laughs> I found that the two, the two like challenging aspects of this for me was one sort of coming up with, as you say, like a concise little one-liner that's good flavor text that in this case is also funny because the whole point of this set is that it's supposed to be funny and everyone, you know, everyone has their own opinions of what actually counts as funny or not. And then the other one that I found interesting was that there'd be some stuff where you'd see what the card did mechanically and you'd see the description that was given to the artist and you'd see what the artist submitted. And so you have the the art and the mechanics of the card and you could sit there and and think I don't actually know that those combined get across the story that the designer was originally intending for this card, how can I then use this next level of the flavor text or the name to really tie this all together to explain, like, to explain the joke or explain the mechanic or sort of like tie this card up in a bow and be like, this was the was what the, the original designer, I believe, intended. There's a really good example of this in, in Infinity, a card called Mistakes Were Made. Uh, the card shows you this art, and the art shows, like, something's been demolished, and they're, like, knocking it down, and there's this, like, little alien squirrel that's, like, running out of the rubble. And then the card talks about how you get to destroy something, but then, like, if you see a fire extinguisher, then you get a green squirrel. Like, it's, it's really... It's a very weird mismatch. And what I realize is, okay, the only way this all makes sense is if a fire destroyed everything. So, like, if if this was the aftermath of a fire, it explains why things get destroyed. It explains the fire extinguisher. But, like, nothing inherently about this said there was a fire there per se. So, like, the note we gave you guys is, there was a fire. Explain why there was a fire. Who wrote this? Did any of you guys write this? I believe this one was Kathleen's. With Kathleen, okay. Because Auntie Grub is a pre-existing character referenced in some Lorwyn cards, if I recall correctly. Yes, yes. Yeah. Something I found uh, really fun about the about the creative team and that um, uh, that sort of philosophy of the Astratorium uh, was that uh, because we were given the world guide where it's like this is what the Astratorium is like, this is what Myra is like. You know, it's it's fun and, and, and exhilarating, but you know the rides are breaking down and there's all that stuff. Um, but that. Uh, the creative text team, uh, so like myself and the other folks and Sean, uh, that we also just sort of decided uh, to really try to get across the notion that, yes, all of that is terrible and the rides break down and it's, you know, it's like an exhilarating place, but it's also scary and all that. But it's not a bad place to work. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we were really keen on being like, no, no, Myra pays a livable wage and there's benefits and it's, you know. <laughs> We were like, we're going to we're going to make this not be uh, a bad place to uh, be an employee. <laughs> yeah, I think um, what's the black card? There's a there's a piece of flavor text that does exactly that. Um, yeah, um, I think it's Night Shift of the Living Dead. Yes, Night Shift of the Living Dead. That's the card. Yeah. Yeah. At the Astratorium, even the dead make a living wage. <laughs> yeah. In in what limited world building uh, uh, we can we can add through the names and flavor text. So that was one that we were all like, yeah. As with any tropes, there's things you want to avoid. Like there's like, you know, whatever the trope is, there's some tropes that were kind of ugly tropes of the past that you just don't want to do. And so like one of the things that's really important to us is nobody's mistreated here. Like the employees are mistreated. The performers are mistreated. Nobody, none of the animals are mistreated. Like mm -hmm. there, none of that was happening in this. You know, there, there might be, Myra might be doing weird stuff, but no one, every, everybody that works for Myra was taken care of, that Myra was very careful to take care of her. And that, that was the theme that definitely runs through things. Sean, from your perspective, uh, coming into this, you know, as you say, like you had, this is not a kind of writing that you've done in a while. What were some of the, like, what was a challenge for you here? 
I think the challenge was just being probably five years out of date with my magic lore. So it was <laughs> like, they were all sitting around like, hey, let's make some great magic jokes. I'm like, right, like my the Shivan dragon joke is going to real land like 20 years after that card's been banned or whatever. But so I, that took some research, but I think it's okay. I think, I think it turned out. Okay. You sort of sit there and let your brain expand through everything you've ever learned in your entire life. And uh, the more you've learned and the more, you know, the better this will be, the longer this will take. And uh, then anytime it pings against something interesting, you do the process all over again about every little thing. Then you check with yourself. If you suck, you check with yourself if these are all other people's ideas. And then anytime your phone rings or someone comes into your office, you have to start the process all over and it shatters your heart. And that's <laughs> writing. And it's, uh, if, you should, if you can do anything else, do it. I, I think that was Kurt Vonnegut. Uh, I don't remember. But yeah, that's, that's the process here as it was in all things. Is there any of the submissions that you had for this set that you were either like really banging your head against or that you were conversely just sort of like, oh yeah, no, I got this one. This, I nailed this. I think I at least banged my head against every single one of these. Uh, <laughs> there was a Herloon Minotaur song that I wrote that I sang for probably five days straight. I have no idea if the music translated into that card. I don't think we even used it because it's absurd. But yeah, I think I wrote a trapeze Herloon Minotaur song that in my head was a rock anthem that we all knew. But uh, yeah, that's that's the kind of like thing I'm talking about where your brain will just go down an avenue and you're like, well, this is where, I, where it's going. I should follow it. Maybe I went crazy. Maybe I lived in a world where there's Herlin Minotaur songs. The card is called Minotaur de Force. I believe it's the card you're talking about. Yeah, that's, that sounds uh, right. That's our, our, our Minotaur um, trapezist. Minotaur to Force was one of my favorite phrases. Like one of the things when you're doing comedy writing, when you just get sort of a phrase, you just fall in love with it. I very early on uh, latched on to the phrase funambulist. Uh, and I would just sort of throw that on <laughs> to various to various cards. And then eventually, uh, quite late in the set, because we would do the we do the the cards in batches. Quite late in the set, Ari was like, there was there was one of a of a tightrope walker, and Ari was like, Hey Graham, this can this can probably be the funambulist. <laughs> it's like, all right, all right, I'll shut up about it. Yeah, I remember you kept putting it in, and we're like, I that that's not a funambulist. That that's a, you know you have to wait for the typewriter walker. <laughs> well, I, that's okay. I'm still really happy with Goblin Cruciverbalist. So, oh yeah, that's a great name. Goblins and specifically their names and flavor text have always been like they've always been a bit silly, and uh, that's always been something that I've really enjoyed. So getting to actually work on goblins was uh that was a big deal for me so goblins in a normal set would be kind of silly and, and there's always the question of like how do you get that one step up on goblins to make them a little sillier than normal <laughs> i can't uh just referencing the space family goblins and i, I can't believe i got that name through <laughs> oh that was a slam dunk thank you Ari and I would get in the room and then we'd like, we'd say, you'd like, sometimes like it was clear. One answer was clearly the answer. We didn't even discuss it. Like, well, it's clearly that. And we'd move on. And the Space Family Goblinson was one of those. Uh, as was Scared Stiff, which was, was that yours as well? I think, I think that might've been somebody else, but I was, I remember that was the first, that was the first like week of the first focus or something. And uh, that was when I was like, hey, can this guy be a coward? And you were like, oh, I don't know. Let me go check. And you went and asked the rules manager. And we're like, yeah, this is a coward now. And I was like, ooh, <laughs> I've I've contributed mechanically. <laughs> I love um, uh, the, uh, Sean, your flavor text on the Space Family Goblins. And by the way. Oh, thank you. I really enjoyed that. I think I went, because uh, you're right, the goblins are so silly that I think I framed that in a way of like, how would the people in this world refer to goblins? Mm -hmm. And that sort of helped me like, I guess, intellectualize like how someone would talk about them i guess one of my favorite parts about the set that i really enjoyed was getting into the mindset of the average people that work at the park yeah yeah like one of my absolute favorite characters is a character named truss who's the chief engineer and there's just endless flavor text about like hey truss come help this problem's happening you know like um uh, park re-entry oh park re-entry we're like the, the, it's this flavor text i i wrote this one it's sort of like uh, hey, trust the the entry software is reading babies as hot dogs again. Like, I feel like this happens all the time. A baby's DNA is forty percent hot dog. I mean, that's earth science already. Oh, there's a card. There's a card called um, Black Hole, hmm. uh, and this card went through infinite because we couldn't even agree what the art was. Like, there was a big debate whether it was a black hole or not, and finally, enough people said, "Oh, I think it's a black hole." We said, "Okay, we'll just, we'll just call it Black Hole." 
Um, but the, this flavor text is making fun of, at amusement parks, they code things. Like, they don't want to say there's a fire, so, like, you know, code D means there's a fire or something. Right. And so I just love the idea of, you know, th- there's black holes occasionally. That's the kind of thing that happens in the park. And so they have a code for black holes. That, that, that I just thought that was infinitely funny. Dark donut. <laughs> it was neat seeing when, you know, you'd have someone throw in a suggestion that was good, but maybe it wasn't quite there. Someone else would throw in a different suggestion. And then uh, someone else on the team or most likely Ari being the team lead would be like, I've taken a bit from this idea and a bit from this idea and combined them into this other idea. And this now works better. Yeah. One one of my favorite examples is there's a card called Petting Zookeeper. I think I pitched the general concept to the joke, which is Myra's kind of cheap. And so if you call it a petting zoo, then she doesn't have to buy cages. But I didn't quite get the execution right. And I think, Graham, I think this is the actual final joke is your joke, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. And it was just like, here's the basic idea, but can can someone make this joke slightly funnier? Um, and then you you actually wrote the joke, but I, I feel like I did the I did the like the layup for your dunk. <laughs> and that's that's the great part about working on a team like this, is that there were so many situations like that where it is sort of like uh, you know, you can you can be like Oh, I I really feel like I see the joke here. I don't quite I'm I'm not quite there, but I I think I have this. I'm 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 going to write this down and then someone else, you know, can then see that and go, "Oh, let me just let me let me carry that across the line for you." <laughs> you know, and it's yeah, like, so, "Oh, so. good. Thank you. Good. Thanks." As fun as it is uh to to get to sort of point at a card and be like, "I wrote that." And there's still plenty that everyone on the team gets to actually do that too. There's much more in the set that's sort of like, "Yeah, I helped. And that's, it's nice. I like I that. Did, I did the and. That's yeah. my and. <laughs> I mean, Sean, you know this from, from years of comedy writing that like the words have to be so small and specific. Like you have yeah. to, the, okay. the, the, the tolerances on what makes something funny is so small. Sure. I've and, been through that with many magazines where the editor will come and be like, I'm the editor. I got to make some changes. And then like 14 jokes don't land. I'm like, eh, it's great editing. Thanks. <laughs> the Matt Tabak was our editor. Um, and the card, the words have to fit on the card. Like one of the challenges is, oh, this doesn't fit. We would try to save the jokes where we could save them. And sometimes it's like, okay, we have to rewrite it. And Matt would say, you know, here's how long it can be. Like it, here's the point where you don't have space anymore. And it, it was always a challenge to try to write, keep the joke alive and figure out what the joke was. But is there a way to play the joke in a way that's a little bit shorter without losing the beat of the joke? Because, yeah, in comedy, it's all about, like, right, the placement of the words is everything. Right. Can you just take away all the abilities, make them like a four or five creature with maybe <laughs> just trample? I don't know. Just give us a little more space. <laughs> The other thing that happens sometimes is there's multiple really good pieces of flavor text, and obviously we can only pick one. And so sometimes you pick one over another. Like one of the things we care about is like world building, right? Like, you know, we want the the set as a whole to have a feel. And so there's a lot of references. So for example, there's a card called Icing Manipulator. Um, <laughs> and in it, we have to name flavors. The joke is like she's talking about people's favorite flavors. We knew we had one of them. We could just make up a planet, right? We, we, it's going to be funny to make up a flavor you've never heard of. Um, but, hey, why not make reference to another card if we can? Well, we we had several other planets that we referenced. Um, and one was Glurg. There's a creature called It Came From Glurg, uh, which is a, a blue-green uh, creature. And so, like, if, if we're going to reference a planet, hey, we can reference the planet that we reference. Like trying to make this internal synergy and trying to like have jokes that build over one card is also very cool. And that's why a lot of the notes we would give is, oh, we we're going to use this piece of flavor text. Can we build on that somewhere else? For example, uh, Pietra is the the she's the human that does all the programming for the clowns because the clowns are all robots in this world, and she programs all the clowns. And so. Okay, she's in charge of the clowns, and like she shows up in like three pieces of flavor text, just because whenever you're talking about the clowns, well, Pietro is the one that's going to talk about the clowns. Part of the, I think the biggest monkey wrench I threw into this process was I really liked uh, how all the customers were in a lot of grave danger. Like that was my favorite <laughs> thing about the set that I had to pull back. I'm like, I bet they don't want every single card to reference dead carnival goers. So I was like. <laughs> maybe there maybe are, i shouldn't maim anyone in this one there are but so uh, for example far out is, is yeah. far out oh, yours? yeah 
I, th- I think that one might, I think uh, Kathleen mentioned on Twitter that was mine. I would have not remembered, but she was like, oh yeah, of course I remember from a year ago when we wrote that. Who, who exactly on that list of people wrote? The joke here is, and they die. <laughs> that, yeah, kind of the no, joke. that guy's dead. Absolutely, that guy's <laughs> yeah, dead. Yeah, <laughs> I killed a lot of people on these cards. I'm sure that, much like apocryphally, other theme parks, Myra will have the have the 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 guest, uh, you know, technically off premises before anything is, you know, de- determined legally for uh, for liability purposes. Somebody, uh, there's a character named uh, Rex Nebula. Which is an awesome name. I'm very proud of that name, by the way. Um, so he's the captain of the um, of the park, and he is not the best captain. Uh, he constantly hits things, and um, so one of the things was he backed over a planet, and I think that was just like a throwaway line that was in like the style guide. Mm-hmm. And clearly, when you get a bunch of comedy writers, like whoa, 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 he backed over a planet. No, 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 we're not letting that go. <laughs> I don't recall what card it eventually appeared on, but I believe Kathleen uh, framed Captain Nebula's uh, terrible piloting as a tragic parking accident, which I think is one of my favorite turns of phrase. I think that might be on um, bumper cars. Um, all the bumper, mo- a lot of the bumper car reference are referencing um, his poor driving skills. <laughs> These bumper cars remind me of the time your amusement park smashed into my planet. Oh, oh, originally that was a Yelp review from a bathroom floor people loop. And it's like uh, one out of 12 or something. And we couldn't fit it all in. But that originally was a Yelp review about how uh, Ambassador Blurby Bloop says, you're, you're destroying my planet really less into the park for me. Sean, I think these were yours. I can't remember. But there's a character who was doing ride reviews. I, I did do some uh, some Yelp review style yeah, text. and I think that those that, that might have been your might, might, I, this might have been I, yours. Then I didn't want to say anything in case I was wrong, but I'm pretty sure that was mine. If, if it was framed like a Yelp review, yeah, yeah, it, it, was, it was framed like a Yelp review. So it might be yours. Yeah, because I remember during the process that character showed up in a lot of suggested flavor texts, and then didn't end up didn't end up showing up in the in the selections. But then several of them showed up on the attractions. The attractions oh, yeah. because we had more space. Just there's a lot of stuff that we weren't able to find elsewhere. We would put on the attractions. On Spinny Ride, expect to be out of commission for about a week. It's awesome. Salzon's yes. Ride Review. Yes. Yeah. Uh, they also do um, uh, the Junior Roller Coaster. Yeah, the Junior Roller Coaster is great. I, yeah. That was another thing that the creative team was like, this is the, we all agree, this ride is completely safe. <laughs> yes, it's the one safe ride. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the coaster was so gentle, I was able to write my review while I was still on it. Salzon's yes. Ride Review. Yep. That one's just yeah, nice. one of the things that's fun yeah. that, that that's very common for uh, flavor text writers to do is come up with things that weren't there yet, but then as you start seeing them, it becomes a theme that you start weaving into the set. That that's a, a really fun part of working together is people just inspire other people to do stuff. Yeah, very quickly, I got down on a piece of flavor text the idea of the assortorium waiver, and I don't think it ended up showing up as much as as maybe we thought it might, but it it definitely pops up once or twice. Uh, the card's called Incident Has Occurred, and there was a running, there's a bunch of destruction cards that destroy things, and so we needed a lot of flavor text about things got destroyed. Uh, and so, yeah, this this was the card that references the waiver. Also, uh, in the packs, there is um, ad cards in the packs, and Ari got to write some humor stuff that went in some of the packs. Pieces of the waiver are on the ad card. No so way! So there's like nice. page 12, page 64, page 3021. Oh, um, yes. So that uh, that does show up in packs, but not on cards. It's on the there's some humorous ad cards that are in it, and it's on that. That's so awesome. That's great. Dawn came up with the idea very early on, like before world building, of what if all the robots, what if all the clowns were robots? I don't know where this happened, but early on, somebody wrote in all caps for the robot. Yeah, robots are always screaming at me, and I just wanted to bring my experience to the cards. <laughs> <laughs> and then we decided early on. All robots talking caps, and that's just a thing about robots. So all robots in the set scream at you. That's just what they do. I think my my favorite of the, of that, and I don't I don't know if the actual flavor text was Sean or Cameron. It was definitely one of you, of the draconian gate bot. You must be this tall to ride. You have ten seconds to comply. <laughs> I can't tell you, but I like it. It's good. Uh, originally, it was like fifteen seconds, and it didn't fit. So we had we the reason it's ten seconds <laughs> is it's <funny>. shorter. Yeah, <laughs> I love the stuff that comedy writers have to care about. It's great. 
Well, hey, that was awesome. That was uh, that was that was great to 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 catch up with you both and uh, chat about working on this ridiculous set. Um, so yeah, thank you both. Really appreciate it. Well, it was fun. It's it's fun talking uh, comedy writing. I don't get to do yeah. that that often. Sean, real quick, uh, where can uh, the the viewers at home find you on this incredible internet? I'm on 1900hotdog.com now. Me and Robert Brockway uh, do a daily website, the final comedy website. Uh, we make jokes about things. And uh, Mark, if people want to talk to you about, say, I don't know, Magic the Gathering, I guess, uh, where where might they do that? On Tumblr, I have a blog called Blogatog at like markrosewater.tumblr.com. Uh, I'm also on Twitter at, at morrow254. Uh, and I have a weekly column uh, called Making Magic, and I have a weekly blog called Drive to Work. So uh, there's no endless ways to hear me talk about magic. Uh, and then you can use my blog or any social media to contact me. I'm on Instagram. I'm on TikTok. I'm on lots of places. But I love to hear from you. So if you guys have thoughts, especially on this set, uh, I would love to hear feedback on, like, flavor text and names. That would be awesome. So tell me what you guys think about the flavor text and names. That would be great feedback. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you both so much for joining me. And uh, thank you all at home for watching. Really appreciate it. Bye. Welcome back for round one of the Loading Ready Run slash Wizards of the Coast Unfinity pre pre release. I am Adam, and I am joined by Kathleen. Yay! And Mark. Yay! We were both here. We've seen us, or well, you've seen us draft our decks. Well, you've seen Mark draft my deck, his yeah. deck, but we haven't seen what Kathleen has. I have an. I was sitting next to Kathleen. I have a slight. I, I think I have an idea of what oh. you're in. So just given by general, you know, Signals. drafting it, yeah. drafting environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ecosystem. Yeah. There, yeah. that's the word I was looking for. The ecosystem. Yes. Yeah. Did I find my niche, or have I been yeah, out-competed? You, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. So, we uh, both players are ripping and raring to go. We've got seven cards in our opening hands. Mm -hmm. yep. We've decided who's going first. It's Mark. Hi, right, Mark. First. Okay. Yeah, good luck. Have fun. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I will start by playing a swamp. Oh. A swamp. The, the, the old swamp <laughs> won't come up on the card reader. Okay. All right. I'm going to start also by playing a swamp. Ah. But you know, because we're like basically like, you know, no, we're not we're like exactly opposite, but fairly far apart, so that's good. It's a good yeah. sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right? That's usually how it's if supposed to work, right? If that was the eight right? seat you were in... Uh, you were oh, four. four? So, yeah, we were out. We, were out there. Huh. we would actually play in a, in a sanctioned tournament. We would play each other. Yeah. Excellent. That's probably why James made this pairing. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like it was planned. Okay, go ahead. Play my forest. Forest. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a mirror match. Yeah. Go ahead. Right. Well, I don't know about that because I have... Because you were saying you did not have enough uh, attraction. I... I I did not draft three attractions, so I'm not playing attractions. I thought you said black was attraction. Black green was attraction. It color. is. It is. I'm playing black <laughs> green, which is the most attraction color, yeah. and I'm not playing attractions. But uh, I am playing stuff, so we shall see. I'll play a forest. So on your turn, you can play a forest. So go okay. ahead. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what though? So I was so focused on picking attractions, I uh, forgot to <laughs> pick up playables. <laughs> uh, so, but I do have 23 cards in my deck. And in fact, I even have this card, which is a card. Uh, I have Dissatisfied Customer, and he has Flying in Haste. And when he enters the battlefield, I roll a six-sided die, and if the result is three or less, you lose that much life. And what is the flavor text? The flavor text says, the mirrors weren't fun for everyone, which is very good. Yeah, so the, the concept of this card, which was a lot of fun, was I loved the idea that there, you know, there's Funhouse Mirrors, right? We wanted to rep rep represent the Funhouse Mirrors. And I love the idea that the um, the vampire, they don't like the funhouse mirrors because yeah. they, they're not fun for the vampires. Yeah. No, vampires don't get to have funhouse fun. They don't get fun. to, no. Uh, yeah, the, the other name for this card that we were very close to calling it was Tear Stained Vampire. Oh. <laughs> That's so sad. So you rolled a four. So what I, happens? Nothing. I don't lose any life, but in fact, you lose two life because yeah. he's got okay. flying and haste, Mark. I take two. All right. Please go ahead. Okay. I will play a forest. And then I play my Grabby Tabby. <gasps> so Grabby Tabby has vigilance as long as I can. Oh, sorry. That's Grabby right. Tabby has vigilance as long as I uh, have a stickered permanent. I see. But it's a 4 3, so even if I don't have stickered permanent, it still attacks for 4. That's a lot. That's of, a big creature. Go ahead. That's a lot of um, meat on the board. 
All right, so let's see. I'm going to play a swamp. And what four drops do I have? I've got two, in fact. So, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do what my deck wants to do. I'm gonna grab my discourtesy clerk when because when she opens the bat or when she enters the battlefield, I open the I open an attraction. But I will read the flavor text before I do that, which says Myra doesn't pay the vampires to smile, but only because guests found it off-putting. <laughs> so one of our one of the world building things is on the midway. The midway is all vampires work the midway. So all the midway is run by the vampires. Yeah. Mm. Um, we we felt the midway was very black in or in, in nature, so uh, that's where the vampires work. Makes sense. So I have my uh, eleven attractions, <laughs> and I've shuffled them, and I'm just going to rip the first one off yes. the top, and that's yep. the attraction I've opened. That is. What attraction is it? it the information booth. Ooh, when information I, booth. When I visit, I draw a card. Ooh, yes. that's a good one. So if you roll four or six, you'll get a draw card. So when do I roll? Uh, beginning of your main phase. First main phase. So next, on your next turn, not, not right now. Excellent. All right, well, um, I'm going to put those sort of over there now. Uh, well, you have a four, three, but I have a three, two, and I have... Uh, a two one. I will take two in the air. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. So you have a, f a three two, huh? Yes. Okay. I'm going to attack with my grabby grabby tabby. I'm going to uh, block with my three two. Okay. I don't feel like taking four infinite turns. I will pay a grabby tabby. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> a second. Grabby oh, Tabby. A grabby That's tabby. Okay. She's a vampire. She'll be back. And Grabby Tabby's back so on the what, escalator. One, of, one of the things about the set, by the way, was made a list of all the things we wanted to get in the set. Yeah. One of the tricky things was a lot of the iconic games were hard to do because the games on the attractions are, are we had to reflect the mini game that you were playing. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we try to find spots. So this is a good example where this is the milk game where you try to knock milk bottles down. Except for some reason, the milk bottles actually have milk on the uh, after ramp. I don't mm. know why that's true. That doesn't seem like it makes the game better, but. The, it, it is. So. <laughs> Maybe they have a lot of cat visitors, and it's like, that's the point, I guess. Yeah. We're world building here. Um, OK, so that's your turn. So now it's my turn. It is your turn. On my, OK, so untap upkeep, yeah, do, roll my dice. Uh, not upkeep. You draw your card first. Oh. Beginning of your main phase, oh. you, you draw your dice. OK, draw it, my card. It helps it's similar to sagas, the exact same Yeah, time. same time mm -hmm. as sagas. Saga time. That is actually <laughs> really helpful. I feel like. As the first, like, this is the first, like, televised yes, draft yes, game, yes. broadcast draft game, so yes. I feel like I want to make sure I'm doing it really correctly. Yes. All right, yeah. so now I've drawn my card for yes, the turn. Roll. I'm going to roll my dice. <gasps> Four! Yes! You get a card. So we, I'll put information booth back on. So you see how, well, ah, so <laughs> I, I goozled Paul. Because <laughs> I... If you I, rotate the card, I could... Yeah, so... Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, so I so my uh, information booth activates when I roll a four or a six. So all of the attractions, save one, save Ferris wheel, have multiple versions that have different untapped numbers. Although it's always off on one and it's always on on six. So if you roll one, you will never visit something. If you roll six, you will visit everything you have. That sounds very fun. All right, that goes back over there for the time being. Draw my card for the turn, my extra card for the turn. Uh, all right, I'm going to play another forest, and I'm going to, what do I want to do here? I'm going to disemvowel no! your grabby no! tabby. <laughs> so The uh, only advantage is grabby tabby has only, oh, it has a Y. It has an A and a Y, so ah. it only has two vowels in it. Um, All right. So in, 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 by the way, in, in Infinity, we've said that Y is both a vowel when you choose vowels and a constant when you choose constants. Y is both. Mm -hmm. So I will, my creature dies, and I will lose two life because I have an A and a Y. Grabby Tabby has an A and a Y in it. And I'm going to declare attacks. And then I take two more. Excellent. All right. OK. All attractions. Well, one attraction. <laughs> one attraction. <laughs> OK, my turn? Yes, go ahead. OK, I'll play a forest. And then I will play Stilt Strider. Stilt Strider. Ah, oh, it's another huge dude. It's another huge dude. <laughs> My deck has a theme of huge dudes. Okay, so when this enters the battlefield, I get two tickets. So here is my ticket bucket bot. And um, can I have a dice, please? Yes, you may. And I will put my two on it, so I have two tickets. Now, let me see if I want to spend my two tickets, because I, I can. I now get a sticker, a, a 
non-land permanent that I own, which Stilt Strider is. Oh, and he's so, got reach? And he's got reach. So rude. That is rude. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> that okay. is rude, yeah. I'm, I'm going to spend two, ti two tickets right away. Yep. And I'm going to put the following ability onto my, my guy. I'm going to put it right here, but it doesn't remove his, uh, he's still a rhino performer. Okay, whenever this creature attacks, you gain two life. What? Dag. Do you want to just put the new modified card on the card reader oh, sure. so we can switch the cam view? Yes. So I've now added that. It doesn't matter where you put the sticker. Um, power toughness stickers are the only thing that overwrite. Uh, art stickers, name stickers, and ability stickers just are added to the card. Even if I put it over rules text, it doesn't take away the rules text. That rules text is still there. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. 5-4 reach that gains you two every time it attacks? <laughs> <laughs> I know, this is <laughs> bad. He's still my beating heart. All right, I got another land here. Hmm. Just, uh, just, just one second before I maybe <laughs> just gotta look at my other. If I may as well, it's also your pre-combat main phase roll for attractions. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Two. Two. Wah, wah. No, well, I feel like I drew a card <laughs> off. That's pretty already pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah. So far, yes, you got your card back, so that's good. Yeah. Yeah, information booth, uh, I think, is uncommon. It used to be common, and it was drawing a little bit too many cards, so we made it uncommon. Oh. So. I, I Basically, I was like, I need to take more actual creatures, but then I saw that come by, and I read draw a card, and my brain short-circuited, oh, it's, it's and I was good. like, yeah. okay. Yeah, it's funny. So what we needed to do, is, well, the way we did attractions is some of them were top-down, and some of them were bottom-up. So this particular one, like, we knew we wanted one that drew you a card. We're like, okay. What would draw you a card? And like, oh, the information booth makes sense. So we made the information booth. Mm. So, and all the attractions because there's multiple versions. We wrote multiple pieces of flavor text. So um, I don't know which ones on information booth, but there's some very good flavor text on information booth. So when I arrived, I was looking for the costume shop. But when I left, I'd learned what I was really looking for myself. Five stars. <laughs> Salzon's ride review. Yeah, we have our own version of Yelp in this world where uh, mm. Salzon ride review. He reviews all the things in the park and stuff. So. What I liked about writing flavor text, if I can uh, <laughs> briefly slow play, is that on the flavor text team, both Austin and I came up with the idea of having some sort of like ride review show up on the flavor yeah. text sort of independently. His was Salzon's ride review. Mine was Blesnort's Astratorium <laughs> Tips. And I can't imagine why <laughs> Blesnort's Astratorium Tips, mm -hmm. which is like 15 letters longer than Salzon's yes. ride review. My, mm. Yeah, there's a lot of flavor text we had to shorten the flavor text. My, my favorite one, which I, maybe we mentioned in the video, was we had to change 15 to 10 to fit. Like, the, it's, it's a, you have 15 seconds to comply, and it didn't fit. But if you have 10 seconds to comply, it's just short enough to fit. So. <laughs> Amazing. So I'm going to play for my turn. I'm going to play, play the Blankosaurus. Blankosaurus, okay. So he says, uh, I've gendered him. Uh, <laughs> when this creature enters the battlefield, you may put a name sticker on it. Put a plus one, plus one counter on it for each unique vowel on that sticker. Okay. And the vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and Y. I hope you didn't get delusionary. That's the, uh... No. That's, that's the, the best jackpot. sticker. That's the delusionary best. has all six. There's only one, though. We did that on purpose. There's only one. But what? I So he's got an A and... Well, no, no, you only caught the sticker. The, the, the oh, unique okay. vowels on the sticker. Oh, the unique vowels. That's, on the sticker. That is fine. Because I'm going to make him a fire-breathing Osaurus, because okay. that uh, because Whoa, that gives me good. I E and A, yeah. I E and A, so that's yeah. three. So that <sighs> makes him a six-six. Oh, my five-four looking not quite as good. Phew. Uh, but the he, your five-four also has reach, so go ahead. Another forest. Okay, Why so can't stop playing big dudes. I know. Um. Okay, so I'm going to play, oh, what do I want to play first here? Um, that's an interesting question. Okay, so I'm going to play Night Shift of the Living Dead. Ah. So, um, by the way, the, this flavor text, uh, one of the things that the flavor text team felt very important about was that while Myra, she, a lot of things she didn't care about, like safety, um, there's things she does care about, which is her people. And so the flavor text on this is, at the Astratorium, even the dead make a living wage. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what does the card do? So uh, after I roll a die, I can pay one life to increase it or decrease it by one. Yeah. And whenever I roll a six, I make a 2-2 two -two, uh, zombie employee. That's pretty good. So. Yeah. And my, my deck might be rolling some dice. Oh. A little, the dark confidence of rolling okay. dice, right? And then 
there's a strength testing hammer, like the thing you do to hit it to make it. <laughs> That's the thing at the circus that you hit to try to make the thing ring the bell at the top. Yeah. Ah. So. What does it do whenever? Um, this is uh, whenever a quick creature attacks, roll a six-sided die. Ooh, rolling a six-sided die. Mm. Um, that creature gets plus X plus O until end of turn, where X is the result. Then if it has the greatest power, or is tied for the greatest power among creatures on the battlefield, you draw a card. What? Uh, oh my God. Yeah, that three. card's so good. And the, and the flavor tax. We're going to read all the flavor tax, because we both worked on the flavor tax. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know you, but that hammer rings a bell. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the puns I did, as a little side note. <laughs> <laughs> puns, no, puns have a long stint. Like, yes. Puns are the unsaid yeah. thing. Yeah. You have to pun. If, I, I try to get puns in normal everyday magic, but I only, I only get a little tiny bit there. But in unmagic, you know, so. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Ari, who was in charge of Nameless Flyjacks, did keep me in check to make sure there weren't too many puns. Yeah. Right. But I mean, too many puns? Well, so, like, WotC keeps you <laughs> locked in the in the, in the the pun cavern underneath the mountain, and then every yeah. unset comes out, they, <laughs> they let Mark go. They're yeah. like, you're Woo! free! And he, like, bursts out, and lava spews everywhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Finally! So that's a 6-6. Six, six. With okay. Trample. With Trample. I guess I will, I will pass. Ah, oh, the pungent. Yeah, that's good. All right, got to roll log. for my thing. Oh, six. six. I get you to get draw a card. a card. Two cards. So the secret is I'm going to mill myself out here. Oh, that's the dream. Yeah. <laughs> the dream. Oh, oh yeah. speaking of living the dream. I Okay, so before I'd been away for a week because I was doing like some family stuff, but before I like took a very long time when I was packing because I wanted to make sure if I got this card that I would be able <laughs> to cast anything I wanted with mm -hmm. it, and I like second pick this. I also dressed for Big Top. I did yes! not draft Big Top, but I, <laughs> I dressed for Big Top, so. Great minds think alike. Yes. So I don't know, like, so we've definitely got blue. We've got some like sort of sagey green is still green. Pinky red, still red, black, creamy white, white, white enough. So I'm, I'm, I'm all good here. I'm only running three colors, but I'm, <laughs> I'm very pleased with myself, to be honest with you. So now, now it's time to get real. Uh, okay. First, deadbeat attendant. Okay. When it when it open when he enters the battlefield, I open an attraction. So we get the spinny ride. Oh, not the spinny ride. <laughs> That's not good for me. Uh, so this off this goes this is the right one. It goes on two, three, and six. And when I visit, you tap target creature and opponent controls. Yep. So that's pretty fun. And then with my remaining mana. Squirrel squatters. Ooh, squirrel squatters. That's a when, good card. When they open the when they enter the battlefield, I open an attraction. And whenever they attack, I create a one-one green squirrel creature token that's tapped and attacking for each attraction you've visited this turn. Yep. Mm. All right. So my next attraction is the dart throw. Ooh, the dart throw. Oh, that's kind of fun. I can cycle my attractions. Yes. So you throw a card you own from outside the game onto the playing area from a distance of three feet, about right. one meter. I love that the metric is in practice. <laughs> uh, if that card touches dart throw, claim the prize. And the prizes create two 2-2 two, two pink teddy bear creature tokens, sacrifice dart throw, then open an attraction. Yep. So yep. all, oh, all the cool. games, yeah. when you win, you get the prize, but then you get rid of it and replace it with another attraction. I like that. That makes, so. that makes sense Dart throw is me. hard, by the way. Um, yeah. I mean, you could practice at home, but uh, it, it is definitely difficult. And it has to do when the card, when it finishes, when it rests. When you, you throw the card, it has to land and stop, not just touch it along the way. It has to mm -hmm. stop on, on the card. But when we filmed the Devil K yeah. Devil video, yeah. we did lots of card throwing and yeah. flinging, so I feel like I'm I feel like I'm like I'm in a better position than most. And of course I'm gonna read my flavor text. Flavor text on squirrel squatters, such plush attractions or such plush accommodations. Beautiful. Oh, so here's a little thing. Um so they live inside one of the um the gifts. One of the, the prizes. Yes. If you read, uh, I think it's the prize wall. There's a card that talks about uh, they've seen the things move that they're referencing that the squirrels are inside it. Mm. So there's a little reference on another card. But then um, there, like, there's like that little minotaur girl that takes this thing home on one of the other cards. Well, we can believe it was another one and not that one. I just think it's like <laughs> her parents are going to be packing the spaceship and they're going to be like, ah! <laughs> and uh, on deadbeat att uh, attendant, I wrote this flavor text. Some people will hire anyone with a pulse. Myra isn't that picky. Yep. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny. All right, so that's. Uh, do I have any good attacks? 
I mean, I have a 6-6 six, six with trample. You do. Beep, beep. <laughs> You're attacking your 6-6 six, six with trample? I am attacking you. And you are my... tapped out? I am tapped out. Okay, my still strider will block. Yes. Uh oh. I will then embiggen in my still strider. Oh. So yeah, I, I covered it up, but uh, still strider is a creature rhino performer. So it has three. Sorry. Oh, no, the oh, big yeah. There we go. Um, so what it does is it gives plus one plus one to every super type, uh, uh, card type, or subtype, except Rushwag. They know what they've done. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, so this will give it plus three, plus three. So instead of a five, four, it is now a um, I've been, eight, seven. I've been waiting for an official WotC <laughs> response to Brushwags for years, and I'm finally, they're getting what they're due. So, so behind the scenes, the reason it's non Brushwag is um, we wanted the card to be eternal because it's a fun card. If it could hit changelings, it was broken in Legacy. Uh, and so we needed a way to stop that. I realized if I just made non-something, uh, mm -hmm. for one word, I could stop it from affecting changelings. We just tried to pick the funniest thing we could. We thought Brushwag was the funniest thing. Yeah. So And there's only two Brushwags, so... Yeah. You know, we're, 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 it's not like a lot of cards get hit by the, uh, the crossfire here. Two cards. <laughs> I think considering how... Not that I want to tell you how to do your job. People <laughs> love brush wags, yeah. Mark. So I think you guys should consider uh, is, making yeah. more brush wags. This is we a, could. We a could. massive blow to the... But it would make it big the... and worse. Yes. <laughs> but, well, <laughs> so in, by the way, in my, I have a little comic I do every day. And in the comic, we, we, uh, there's now a blood feud between me and the, and the brush wag. So, uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is a massive blow to the brush wag meta. <laughs> yeah. You know, like they really thought they were going to get something in this set. They're like, finally, our time to shine. Right, they get referenced twice, and yeah. for both times, one's on a sticker, one's on a card. It's yeah. non, non brush wagon. Yeah, good. There's not even a brush wagon in the set, so. There's okay. a brush wagon in our hearts, though. In our, in our hearts, there's always a brush <laughs> Okay, my turn. Yes, go ahead. Okay, I will draw. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to put the strength testing hammer on the stilt strider. I'm going to just get absolute. Does he have um, trample? He does not. He has reach. Thank God. Do I have trample on the sticker? Let's see. Do I have trample on the sticker? I do not have trample on the sticker, but... Double few. <laughs> okay, so what do you got? You have a, you still have a 4-4, four, four, so it's not, not a great attack for me just yet. Okay. I will let you go. Go ahead. Oh. No, the strength uh, testing hammer only uh, helps with power. It does not help with toughness. So, I mean, I said I was all in on this one archetype. Okay. I'm gonna, well, first I'm gonna tap my land. Uh, oh, before you do that. Yeah, if I, uh, oh, I got a roll. You got a roll for your draft. I got a roll. Actually, if I, I may as well, just in the you, spirit yeah. of Ariel here, uh, okay. this discourtesy clerk has another line of text that we didn't read, if you want to put it on the card reader really quick. This is going, this is going way back to, wait, is it dead? Oh. Yeah, it's, it's way dead. It's oh. been dead for a long time. Well, I traded it for a thing. I looked at chat and they got me got. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Yeah. It does have a cool line of text. It does have a cool line of text. For the end step. Yeah. This is what I get for reading Twitch chat. Yes. yes. You, get, you lose a life and you uh, get a draw a card. Correct? You do, yeah. but it's not in play. But, but no. you have to have visited. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is it visited three attractions? What's how many attractions you have to Yeah, you have to have at uh, the beginning of your end step, if you control three or more Oh, control three or more, yes. Yeah, so it yeah. would have been relevant, it been relevant if it was in play. Yeah. She okay, go, go ahead. Heroically blocked a grabby tabby yep. turns ago. All right. Even if, okay. you, even if you don't do the die roll, does it still count? Oh, as I forgot visiting? you're going to tap my creature if you roll. Maybe I should have attacked. <laughs> okay, for next turn. Four. Four. That gets you a card. That's it. It gets That's you a it. card. Oh. I mean, not to oh, complain about getting the card. <laughs> <laughs> you just get a free card. That's all. You know. <laughs> all right. Okay, that's interesting. So, first of all, I'm going to tap my land like this, and I'm going to play Coming Attraction. Okay. The Astratory Mad's new attractions almost as fast as Captain Nebula can crash them into asteroids. Uh, and it says, search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle, open an attraction. Ooh, open an attraction. All right, so what have I got here? I've got two, I've got every, all of my red splash here. So I'm going to go for a swamp. Question. When you get a new attraction, does it bump the first one off? Nope. Or you get to you can have as many attractions as... Oh. Uh, unlike contraptions, yeah. contraptions you had like three sort of uh, sprockets, I think we called them. Yeah. Uh, you can have as many attractions as you have attractions. So oh. the more you open, the more you can visit. I'm okay. playing I'm playing Myra's theme park simulator yes. <laughs> over here. That's my sub game. We have a spinny ride, an information booth, and a dart throw. Yep. And? And something new, right? You just opened. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm about to oh, open. Oh, get your one. land. Okay. I got. I've gotten my land. I put a swamp onto the battlefield. Tapped. All right. 
Would you care to cut my deck, Mark? I will cut your deck. And we get what? Pow! The kitty oh, coaster. Oh, the kitty coaster. Visit okay. creatures you control get plus one plus zero oh until end of turn. Not bad. And you can read the flavor text. Oh, right, the flavor text. The ride is clearly inspired by the Kolagon clan's reign on Tarkir, which makes use of the Ojitai scale pattern on the seats. Uh, oh, sorry. The ride is clearly inspired by the Kolagon clan's reign on Tarkir, which makes the use of the Ojitai scale pattern on the seats very disappointing. <laughs> Credited to Vorthos, steward of myth. Yes, Vorthos. Vorthos is in the set, and so Vorthos shows up in art, in flavor text. I love Vorthos. So. I'm a Vorthos <laughs> myself, so... I'm happy that she is here in this set. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of asks for the hoodie. Uh, she has a little Nicole Bullis hoodie. Mm -hmm. And people are like, when are you going to make the Nicole Bullis hoodie? I'm so. getting the hoodie. <laughs> When's the hoodie, Mark? Give us the hoodie. So you might be wondering, why the heck are you running all of these mountains, Kathleen? Yes. Because I haven't actually cast anything, anything red. Anything red. Uh, is it coming? It's, it, uh, I am splashing for... Anaconda. Oh, Monoxa. Okay. Monoxa, the midway manager. Whenever you roll a three or higher, she gains first strike until end of turn. If the roll was four or higher, uh, she gains menace until end of turn. And if the roll was five or higher, life link until end of turn. And for six, I can roll a six-sided die. So that's kind of fun. So, uh, but you still have a huge creature with reach. And I've only visited one attraction, and I don't feel like trading my squirrel squatters for your thing. <laughs> and you might have another combat trick in your hand, because now I'm scared of the Embiggen. Because <laughs> I forgot that card was in this set. Uh, go ahead. Every set has a giant growth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, we are going to attack with the Stilt Strider. Yes. So I can I have a die, please. Yes, you may. Can I have a black die. Yes, you may. Yeah. I want to roll a six and get a zombie. Uh, you so. also gain two life. And I gain two life when yeah. I attack. That is true. I rolled a two. Now I can pay one life to increase the die roll to make it a three. Um, I think I am going to do this. I'll pay one life, mm -hmm. and so I get plus two plus zero. Oh, so I'm now a seven four. Uh -huh. uh, I am the highest powered creature. This is the high, uh, not me, but the Stilt Strider is the highest powered creature, which means I get to draw a card. Absolutely. So it says, um, yeah, then if it has the highest power, you get to draw a card, so I do. If I may, you knock, you paid one life to make it a three? So to it make it eight? a three. Yeah, so let's make the power, it's an eight. Oh, it's an seven. eight, it's yeah. an eight. Sorry, yeah. it's an eight. It's eight power. I, I still, it's still the highest power, so I get to draw a card. Um, It's an 8-4? Yeah, it's an 8-4. <laughs> but it doesn't have trample. It does not have trample. Well, you're already dead. Get under the bus, deadbeat attendant. <laughs> I have ways to bring back creatures with hats. OK. Uh, then I am going to disinvolve <gasps> your squirrel squatters. Dun, oh. dun, dun. So squirrel squatters has a U and an I and an E and an A. Oof. Four vowels. Oh. Ouch. You lose four? They're not even yes. wearing hats. <laughs> oh, Youch. boy. Okay. So that, that, I'm done. Youch. All right, well, but hey, I've got, but now I've got Minoxa. So you now do? I'm, I'm, I'm going to yeah, be rolling, yeah. rolling. Wait, first I'm going to draw my card for the turn. Yeah. Okay, that's actually really, really useful. So I'm okay. happy to draw that. But first I'm going to roll my dice for the turn and see what happens. Roll that die. Any sixes? Oh! Oh! <laughs> let's go. Thanks, Adam. Yeah, no worries. Anytime. Okay, so let's, you can go now. You get to go in any order. You so you must visit every attraction that you roll, but you can choose the order by which you visit them. Okay. Well, first I'm going to tap target creature and opponent okay. controls. Yes. Yeah. That one was easy. Then I'm going to draw a card. Okay. Oof. Oof. Let's see. Uh, then I'm going to give my creatures plus one, plus oh. Ooh, probably, the when the information we started, it was common yeah. with three untaps. Oh. <laughs> and then we went to two untaps, and they're like, well, we don't do one untap, so we had to move it on common. So. Yeah. Wow, yeah, it's, it's very fun. Um, okay, Minoxa, because I rolled a six, yes. gets lifelink until end Correct. of turn. She, she gets all those abilities to end of turn. Yeah, mm -hmm. she gets everything. It's additive. Ooh. Yeah, it's additive. So, so she gets Ooh, all. that's nice. <laughs> so she has first strike, menace, and life link. Yes. I mean, first strike and menace when I have no blockers is not a big deal. I but, love uh, Minoxa so much. <laughs> but you do, so get li you do get life link, which is very relevant. <laughs> I'm really happy dart about throw, that. Dart throw, dart throw, oh, dart, yeah, throw yeah. dart throw, dart yeah, throw, dart throw, dart throw. Yeah, dart throw. Yeah, oh, and Kitty, <laughs> Kitty Coaster, by the way, is going to give all your oh, pictures yeah. plus one, plus zero. Oh. 
This is <coughs> this is incredible. Oh, you'll notice by the way that roller coaster gives all your creatures plus two plus zero. Oh, yeah. In kitty coaster plus one plus zero oh, because <laughs> it's the smaller roller coaster. Yeah. So. What I also think is funny about kitty coasters when we were writing the flavor text, everybody was like, "This was this was an idea that came yes. to everyone simultaneously." <laughs> the kitty coaster has passed all its safety inspections. Right. The kitty coaster is a very safe ride. It's the only. It's the safest ride in the park. No one has <laughs> ever been hurt on the kitty coaster. Now for the dart throw. Can okay. I borrow a token? Yeah, just yeah, yeah. The token's fine. Okay, so, so I have to be. So you want to be three feet away from the dart throw, yeah. and you want to land and hit the dart throw. Do we have a tape measure here? I was gonna say, do we have a meter stick? I'll be right back. Okay, we need to do this properly. <laughs> yeah, we're not here to sully the rules of. No, this is a okay. Serious <laughs> game. Tell people what you will win if you win this game. Right. If I if I win this game. Uh, I will create two, Pardon two, two yeah. pink teddy bear creature tokens. So find, and then find I two. Sacrifice dart throw and uh, open an attraction. All right. So I've oh, got that's three, three feet, feet away. Feet. Is, is further than I thought. So I'm mm -hmm. gonna be three feet away from the dart. From the there dart you go. Throw. All right. The so there's the dart throw. You can okay. walk a little bit closer. Okay. All right. Good. Right. I feel that's fair. And so I've just got to like toss it on, essentially. Yes, you have to toss it. All right, so like now I talked to big so, game. Remember that the, the card you're throwing is the three, the three feet's the card you're throwing. That's that's supposed to be three feet away. Oh, oh. not not you, not you. Like so the, car, the card you're throwing. Okay, I'm gonna have feet. to take yeah, a step back. Yeah, then. we gotta okay. make sure. We'll, we'll watch here okay. roughly. Make sure okay. the hand doesn't get the card doesn't get any closer than. Okay, the so hand. I gotta throw it from here. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I mean, you can you can toss it if you I want. I think I'm mm. gonna toss yeah. it. I think that would be better as long as I'm from three feet away. Nah. Okay. All right, that's, that's okay. That's tough. That's tough. Keep, keep, show better chances. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's okay. I'm going to get there. Okay. All right. So first, I think it's very important that I attack with all of my creatures. Okay. So you're doing five plus three. So you're doing eight damage to me. Mm -hmm. uh, eight. And well, you gain uh, four life, correct? Oh, I'm sorry. You do. I get, my creatures get plus one, plus oh. So she's four. Oh, I'm sorry. Seven damage. Seven damage. I, seven I, I, damage. Yeah. Seven damage. Gain four life. Yeah. All right. Now to play some other cards. Play my land for the turn. There, oh, we did have a meter stick. Somebody just <laughs> flung a meter stick into the. That'll be handy later. All right. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go like this. One, two, three. I just have to make sure I leave the right kind of land. Four, five, six. I'm going to play a Carnival Carnivore. Okay. When it enters the battlefield, you get a ticket, and then you put a sticker on non-land permanent you own. So, let's see. So, as you notice, if you look at the sticker sheets. They don't have the sticker sheets. That's okay. I'll oh, just okay. put that so you can see it. You can see that there's like five, two, two, four. There's all sorts of things. And now, when I say... So I don't have any. I don't have any things. But I could I so put you, a named sticker on? Yeah. So if you sticker, if you the cheapest you can uh, ticket cost is two. So right okay. now you only have one ticket. So you cannot do any abilities or power toughness. But name stickers and art stickers are free. Okay. Oh, name stickers and art stickers are free. Yeah. Okay. Can I please have one of them ticket holder thingy me tokens? Yes, you may. Uh, Ticket bucket pot. And I'm going to put. I'm going to put a hat. Okay. Who's wearing a hat? Uh, I'm going to put a hat on my carnival carnivore. <laughs> okay. Because it's free. Okay. He, he, he looks good. You, you got to put that on the, so they can see it. Yeah. All right. So what kind, of, what kind of hat is it? It's uh, some, sort of, um, some sort of Innistrad hat. Yeah. Oh, yes. We bought props for this. <laughs> I, I went to the thrift store and paid 95 cents for a, for a used <laughs> roll of tickets. So you, you get a ticket. I get a ticket, and Mark, you have three tickets, don't you? No, oh. uh, no, I spent my tickets. Oh, I spent you my spent tickets. them? Oh, okay. I spent them. Sorry. Little tickets. Little tickets. We have little tickets. All right, and then with my remaining mana, I'm going to cast one of the other two cards in my hand. One of the other reasons I'm playing red is I opened Majar of the Magic Strings. Oh, Majar of the Magic Strings, and, and you got the uh, Booster Fund version too. Ooh. So he says a lot. But, <laughs> For one black red, note the name of target instant or sorcery card in your graveyard and put it onto the battlefield face down. It's a 3-3 three, three creature with whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, you may create a copy of the card with the noted name. You may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. And if the creature would leave the battlefield, exile it instead of putting it anywhere else. Oof. Oof. 
He's a spicy boy. Yeah, it's a gnarly card. Oh, all right. Uh, that was a incredibly large and exciting turn for me. Please will, go ahead, Mark. Okay, I will untap. I will draw. I will play a swamp. Okay, you have a 4-6 with Death Touch, a 3-3. Three, three, and I have a 5-4 that could get bigger. Hmm, interesting questions here. Uh, I guess I will not attack. Go ahead. Hopefully you don't get your spinny ride and tap me anyway. <laughs> In fact, I think if you get your spinny ride, I am dead. So. Well, <sighs> other than the cards in my hand. Well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Spinny Ride only triggers on well, 2, 3, and 6. All right, let's go. 50 50. Either happens or it doesn't. Oh! oh! <laughs> you know what? I can attack your creature, but can we please try the sure, dart throw sure. first? Sure, sure. You can do the dart throw again. Well, do, do the dart throw. Okay. And All then right, we have, a, we have a proper okay. prop All right, I'm this time as well. I can do it, sir. Because I got to learn how to do this. I will call throw. it a proper. All right. <laughs> so. So I gotta be. Th the here. card has to be three feet yeah, away. Yeah, he's throwing yeah. the card from three feet away. All right. Okay. That was oh, pretty good. It's so hard. That looked good for a uh, second. The more you do it, the better you get at yeah. it. Yeah. It is something we we got much better at the more we practice. All right, then I'm gonna I'm gonna attack your creature. Tap my creature. I'm gonna uh, let's go to yes. game two. Okay, go to game two. All right. Now remember, you have to take off your stickers. That's yeah. right. Stickers come off at the end of the game, and then you put them back on your sticker sheet. So the stickers are made so they don't harm the cards. They, they come off. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in production, they call it tackiness. It's how sticky the glue is. So yeah. we, we need to make sure we have the correct tackiness of our stickers. I actually have two uh, stickers rules questions if yes. you humor me. Okay. All right. Uh, and we can keep continue shuffling. I'll come on a camera while we're asking this. Okay. And these are some questions that the judge team were curious about. Okay, okay. The first, uh, are stickers, like the sheets that you have when you yeah. sit down a game, public information? Should you be declaring them when you sit down? Or it's, it's an unset? Like, what is, what is the idea I mean, it, it is public information. They, okay. they have, people have to know what sticker sheets you've you brought to it. So it is public information. Fantastic. Um, and the second question, Kathleen just had a card okay. that was going to put face down cards onto the battlefield. Yes. And she's also playing stickers. When you have a face down card, how do you sticker a face down card? And what happens if it if it like changes zones and so? I, I believe this follows the uh, how. Oh, sorry, check, check this. Um, not one hundred percent how how this works. No worries. Um, I think that uh, if you sticker one side of a card, that the reverse side is not stickered. Oh. Um, <laughs> Because it literally is on is on yeah. that side. Um, I'm not. Let, let me. I, 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 I don't want to put you on so. the spot. Not a problem um, at all. It's a pretty edge case, right? Well, there, the one so. thing I need to do is because stickers are sort of eternal. So yeah. I need a. I, I can in between games and stuff. I can contact um, Jess Dunks, who's the rules <laughs> manager. I just want to double check with him yeah. because this is this is an eternal part of the game, and I want to make sure that I'm I'm correct. But no I. Worries. We, we didn't have a lot of face down things when we were doing sure. playtesting, so it did not come up a no, lot. No, thank you very much. Appreciate so. that. Boy, attractions seem good when you roll sixes all the time. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah, this is a yeah. solution. It's just <laughs> <You've> be solved. <laughs> super lucky. <laughs> yeah, you, solved the, you solved it. It's been solved, solved format. All right. Yeah, one of the things about unsets, and this is very much on purpose, is uh, it is the highest variance of any magic set. Yeah. Uh, it is made so there are wild swings and things could happen. You can roll a one and nothing happens. You can roll a six and you visit everything. So yeah. uh, there's high highs and low lows and exciting things can happen. That was basically this deck. I mean, not that I was, I was mostly thinking, ooh, when I was drafting it, ah, when I was building. But like, yeah. I feel like that's like the best case scenario for this deck is just everything okay. opens an attraction, visit all attractions all the time. The entire time I was drafting my deck, I was like, I don't know how many creatures I have. <laughs> yeah, <that laughs> I was, was like, thing. I have no idea. Because I drafted a couple cards that you need a lot of creatures for them. And yep. I was just like, I don't know. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you get lured in. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do that aren't creatures. You have yeah. to remember to draft enough creatures. Yeah. I was very focused on drafting creatures and didn't draft attractions, but I, I did draft lots of creatures. My deck didn't quite get there, but uh, my the first card I picked was the, uh, there's like the four mana blue enchantment that you mill mm -hmm. people for each word yeah. that's in the <gasps> How cards. How is this a par three? Yeah, that was yep. a par three. Yeah, and uh, I didn't see any. I didn't. I don't think I took cards... I didn't really understand <laughs> how to draft it properly, but I don't think I could have got there anyway. But you need to take like lots right. of so, like Right, so yeah, there is a draft strategy. Um, that card used to be uncommon. It was causing problems with drafts. So we moved it to rare. Yeah. But there is a, if you open uh, How Can This Be Part 3, um, you can draft a lot of long names and draft a lot of name stickers. Yeah. 
Uh, and then you can you can mill somebody out. It's actually a fun deck. Yeah. I, I, I have built to that deck. So. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, I've got a keepable seven. I have a keepable seven as well. Oh, so I will that. play my forest and say go. <gasps> Perfect mana, right off the top. Gonna play a forest, say Perfect. go. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's just because Mark and I are so good at drafting that mm -hmm. we ended up in sort of the I'll same play my colors. swamp, go ahead. It's because everybody here is extremely good. I'm gonna play a swamp and say go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play a forest. Uh, and then I'm going to play my Vegetation Abomination. It is an artifact creature, plant, mutant, food. The first of its kind. Um, so it's got death, a 2-2 Death Toucher. Tap, sacrifice, Vegetarian Abomination. Roll a six-sided die. You gain life equal to the results. And the animal and vegetable categories kind of merged over time. Is mm -hmm. That seems very good with Indigen. <laughs> it is good with Indigen. Um, so the one thing about this card, by the way, was funny, is it originally was not food, but it had the tap sack roll die. And we're like, well, it rolls a die and gains life. Uh, could we make it a food? I'm like, well, it has to be an artifact creature, but yeah. So we, <laughs> so we did. Why not? I love how wacky that is. <laughs> All right. I am going to play a mountain just because I... Because you can. Yeah, yeah. I, could, I can. And yeah. it's a fun planetary mountain. Low. I know. Yeah. I was very excited. Or Orbital. I, Orbital is the name of the ones in space. <laughs> when I opened that in pack three, I was like, oh, I have had to splash into red already. Yeah. Uh, so uh, this is perffect. I can run yeah, and that. You had, the, you had the big top, so. And I'm going to start out with coming attraction. Oh, get some more to, land. Okay. Uh, get a land and open an attraction. So first, well, I'm going to do it in the order of the card. Actually, no, I'm going to open my attraction first. And then I'm going to get my land. <gasps> I get Hall of Mirrors! Oh, Hall of Mirrors is very good. Yeah, it's a rare. It's a... Choose target creature you control. Each other creature you control becomes a copy of that creature until end of turn, except it isn't legendary if the chosen creature is legendary. And the flavor text is, for a smaller p for a smaller fee, you can pop in quickly to try on a pair of jeans. Is that when you? you? Is that copy, you? Yeah, yeah. When you copy <laughs> a creature, do the stickers stay on? The other creatures? No, no, no. When you copy a creature, and this is just the normal copy rules, it's the same with tokens, uh, with counters. You just copy the base creature. That's you don't what copy. I mean, Roy. I mean, the other, like, other creatures that become a target or a copy of the, they keep the stickers they already have. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, the, the things that get overridden still have their sticker on. Okay. Them. Yeah. Yes. I do have to say, the reason I suggested that, because, like, you know, sometimes you're like, eh, and whatever. I was like, he looks like he's like, yeah, <laughs> I look awesome, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, he's clearly bought, uh, he's happy with his jeans. Yes, yes. Got new pants and he's feeling good. Okay. Right, now I'm gonna go get my land, check okay. in my library, but I'm gonna say go. And you're tapped out, right? Yes, I okay. am tapped out. I should. I don't know, I'll pay mana for my spells. Nah. Nah. Okay. First thing I'm gonna do is attack with my vegetation abomination. I'm gonna take two. Yeah. I like how when I attack, it shows up there. <laughs> I'm gonna get another forest. I'm going to, that's what I'm attacking with. And then I'm gonna play a scampire. So when Scampire enters the battlefield, you get a. Oh, sorry. When a Scampire enters the battlefield, you get a ticket. Then you may put a sticker on a creature card in your graveyard. Oh, but I don't have a creature card in my graveyard, so I can't do that. Uh, three black return target creature card with a sticker on it from your graveyard to the battlefield. Uh, the creature gains haste and then exile at the beginning of your next end. So you can, for one turn, get it back. Well, that's not so bad, though, because, you know. Yeah. You I will have other sticker later. creatures, so yeah. Um, and th that, I'm done. All right. Can we give Mark a ticket, please? Oh, yeah. Have a ticket. I have a ticket. Yeah. Thank you for my ticket. ticket. Oh, I just realized. 95 cents to the thrift store that roll was. I just cast the wrong creature, but I'll cast on that right next, next turn. All right. I have to look at all my cards. All right. all right, I'm going to play a... Well, I should draw my card for the turn. I'm really excited. I haven't drawn... All right, there. Okay, now, now you technically roll for your hall of mirrors. I gotta... Its effect doesn't do anything to the creatures in play. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but oh, you did. Uh, Maybe I should go buy a lottery ticket. You might have. If you roll one more six, I'd, I'd just leave this place. Go buy a lottery ticket immediately. All right, well, uh, I played my land for the turn because I was very excited. Mm -hmm. But here we are. Squirrel Squatters! Ooh, they're squirrel back! Squatters, they are back. I'm going to open another attraction. We get. Pachow! The costume Team shop! shop. Yes. Uh, and to, when you visit, you may put a sticker on non-land permanent you control. But that still does that, that doesn't override the ticket cost, does it? No, you still have to pay the ticket cost, right? Yes. Uh, when it says sticker, you may only sticker an ability sticker or a power touch sticker if you pay the cost. Now, this most most things that sticker also give you some tickets. This does not give you any tickets, but right, you still have to pay the ticket cost. You can't 
sticker things you're not able to sticker. But I can put hats on. You can put things. hats and names and stuff on, yes. It's just for fun. Uh, and the flavor text is, the costumes are so realistic. I was mistaken for Nickel Bolas and attacked by a bunch of wizards. Five stars. They eventually let me go. Salzon's <laughs> ride review. All right, go ahead. Okay, I untap. Okay. Um, I'm going to attack with both my vegetation, abomination, and my scampire. I'm just going to take it. That's three damage. I'm afraid of being big in. Yeah. I want to. I want to attack with my squirrels. I want. So just be aware. If I'm big in this, it only has three things on it. That's true. Oh, but that would make it a four and yeah. kill you. So yes, that would destroy your creature. <laughs> <laughs> I want some squirrels. Okay, are you ready? Uh-huh. It's time to play Six-Sided Die! Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so what's going to happen here is I have to roll a die. Mm -hmm. If I roll a one, your creature will not die because it, it has no damage. That's why I was attacking. Mm -hmm. um, I was hoping you would kill my creature, but uh, you were scared of my my being. Uh, and then if I roll two through six, I think... Well, here's what happens. Here's what happens. I roll one, its toughness becomes one, it won't die. I roll a two, you put two minus one minus one counters on it, so it won't die, but it'll become a two-two. If I roll a three, it does three damage to it, and I gain three life, so it won't die, but I would gain three life. Okay. Um, four, I'll get minus four minus four, it'll die. die. Five, I destroy it, it'll, it'll die. die. Six, mm -hmm. I exile it, it'll but die. That's super dead. So that's extra dead. Yeah. Basically, Double I have a 50-50 chance of killing it. Mm -hmm. I have a one in six chance of shrinking it. Yeah. And I have one in six chance of gaining three life. Yeah. That's not bad. Okay. So it either happens or it doesn't. Okay, so let's what let's have the die. What color die do you want? What color? Black. Oh, do I have a black? Oh, I, I, yeah, I'll take that black. Die. I took them away from you. You took them away from me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh. <laughs> My squirrels. I've destroyed it. I just want to. I quite literally destroyed it. I thought you loved squirrels, Mark. Yeah. I do, <laughs> but not when the other people's playing yeah. them. That's fair. I love my squirrels. That's fair. Go ahead. All right. Mark, Untap. When we were drafting. <laughs> There was a certain point where you said this card should not be here, and I'm I know everyone's new. <laughs> what card was it? Which oh, um, there's a card called Trigger Happy mm -hmm. that it allows you to take any trigger and make triggers, mm -hmm. and it's a very powerful card that's very versatile. And there's lots and lots of triggers in this set, yeah. And so it was like third last. It should not be third last. Okay. I'm not saying it's the first pick necessarily, but it's not a oh, third last sorry. pick. So. Uh, I took yeah three. I did. I got oh, the okay. three. Okay. So I've I've done my I've oh. drawn my card. Lands. Okay. Yeah. Mark, do you want to just shove your lands? Oh, up a sorry, bit? sorry, there my, my lands. Thanks. Out of, sorry. Yeah. Draw my card. Now it's time to roll my attractions. Roll that attraction. There's no way. No. Two. <laughs> oh, but I do get to visit the yeah. Hall of Mirrors. The second Hall of Mirrors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Play my land for the turn. All right. It's time to get. Uh, some meat on the board. And in fact, I do have six land now. Okay. So first, I'm going to play non-human cannonball. Non-human cannonball. When is this your flavor text? This might be your flavor text. Yes, it is. Yeah. Designed for maximum impact, comedic and otherwise. <laughs> uh, but uh, the non-human cannonball, when it dies, I roll a six-sided die and the result is four or less. Non-human cannonball deals that much damage to you. Yes. Yep. And it is a four-three for three. Yeah, yeah it's a four-three well, for three. That thing could nug you for four. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, and speaking of speaking of getting nugged, how about the dissatisfied customer? Oh, when it okay. enters the battlefield, you roll a six-sided die. If the result is three or less, you lose that much life. Mm -hmm. so, you like taking damage from die rolls. <laughs> I dislike rolling dice and living dangerously. Actually, that's not true. I'm the most risky <laughs> person in the world. Oh, I, uh, take a, I take a damage. Okay. That's okay. I'm already on the back foot. But we're gonna we're gonna get here. Go ahead. Uh, you have haste if you would like to attack me. I mean, you don't have to. I'm not. I'm not. Uh... Actually, yeah, I'll attack you. <laughs> okay. Beep beep. Beep beep. Okay, that it. Yes. I know. I have six land, and you have three. So I do have I three hope land. You draw land. Well, I, I'm drawing need. a card that will help me do this. Alpha guard. Huh? When alpha guard enters the battlefield, choose a letter. When alpha guard, guard <laughs> enters the battlefield, choose a letter. Uh, I can tap it to untap any target permanent whose name starts with a chosen letter. <gasps> I'm going to choose S because it lets me untap, untap my Scampire and my Swamp. Oh, that's very smart. What a great so, card. Um, and then I'm going to attack with my Death Touch creature. It has potential to do four damage to her. I know. <laughs> it, <is. laughs> it does, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh... 
But it's also blocking a lot of other stuff. And eh, I'll take two. Okay. Life's a resource. Okay, mm -hmm. go ahead. All right. Untap, upkeep, draw. Yep. Roll! Roll there's, that day! There's no way. No. One. One, one nothing. is nothing. If you roll one, don't check. Nothing's a one. What you do need is <laughs> to copy the human, the can, the non-human cannonball with your house mirrors, and then sack your board and hope <laughs> you don't die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the, uh, it's the dream. That's always worked very well. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, this doesn't work well. You know what? I'm just gonna do is I'm going to play my carnival carnivore. I get a, I get a ticket. Oh yeah. You do get a ticket. Yay! There you go. One ticket to Astratorium. All right, go ahead. Actually, I should have attacked. Oh, do you want to attack? Yeah, I want to attack. Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Beep beep. Oh, she's going to attack with her four three. I, 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 I'll take six. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a flex! Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, that's <laughs> great. Trade yeah. These death yeah. Back mm -hmm. and forth. Sorry, his, his sorry. If I, I may start to interrupt, there's more to Carnival Carnival when it comes into play. Oh, you may, then you may put oh, a sticker sorry. on yes. non-land permit. You can, permit you you can sticker own. something. I can put a sticker on something. So there's name stickers, there's art stickers. All right, I'm going to make this dissatisfied customer dress as Nicol Bolas. Okay. <laughs> and and uh, headdresses, hat? headdresses do come to hats, nice. so yes. Okay. Oh, perfect. It's a decorative item worn on the head. So. He's got a hat. Oh right. yeah, he does have a hat. Yes. He's just he's ho he's holding it. Yeah, he's holding a hat. All right, go ahead. Okay, so I played my forest. Um, okay. You have four six death. I will tap amazing. my swamp. I will untap my swamp. Oh. I will tap my swamp. And I'll tap these three. I'm going to disinvolve your <gasps> carnival carnivore. Oh, mm. that makes sense. So how many vowels does it have in it? Uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> He's declared a thumb war. <laughs> yeah, play, just playing a vowel-heavy deck is yeah. just one, two, three, okay, four. Okay, and then my scampire is going to come across to do one. Uh, take one. Ouch. So okay. let's just slow it down really quickly. It's unique vowels, not total number Unique vowels. vowels. Yes. Unique vowels. Okay, but carnival carnivore, A, I, O and E. You were correct. I apologize. Yes. I just wanted to make sure that yeah. we were. Yeah, they're unique vowels, not a total vowels. Please, Serge, I am a professional writer. <laughs> Excellent. Yes, Serge. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead. All right, things aren't looking good, but that's okay. So I have now, I feel like I kind of. Let's see. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Well, yeah, yeah, did you roll for your attractions? Oh, I didn't roll for my attractions yeah. yet. I really wanted them to all be four six <laughs> carnival carnivores, so I can see. I did not want that to happen, so uh one. one. Ooh. As much as I got the sixes last game, mm -hmm. I like don't get them this game. All right, I'm gonna play a wolf in blank clothing. Yes. When it, this creature enters the battlefield, you may put a name sticker on it. When you do, up to X target creatures each get minus one, minus one till end of turn, where X is the number of unique vowels on that sticker. Okay. All right. So I think, uh, well, I really, up to, it doesn't really matter. So I feel like I can I can be fun. Cause it, it, it doesn't matter. Cause minus one, minus one is not very exciting yeah. in this particular board yes. state. Yes. So you pick a fun name. <laughs> yeah. All right. Wolf in. Um, so technically, by the way, the, the name sticker is allowed to go anywhere. It doesn't have to go in the blank space, but it's much funnier in the blank space. Mm -hmm. So this is a wolf in yogurt clothing. <laughs> mm. Wolf in yogurt clothing. Okay. I'll put that on the card reader so everybody can whoops, see. As you can see, this is what a professional writer can come up with. <laughs> oh, another fun thing. Um, uh, this wolf is a fan of a ballerina. Uh, you, you can see that he, he has her, her gear on because he's a big fan of I have that card. So, yep. And the, the his flavor text says, and, when I, and to think, well, I came in here looking for someone to eat. Yes. He, he came here looking for sheep to eat, and he fell in love with the sheep performer, and mm. now he's her biggest fan. So I can give up to two creatures minus one minus one uh, till end of turn. Correct. So I'm going to give your alpha guard and okay. your scampire minus one minus one till okay. end of turn. 
I'll do two creatures. creatures. Uh, oh. The Yogurt. It's O and Y is a vowel. Oh, Y is a vowel. Three creatures. All my creatures get minus one, minus one. Yeah. So I now have a 1-1 one, one Death Toucher. Somewhat relevant, maybe. <laughs> uh, then I'm going to play tap two more mana. I'm going to play my own Alpha Guard. Ooh, so what letter will you name? So uh, once again, the, the golden rule of unsets is you play with the cards as they are written. So if you are playing with foreign cards and you pick a letter, uh, it's possible that uh, uh, English Force would untap for F, where uh, German Force, which is a wall, I believe, would not untap for F, but it would untap for W. So. I am going to... Uh, all of this is bad for me. I'm going to say... I've got a lot of land, honestly. W. W? Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm going to... I, I can't risk dying to my own death toucher, so or to your death toucher. So I'm okay, gonna two in the air. Two in the air. Okay. Is that it, or do you have more? No, that's it. Okay. I want tap. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh oh. Now. Oh no. Now we get some fun. Fun for whom? We weren't having fun before. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna play photo op. <gasps> Okay, oh. so for those who do not know what photo op is, I uh, posted earlier on my social media a picture. Actually, I posted three pictures. Uh, and any guess that was made on my social media, I can now wish for. So I am going to wish for, and the audience, you guys did correctly, you, were, you did name this. Enter the dungeon. Oh! Woo! <laughs> I don't, okay, it's not going to show up on the card reader, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it here. Yeah. Oh, Paul's got it. So, Mark, do you want to read it? What so, did you wish for? Uh, Enter oh, the Dungeon geez, says, yeah. players play a magic sub-game under the table starting at five life, using their libraries as their decks. Yeah. After the sub-game ends, the winner searches his or her library for two cards, puts those cards into his or her hand, then shuffle his or her library. So, last time we had a PPR for um, the unset. <laughs> Uh, somebody wished for Scheherazade. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, now, I could not cast Scheherazade because my uh, deck is black and green. I don't have the means to do white mana. I, I, I haven't cast it yet, so I, I will cast it. Uh, I can't cast it this turn because I need two black mana. Oh. Um, so many people I, ran I, into so the many room. people I, stand by in the studio I right promise now? you on the next turn, I will be cast. <laughs> um, We're ready. But anyway, on the previous PPR uh, for Unstable, Scheherazade got played. I. I thought about getting shares up and like, oh, I don't have a white source, I can't play it. So I said, well, I can't. Have. What sub games exist in black and green? Um, there is a green one that exists in this set, but there's a black one from Unhinge, and I felt uh, so. I did ahead of time talk to the production team to say, could we play under the table? Because that's a big ask, and they said yes. So next turn, maybe we'll be doing that. Okay. Even so. if I somehow draw the combat trick <laughs> that would magically allow me to win this, I would okay. be the world's greatest goat if I did that. Okay, now uh, I will untap my swamp. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to... What am I going to play? Um, interesting. Uh, I think I'm going to play my... Adam Wheel Acrobats. Oh. Um, and so there are three, two, and whenever I roll one or two, I put that many plus one, plus one counters on them. Oh. And for two in green, I can roll a die. That's pretty good. Okay. I am done with this turn. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Draw. Roll to visit my attractions. Three. three. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. That's okay. You know what? I'll just blarf everything out now. Be ready to go for our sub game. I'm gonna play Hardy of Myra's Marvels. So what? What are you naming? What uh, number are you naming? Uh, okay. So how that this oh, card read, works. The, read the card. Yeah. As Hardy of Myra's Marvels enters the battlefield, choose a number. Whenever you cast a spell with the chosen number of lines of flavor text. Put that many plus one, plus one counters on target creature. I am going to choose two. Okay, two. Two. Okay. So this would, so just, I'm just, so this guy has two lines of flavor text, right? Because it's like yes. one, two. And, and this guy and, has two. And lines. this guy and this guy. 
Although it's whenever you play them, right? Yeah. yeah. But okay. That I just wanted to show people in chat what what that meant. Um, you know what? You want to hit me in the air? I'm gonna hit you in the air. Okay, All right. I'll take two. Okay. Okay, untap. Sub game, sub game, sub game, sub game, sub game. <laughs> Draw my card. I mean, hmm. This is where Mark just it. kills you and doesn't play the sub game. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just kills you. He's like, okay, right. it is time to enter that dungeon. All right, all right. All right. You two, spread out. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. You two, grab the table. <laughs> just Adam, Adam. Adam. Yeah, you two. Oh, you Adam, that's fine. It's fine. Okay. All right, Adam, move that chair. Yeah. Over. Okay. Over. Be oh. oh. It's fine. <laughs> that's fine. It's just water. One second. <laughs> Somebody grabs the towel. Uh, <laughs> James, you're on towel duty. Uh, All right. It was off to the side. This is just us showing off our cool furniture. <laughs> oh, we need our decks. Yes. I will grab, grab our, I, I will, I will grab our So, decks. yeah, you have the deck that remains, but everything that was in play is yeah, still there? Yeah, everything stays in play. You do get to take your attraction deck into the sub-game, but not the attractions that are on the battlefield. Amazing. And what happens to your hand? Your hand stays in the main game. Oh. Uh, you're you're going you're gonna to start a new game and draw this. a new hand. Oh, so for yeah, the audience, real quickly, you have never played a sub game before. Probably need more. We are than taking that. our library, we're taking all our decks, which will be oh. the library and the the library and the attraction deck. Um, and then that goes in the sub game. You will draw a new hand. It's like you're starting a brand new game. The only difference is it, you start at five because that's what it says on Enter the Dungeon. So instead of starting at 20, like Sherazad starts at 20, we'll be starting at five. That so. seems like a little bit more. Yeah, like. we, we learned about sub games that sub games are better if they're not super long. <laughs> So you'll notice um, the one in, un, uh, in Unstable, you, you're at one life. Uh, the one in um, Infinity, you get to start with three permanents in the battlefield. So we definitely try to do things to make the sub-game go quicker uh, than Shahrazad, which is a little on the long side. We didn't really plan for this setup with Adam as the floor friend. We didn't give a lot I'll of space fine. there. <laughs> no wonder. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll be fine. So yeah, drop this all the way. Do we make the legs wider too? No, bring it all the way back. Bring it all the way back. This is incredible. <laughs> All right. Have also, they... Kathleen had no idea I was doing this. No. So just... <laughs> no. Big shout out to uh, local furniture builder Bill Roberts who built our uh, custom tabletops. Uh, I think I'm going to be able to get it. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because I've got a crossbar that's blocking it there. So. Yeah. All right, everybody. So I, at the tree release for Unhinged, this card's from Unhinged. Hi. I remember <laughs> having to make a judge call under the table. Yeah. And there was a player who was playing Goblin Mime. Uh, and they had another card that said they had to uh, insult things. Oh and the question was, could they mime insults if they couldn't talk? And I said yes, as long as it's clear that they were insulting it. Uh, verbal, in I mean, uh, gesture insults were fine. <laughs> okay. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Adam. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Sorry, here's the tokens for you, bud. Okay, yeah, I got it. Okay. Okay. Don't and, worry, everybody. Uh, Life uh, totals? Where's the... Uh, uh, we started five. We started five. Oh, you started five? Yeah. Paul, Paul, yeah. <laughs> Paul can you deal with that? Yeah. Yeah. Thank oh, you, Paul. Okay, so now we draw our cards. Yeah. Okay, so, so sorry, I'm passing the stickers over. Uh, Mark, here's your stickers. Oh, thank you. Yeah. All right, the, yeah, the stickers do go to the sub-game. Yeah, the Kathleen, stickers, here are your sorry, stickers. The oh, sticker you. sheets, as they are, go to the sub-game. Things oh. that are stickered stay stickered in the main game. Mark, you, we've oh, had we, our we stickers stopped. Okay. <laughs> Mark, are you able to take a position like Kathleen? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, kids, I want a nice clean game. This is the most fun I've had. And remember, Mom said it's my turn to play the game next. Okay. Okay. Uh, who starts the sub game? I start the sub game because I uh, began the sub game. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Um, uh, this opening hand is not the strongest. <laughs> uh, I, I guess I can mulligan. I, right, it's a sub game. I could mulligan in the sub game. <laughs> Um, I think, I think I have, I think I have to mulligan this up. I can mulligan this up. Can I, can I mulligan this up, Yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm mulliganing. Yeah. Why not? I'm mulliganing. I don't see why you couldn't. Yeah, I think you yeah. can. It's a game. It's a game, right? Yeah. I'm sub-mulliganing in the yeah. sub-game. Sub-mulliganing. Yeah. Sub-mulliganing is a thing. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I gotta quickly the shuffle this. <laughs> So I want to thank Maria, by the way, for Maria did the art. I mean, I did the photography. Uh, the, Meg and I posed for that picture, mm -hmm. and and they got it right away. By the way, the audience guessed it very, very quickly. So yeah. we did a good job. Wow. 
I posted three pictures, so for my photo ops today, I have three options of things I could go get. The audience guessed all three of them, so. Okay. Ugh, okay. Uh, I'm going to put that on the bottom. <laughs> and then I will play yeah. Rat in the Hat. Oh, Ooh, a, a one drop's drop. pretty good. Oh, yeah, I might win this game. That's not good. Okay, yeah. go ahead. All right, okay, oh. A six drop, just what you don't want to see <laughs> in the sub game. All right, I'm going to play the big top. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Luckily, your top came from the main game to the sub game. Yes. Okay. Attack for one. I take one. You're at four. Go ahead. Uh -oh. The clock's ticking. All right, okay. Oh, my God. Uh, all right. Uh, I really was hoping to get a two drop there. I'm going to play a swamp. Go ahead. Uh oh, <laughs> the rats might get there. Oh, strength testing hammer. Oh. Although I can't, I can't um, equip it yet. So attack for one. I'm going to play Scooch okay. uh, to subtract one from target creature's power. Yeah. No. And draw no. a card. So by the way, that is a permanent for the rest of the game. His power is one lower. Oh, so, what Scooch really? is permanent. Yeah, so I add or subtract more. one from target which is power forever. target, light total, or target die don't result. Oh um, my god. Well, it, it doesn't say a duration notice. It doesn't say until end yeah. of turn. It definitely doesn't say until end of turn. Yeah. Wow. Scooch so. is forever. Now, I do have a strength testing hammer, so that might get me there, but okay, are you done? I'm gonna draw my card off my Scooch. Okay. All right, so let me Scooch by here. Are you done? Uh, well, that was in response to yeah. your attack, oh, so sorry, that was sorry. my turn. Oh, it's your turn, your turn. Please, go ahead. These sub-games are very complicated. They are complicated. Oh, All right, one. I'm going to play a mountain, and I'm going to play my Quick Fixer. Ooh, your Quick Fixer, She's okay. She's 2-3 with Menace, and when she deals combat damage to a player, <laughs> open an attraction. 2-3 okay. <laughs> with Menace is pretty good in the <laughs> five life <laughs> meta. Go ahead. Okay. Interesting. Uh... Want to play this or no? Okay, interesting question here. Um, and I think the correct thing. I think I have to equip my strength testing hammer on my red in the hat. Oh, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so give me the die. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Okay, so here's the danger here. I don't roll until I attack, so I have to attack to do this. Okay. If I roll a one, that is very bad for me. If I roll anything else, it is much better for me. So I will attack. Okay. Yeah. If if I may as oh! well. Oh! Woo! Would oh. you like to block my seven? I, I would like my to six block. Two? I would okay, like so to that, block. That's right. Okay. Okay. You oh, draw, oh, by the way, I did draw a card because I had the highest power. That's true. Yeah. I do um, have to speak. Speaking of drawing a card as well, we're playing so fast. Kathleen did miss her draw step last oh, turn. Sorry, she sorry. Drew, get, yeah. Get, get so card. draw a card now. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Go um. ahead. These sub games, man. What, what sort of life total? Four. Here we go. Yeah, sorry, I should give All you right. some. Uh... I'm going to play a line cutter. Waiting is for chumps with there flimsy spacesuits. She's a 3 4 human rogue guest. Go okay. ahead. Okay. I will play a real handful. Oh. Um. Uh oh. <laughs> If I want outside assistance, I'm supposed to uh, call for that ahead of time? Oh, We've got no. Ben and James oh, ben. right here. I'm Ben nearby, okay. Oh, Thank no. you, Ben. Yeah. Okay. Um, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to play a mountain. I'm going to play... Finishing move! You get two tickets. Then you may put a sticker on target non-land permanent okay. you own. Uh, can I borrow your hand? Yeah, sure. Hold on. No, no, no. This is even better. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. So camera with one hand and free hand with the yeah. other hand. <laughs> then, uh, then target creature you control deals damage equal to target to its power to target creature you don't control. Oh, it's not a fight. It's a, it's a, it's a bite. It's a bite. Oh, it's, it's a, a bite. bite. Doesn't matter as much. Okay. Okay. So I mean, what? I'll still hang out. What, okay. <laughs> what's the what's that's things power? It, it's a three. It's a three three. It's a three three. Yes. Okay. So you do three damage to which will, will be enough to destroy. If we actually fought, the life link would matter because I would gain the life from the fight, even if I, I would have died because three three wouldn't defeat a three four. 
So I, you destroyed the real handful. Thank I've you. destroyed the real handful? Yes. OK, excellent. Uh, in that case, I'm going. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, no. Keep, keep your hand here. Uh. <laughs> uh, sorry, I have the man open. I am big in my real handful. OK, so oh. what so is it now? It's plus four, plus four. OK, in response, I in big in my line cutter. Oh, you were also plus four, plus four. OK, now, now we all, uh, now we all. <laughs> Declare attack. OK, I take three damage. Whoa! I can't it's a big it's big it's it's Oh, I lose! Oh, yeah. 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 It's in big end. It's in big end. Okay. Sorry, Mark. That's okay. So that's the end of the sub game. That's I the end leave, of the sub game. I so can now leave we my prison. <laughs> we now shuffle our, our deck. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's slowly let's slowly pull out of here. Make sure everyone's got their cards. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, take your stickers with you as well and your contraption decks. <laughs> Attraction decks. <laughs> we'll figure that out after. <laughs> we'll reset the set. All right, Adam, can you get out safely? Yeah. All right. I'm good. My <laughs> sticker. Yeah, make sure anything that changed zones in weird ways we've got, we can keep track of here. Let's let So, Adam by the way, there the are four subgame cards in existence, and we have played three of the four of them at a, uh, a PPR. Oh, at PPR so. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <sighs> We'll go over the camera. Okay. All right. Careful, please. So you are going to be able to tutor for two cards. Aye. Ooh, how exciting. So. All right. I had forgotten what was going to happen. Yes. <laughs> well, you, get, you get a prize. You get a prize. Nice. Oh. This is all run bad for me, but nonetheless. It's net positive for everyone else. Um, after the subgame ends, the winner searches his or her library for two cards and put those cards into his or her hand and shuffles. So you had a tutor for two cards. Okay. Oh, wrong spikes. The other ones. There we go. I like that. I like that. Um, we're definitely seeing how the production sausage <laughs> is made with the tables coming up and yeah. moving around. Well, it was interesting. After we drafted, I got the photo out and. I knew I couldn't do the Sherazade and I wanted to do uh, the Enter the Dungeon, but I had to go talk to production because it, it's a big thing to spring on them. Oh, by the way, we're going under the table, so. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, sorry, and this, oh, this, is, right, this is my hand from before. All right, I'm gonna reshuffle my attractions deck. Uh, this is my graveyard. Yeah, I just wanna do a quick judge check-in on everything here. All zones are good. I think All hands so. are good, libraries yep. are good, yep. everyone's Did got you their find stickers your two again. Cards? Yep. I, I have not yet resolved finding my two cards. I have okay. to kind of figure out what I want. Ah, so close, so close. Yeah. S let's ah. see. And then just, she had him again. Can we just make sure the card reader's still lined up properly? Just want to make sure that's working. Amazing. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, I have one ticket already. You know what? That's really funny, so I'm going to take that. <laughs> How much time into it are, are we into this round? Uh... A little under, a little over. We end at 1 o'clock. We know 1 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. What time is it? Oh, 12.53, yeah, no! this will be the last game. If I may, just very oh, okay. quickly. So traditionally, when there's a sub game, there is a roll to go first, which is... Oh, okay. It's fine. In the spirit of oh, like, sorry, what we're sorry, doing sorry. now, it was great to get swept up in the moment. I didn't sorry. want to interrupt it there. Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for the purpose of the wider audience and people oh, who are yeah. watching it... You're, you're correct. Yeah. Sorry. No worries. I would have won the roll, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, well, I don't know. Kathleen's been rolling pretty hot. <laughs> Not this game. <laughs> I, I spent Last that. game I would have lost, but this game. All right, I have uh, searched my library for two cards, and I have put them into my hand. Uh -huh. uh, I don't even remember whose turn it was. Uh, it's your turn. I, oh, right. Oh, it's so still I can, your turn. It is, yeah, it we, is still my turn. We just finished resolving oh, the right, right. Game. It's still Back my turn. Yeah. So I'm now going to play uh, the sole performer. The sole performer. <laughs> Uh, which can tap to add tap to my tap pool. What? <laughs> so it allows me... <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> what that means is, for those at home, 
Uh, it's kind of like adding manage my mana pool, except I'm adding tap, which means anytime I would have a cost that is tap, instead of tapping the card, I can spend a tap cost that I, I put into the pool. That's so weird. It is very weird. So this that card, by the way, really was originally suggested for the mystery boosters, for the playtest cards. Uh, and I said, I think that's fun. I would like people to play limited with that card. And so I yeah. put it into the set. All right. Or would you like it's to... Not, and the card is Acorn, because there's no way in the work, works in the rules. So. <laughs> Seems very fun, though. It's a fun card. OK, I'm done. You're done. Go ahead. OK. So I'm... So an update. You have until 1.15. My apologies. Oh, 15. OK. Yes. Yeah. so much yeah, yeah, time. Yeah. All right, uh, one sec. I have to go buy props. Uh, oh, is it time? Uh oh, it's time. I see what's coming. Wait, what else is in my hand? It doesn't matter. It's time for the pie eating contest. Mm -hmm. As an additional cost to cast a spell, gobble X. Each time you gobble, take a bite of food or sacrifice a food token. Uh, this has two lines of flavor text, two incredibly good lines of flavor text. Okay, so what does Hardy do? The pie was outstanding. The cobbler tasted like shoes. Uh, <laughs> An excellent joke. Hardy uh, says, uh, "Target uh, whenever you cast a spell with a chosen number of lines of flavor text, put that many plus one plus one counters on target creature. I got to put it on my flyer. Then I'm going to." Before we resolve that, if I may, I'm sorry to interrupt. No, we, no. We forgot uh, attractions. Oh, I didn't roll so for attractions. So we'll just roll. We'll try and flow with the game as much as we can to keep it going here. But let's get that going as well. Five. You get a sticker. I get a sticker. But do you have any tickets? You have one ticket. I have ticket. one ticket. Okay, so you, you can't get an ability or a power toughness sticker. All right. Um, but you I'm can get a, going a, to, a name. I'm going to give this non-human cannonball some seltzer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it seems appropriate. All right. So so, uh, it, so where does seltzer go in the name? Uh, it's a, it's a non-human seltzer cannonball. Non-human seltzer cannonball. Okay. All right. So as additional cost to cast a spell, gobble X, and then X target creatures you control each get plus two, plus two, and gain trample and until, until end of turn. So <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Do I have a time limit on how fast I have to eat no, this? No. You we, just got to take just did five a video. bites. You, you, you just did a five bites. bites. You need five bites. But we just did a video about me being a goblin. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> nice. Two. Three. <laughs> Not three. Four. Uh, no, three. <laughs> that was three. It's Four. Gonna be a little harsh here, I think. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Five. Very good. All right. The All judges right. have ruled this pie eating contest at a finish. Kathleen, choose five creatures. All of mine. Okay. Right. Yeah. Vroom. Vroom. Okay. I do not. They have trampoles for the issue, right? Maybe. Yeah. Okay, I think I think I'm dead no matter how I block. I can't block the flyer, so for sure I'm taking four. Um, six, because it's four plus oh, two. Oh, plus two, plus two. So yeah. I'm taking six, uh, and I do not have enough toughness. This is three. This so this is six is the problem, right? And I don't have six power toughness, so yeah, I cannot win. But we have time for one more game. Do we have time for one more game? Yeah, because okay, yeah, it, you said can do one, it. it said one fifteen. Okay, one more Let's game. Go. Let's go. There's chips everywhere. Not for long. Ah, oh. Not for long, says Serge. Pulls out gun. <laughs> now Always I have has to. Been. <laughs> yeah. All right, Serge, while you're vacuuming up my mm -hmm. try this. We can go to the wide here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, make sure you put your stickers no, back. No, I got to okay. unsticker my, uh, my dissatisfied customer and my seltzer robot. Most fun minutes of magic. I remember that one time life. at the the old Dominaria pre-release when Serge broke out the vacuum to clean up all the chips. <laughs> you know, that's the second time this has happened. <laughs> Classic magic. Yeah. Well, that's why he had it ready. Yeah. Uh. We learned from, we learned our lesson <laughs> last time. Yeah. Did Paul mute our mics during that? Pull them down. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. That's why Paul's the goat. All right. Okay. Sorry. Actually, 
One second. Adam, could you please shuffle my attraction? Sure can. I shuffle my main deck, too, because I want to play fast and... and fast and loose? And furious. Fast and loose, baby. That's how we roll. Yeah. But only after we have attractions out. All right, I'm going to say that's pretty shuffled. In a, in a tournament setting, right. would it be appropriate to ask a judge to uh, vacuum up your crumbs after a game? Yeah. I keep... There you go. Gonna be real honest with you, Paul. Most of the work as the judge of the tournament is just pushing in chairs and cleaning up crap, anyways. So. Shouldn't have kept, but I said I kept. So let's go. Okay. okay. I'll play a forest. Go ahead. I play a swamp. Go ahead. I'll play a swamp. Go ahead. I'll play a forest. Go ahead. I will play uh, a swamp, and I'll name uh, S ah. on my alpha guard. Go ahead. Oh, actually, do I name S? Um, yeah, I'll name S. Okay. I'll play a mountain, and I'm going to play done for the day. At the beginning of your end step, if you control an employee, performer, or a robot, you may get a ticket or create a treasure token. If you control all three, you may put a sticker on a law land permanent you own. I realized about that. When I, I didn't put this here when I played it, so that's what I get to pick a letter and, and untap things to start with that. Uh, permanence that start with that letter. Okay, you done? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to tap an S. I'm ta uh, tap swap, untap it. Mm hmm. And then tap it again and tap all of this to play the Centaur of Attention. Cool. Okay, so the Centaur of Attention, when Centaur of Attention enters the battlefield, I roll five six sided dice mm -hmm. and store those results on it. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may re roll any number of dice on it, and he gets plus X plus X for X to the number of stored results that are the same value. Oh. So you want to roll all the dice the same. What colors do you want? Uh, Kite five green dice. Or if they don't have five, I can No, we do have five. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. There you go. Oops. Okay. So I rolled four, six, three, one, four. So four is the value I have the highest of. So right now it's plus two, plus two. So it's oh, a five, wow. five. Dang. And then at the beginning of my, um, uh, beginning of my combat on my turn, I can reroll any number of dice. Oh. oh that's pretty good. Yes. This is Bill I also have some seat. die rolling in my deck, so... Yeah. This is a very good card that for feel, rolling lots of dice. That feels like an archetype enabling card. Yes. Yeah. It's a rare? Uh, it is a rare, yes. Yeah. It is a rare. Okay, go ahead. I get to play a forest. And I'm going to play Hardy. Hardy. Okay. We saw him last game. I'm still going to name two, because I think, I think statistically that's my best chance in this deck. A lot of two lines of flavor okay. text. Go Done. ahead. Okay, so I'm, you are tapped out. I am tapped out. Because I know you have an Embiggen. We learned that in the sub-game. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's so... It's for Embiggen. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm going to uh, I'm going to enter my combat. Yep. I'm going to choose to roll these three dice. Uh-huh. Oh, two threes and a two. So I can count either threes or twos. But either way, I only have two of the same thing. Right. So it is, it's a five, five creature. Oh. So I will attack with my five, five creature. I'm going to take five, question mark. Uh, did I, I play, question mark. I, did I play a land? <laughs> question mark. You do take five. Uh, um, you did play a land because you're on five. And okay. Uh, and then I will tap this. Uh, sorry, I will tap this to play a grabby tabby. Go ahead. Oh, my enchantment triggered at the end step. Okay. Because I have a performer. You do. This is why I'm running this card. Yes. Because I actually had just to have like low yep. key. I was like, oh, I can get some value. And um, I'm gonna get a ticket. So you have a choice between getting a ticket or a treasure, I believe. I'm gonna take a ticket. I yeah. The, the flavor, by the way, that I like a lot about this card is Myra says, "I will pay you, but I'll also pay you in tickets. Yeah. If you prefer to have tickets, I'll pay you in tickets." So most people take the take the money. But. <laughs> I, well, I went out, remember how I was like, I don't care, I just want to play. Yeah. I'm going to just keep whatever it was. Six lands, baby, so I don't okay. need treasure. All right. Five. You know what? One time, they're going to 
we're gonna do something. I'm gonna play the squirrel squatters. The squirrel squatters. Okay, they, and they open up an and attraction. They open an attraction. What do I get? What'd you get? The storm, oh, storm of Pride. Pride. When I visit it, I exile the top X cards of my library, where X is the number of attractions you've visited this turn, and you may play those cards this turn. At the beginning of the next end step, if any of those cards are made exile, put them on the bottom of your library in any order. And the flavor text is, the ride is whimsical and fun, except when it's broken. A little in-joke there. <laughs> uh, please go ahead. Okay, hang on, tab. No trigger from Hardy, because they only have one line of flavor text. Such oh, but wait, does does the attraction trigger? No, because whenever you cast a spell. You cast a spell. You, 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 you end step one on your enchantment, though. And I Oh, do... yeah, you do get a ticket or a, a treasure. Give me a ticket. There you go. Okay. Tiki, 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 tiki. Um, and you are tapped out again. I am. Okay. I am going to cast... Disinvolve on your squirrel squatters. <laughs> I just want to get some squirrels. <laughs> squirrels. Oh, man. How many unique vols are there in squirrel squatters? There's four. There's four. Uh, and then I am going, at the beginning of my combat, I'm going to, I'll keep the fours. I'm in danger. I <laughs> uh, got another four. So now this is now a six six. I will attack with my four three and my six six. <laughs> Well, I'm not dead, so I'm gonna take it. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Go to one. Go yeah, to one. Yeah, go to one. Yeah. And then, oh, sorry. Before we do the oh. uh, roll for attraction, please. Roll, roll for your storybook. Three. Three. Nothing. Nope. That's okay. You know what? We're okay. We're okay. Look at this. We're getting here. Carnival carnivore. Four six death touch. Death touch. When he enters the battlefield, you get a ticket. Ticket, please, Adam. Uh, yeah. And then you get you a sticker. Put a sticker on yeah. target non-land permanent you control. And he's got two lines of flavor text. The carnival oh. carnivore. Somehow only the th the third most dangerous ride in the park. Mm -hmm. So that means hardy triggers. Okay. Whenever you cast a spell with the chosen number of lines of flavor text, put that many plus one plus one counters on target creature. In fact, they're just going to go on to hardy himself. He gets two plus. So now he's, he's a, six, a six, six six, and he's a four six six, and I have these three tickets that I can trade in for something. And in fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you back those tickets, Adam, because I've decided that Carnival Carnivore is not a four six. He's a two seven. A two seven. With okay. Death touch. With death touch. Okay. Ha ha. Ha ha. He he. I, I may live yet another turn. <laughs> ho ho. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go to my end step trigger. Um, I'll take the treasure now. Okay. There's these oh. great treasures. Yeah, there are some fun treasures. There are, two, there are two pictures of treasure. Yeah, there is there's a great treasure. one that has an employee of the month. <gasps> employee of the month. And that yeah. is it's Angelic Herald. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, is a, that is a treasure from Beyond the Stars. Yeah, I love those Voice like treasures. an angel. Please so, go ahead. Okay, so I want to tap. Okay, I will pet my swamp. Any scooches? I do not have any scooches. Dang. I could, yeah, I could scooch for the win if yeah, I had a scooch. Uh, but I do not have a scooch right now. Um, okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to attempt to six-sided die your, carn your uh, carnival carnivore. This is it. Okay, here, I, I, oh, might, have, I might die. Your own okay, so let, let's explain what's going to happen here. Uh, if I roll a one, nothing. Basically, it, it, oh, sorry, if I roll one, it becomes one toughness. Uh, if I roll two, I put two minus one minus one counters on it. <gasps> it's a two-two death toucher. Uh, if I put three, it does three damage to it. I gain three life. It won't destroy it, but I will gain three life. Yeah. Uh, four will give it minus four minus four, which will take away for the turn at least the um, death touch and make it an O three. Uh, mm -hmm. Five will destroy it. Six will exile it. Mm -hmm. That is what's going to happen. Are you ready? I'm ready. Six. No! It is. It's not even in your <laughs> graveyard. Goodbye. It's exilid. Okay. I think I'm just dead here. I think so. Okay, so I start my combat. I'm going to roll again. Two fours will be for, just for style points. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, almost. Oh, one four. Okay. <laughs> so I have a seven seven, and I will attack with my four three and my sevens, and whatever, and my one two. Wonderful. Okay. Hey. 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 Wonderful having you. Yep. This was. It was fun. That Thank was... you for having me. This was <laughs> something else. <laughs> this we got to sit under the table. Got to play a sub game. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Mark, 
If people want to find more of the stuff you do, where can they find you? Oh, uh, I write an article every week called Making Magic that appears on the Wizards website. Mm -hmm. I have a podcast every week, or two of them, called Drive to Work that is also on the Magic website. Uh, I have a blog on Tumblr called Blogger Talk where I answer questions every single day. Mm -hmm. And you can reach me on social media. I am on Twitter at at Maro254. I'm on Instagram. I'm even on TikTok these days. So all over the place. Oh. So come, come find me on social media. Yeah, that's great. Well, that's it for round one here, but that's not the end of the day. I want to mention once again, thank you very much to Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring this stream. And we are loading ready to run. And up next, we have a Commander Deck Tech with, I'm assuming, Ben. Yes. And you're going to watch that while we get ready for round two, which is Maria versus Cameron with Kathleen sitting in. All right, everybody, sit tight. We'll be back in a few. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Step right up for a most unforgettable surprise. The most unbelievable sights you've ever seen with your own two eyes. And if you've got more than two, well, that's bonus unbelievable-ness. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles, all left behind at this theme park by you yourselves, the attendees, and procured by our very own lost and found mistress. A floating head in a spaceship, a mystery jetpack with an undetermined amount of fuel left in it, and Another LRR MTG deck tech. <clears throat> with me, Ben Ulmer. Unfinity is finally here, and with it comes the Astratorium, an awesome new setting that evokes the fun filled experience of an intergalactic midway. I love going to theme parks, playing the games, eating things that probably shouldn't be deep fried, going on rides, and then re experiencing the fried food afterwards. But at every kind of event, where you can spin people upside down, things are bound to be misplaced, which is where the lost and found comes in. So say hello to DK, finder of the lost, in a deck I'm calling Dice to Meet Ya. DK is a 1-4 zombie employee for one blue black that reads, when DK, finder of the lost, enters the battlefield, open an attraction. Whenever you roll a two, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. When you roll a four, you may tap or untap target artifact or creature. And when you roll a six, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. I love dice rolling in Magic, and the new attraction deck seems way too fun to say no to. So let's take advantage of both and jam our deck full of dice rolling shenanigans. To start off, the attraction deck is gonna provide us with some sweet value, both from the dice roll in our main phase and the cards effect themselves. Of the many available, I'd recommend big hitters like Hall of Mirrors, which can turn your entire board into DKs, or Swinging Ship, which gives you an extra combat phase on your turn. Also, shout out to Pick a Beeble for being at Common and doing double duty in this deck, allowing you to roll to visit and roll when you visit. Also, am I the only one that thinks this Beeble is weirdly attractive? Uh, pick a people also gives you treasures. The neat thing about attractions is that there are multiple versions of each. So it's up to you if you want to spread out the numbers you're trying to hit, or if you want to go for the greed play and sync them up with the numbers DK is looking for. And if you're going for greed, why not enchant one of them with mechanized production? Not only can you then make multiples of the attraction, you might even just win the game. Now that we know which attractions we're grabbing, we gotta know how we're grabbing them because D can't do all the heavy lifting on her own. Step right up, quick fixer, discourtesy clerk, and monitor monitor all allow you to get the party started and make sure the attractions keep on coming. And command performance and line cutter let you roll to visit your attractions right away. And now that we have our attractions set up, we get to the real goal of the deck. We're gonna roll the bones. Bones in this case meaning dice and not the appendages of the park employees. Celebrate Thousand, Strength Testing Hammer, and Clown Car are juicy dice rolling cards that not only give us great effects when played, they also take advantage of D's abilities. 
And if you don't roll exactly what you're looking for, no problem. That's what bamboozling Beeble, Xeno Squirrels, and Night Shift of the Living Dead are for, which alongside the AFR card Pixie Guide, give you the power to augment your rolling to better suit your needs. And speaking of existing cards in the dice rolling genre, it's worth noting that there were a ton from the Dungeon and Dragon sets. The only snag here is that they typically want us rolling d20s, which go outside the payoffs that D's looking for. However, it's hard to say no to straight up bonkers cards like Ancient Silver Dragon and Copper Dragon. But there are cards that roll smaller dice, like Arcane and Grave Endeavors, which roll two dice each. There's also Bucknard's Everflowing Purse, a weird little mana rock that allows you to tap it for one mana and roll a d4. Then you make treasures equal to the roll and pass the purse to the player on your right, so everyone can partake in the dice rolling fun. And since we're rolling all these dice, we need payoff cards like Feywild Trickster, which gives you a nice wall of flying fairy friends, and Vexing Puzzle Box, which on top of being a mana rock, grabs you any artifact in your deck and puts it straight onto the battlefield once you build up 100 charge counters. And that may sound like a lot, but you have cards like Nethery's Puzzle Ward giving you another dice roll on your turn. And even the lands get in on the fun, with Underdark Rift rolling you a d10 and sending your opponent's artifact, creature, or planeswalker back into their library. You'll get there in no time. Of course, you'll need to protect all your dice rolling friends, and Unfinity has a bunch of fun new synergistic cards to help deal with your opponent's pesky threats. Black Hole is a sorcery that allows you to destroy a creature and then some for each attraction you visited this turn. And the aptly named Attempted Murder lets you dump a bunch of mana for a bunch of dice rolls, creating creatures and minus one minus one counters depending on your results. There's also Motion Sickness, a helpful freezing enchantment that lets you move it around when you visit one of your attractions. Because as we all know, there's always a newer, scarier creature down the road. I was lost when it came to finding a goofy dice rolling commander that spoke to me. But thanks to DK, I've been found. You'll be needing a giant bag to carry around all the dice you'll be rolling when you play this deck. And because you can never trust RNG, you'll be on the edge of your seat when you see what spicy payoffs you get to reap each time you roll. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go get some cotton candy before another zombie loses their arm in the machine. It tasted weird, and I couldn't put my finger on why. Enjoy! Welcome back to the Unfinity pre-pre-release. Big thank you to Wizards of the Coast for uh, giving us the product and allowing us to have all this fun. Uh, <laughs> if you if you just missed it, uh, I played around with Mark Rosewater and I still have crumbs in my shirt. But that is not what we're talking about now. Now we're on to round two. And unlike other PPRs, we're not gonna like talk about wins or loses. We're just gonna give people 90 minutes to have as much fun as they can and then they're not allowed to have any more fun after that. Yeah. Hmm. But for now, all fun. So. On my left side, or my right, if you're watching me on the screen, I have Cameron Louder, huh? my wonderful co-worker, who, and one of the people who wrote flavor text on this set. On my right, or your left, if you're watching me on the screen, if you're only listening, I don't think this is going to work, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Maria from Good Luck, high five. They are here to battle to the death, to the mirth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Finally, <laughs> battle to the mirth. <laughs> Uh, we resolved die rolls. Who won the die roll? I did. Perfect. Yeah. And Cameron, are you going to play first or draw? I'm going to play first. Excellent. All right. They both kept hands of seven. Let's begin! All right. Good five, Let's have play. luck. Good five, have luck. Yes! All right. <laughs> mountain, go. Oh, look at that mountain casual flex there. Yeah. It's but very exciting. Look at this. Oh. Wow. Oh, th really? The foil? <laughs> How's that fair? <laughs> go ahead. You know, I just had to one up your sweet land drop there. Well, I have this foil. Oh, island, all right, all right. And I play Prize Wall. Oh, what's a Prize Wall? It is an O4 Defender. Uh, for blue, tap, I get a ticket. For four in blue, tap, you may put a sticker on a non land permanent you own, activate only as a sorcery. Okay. 
Great. This is a declaration of intent. <laughs> Please go. <laughs> I understand. I will play a, another swamp for the turn, and I will pass back to you. Hmm, ominous. It um, is, truly. Mountain. Okay. I would like to tap these three, and then call Juggletron. <gasps> Juggletron! Uh, 04, Clown Robot, Trample. Whenever Juggletron attacks, you may put an art sticker on it. Juggletron gets plus three, plus O for each item in its art that's not touching Juggletron, another item, or the card frame. Plus Whoa. three, plus O? Yep. Holy moly! That seems pushed, Mark. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. <laughs> Go. That's absurdity. Draw. Swamp. <laughs> I shall play Quick Fixer here, which is my um, employee. It's 2 3 with me Menace. Um, whenever Quick Fixer deals combat damage to a player, open an attraction. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Okay. I would like to put this island into play. Indeed. And then... Gosh, what am I going to do about that thing? SwiftRunnerXXY uh, says, you know, there's really only enough room for two or three items, so it'll only be a 9-4 trample. Yeah, yeah, oh, exactly. is that it? Okay, uh, well... I would like to attack with Juggletron, yeah. and Juggletron is going to begin juggling this wrench. So just when it attacks, you just get to put a sticker on it. Yep. Juggletron is broken. Mark. Cameron's <laughs> going for the long play. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I'm going to die to this card. Um, wow, sad. Um, uh, oh, uh, you know, go. I, I, I accept your juggling damage. Okay. Taking a wrench to the face on this one. <laughs> Uh, second main, I would like... We play tests very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> it dies to removal. I don't get yeah. the problem. Okay. We, uh -huh. we didn't make it plus N plus N. It's plus N plus O. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Block it! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you running go for the throat? Um, second main, I would like to play Wizards of the Blank. When this Ooh. creature enters the battlefield, you may put a name sticker on it. Then look at the top X cards of your library, where X is the number of unique vowels on that sticker. Put one of those cards into your hand, and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. So I am going to go with Wizards of the Yawgmoth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Great. that's a good one. That's, that's yeah. a lot of vowels. Since Yawgmoth counts as a, um, or Y counts as whatever you need it to. Yeah. It is both a vowel and a consonant. Wizards of the Yawgmoth. Oh no, okay. Sorry, I cannot be allowed to play stickers because <laughs> I've already ruined everything. Oh, it's okay, you got 90 minutes. Yeah, don't worry about it. I will need all of them. We just need 80, you just, you got 85 left. I'm, I'm looking forward to um, being told Beautiful. that, oh wait, Oh yeah, there it I'm is. I'm going to need you to place a sticker so by a judge. How many unique vowels are we looking for here? Or how uh, three. Excellent. Yeah, three. So I look at the top three, put one in my hand, Very and good. the rest on the bottom of my library. It's Can we like just an do a quick order. double check on the number of vowels in Yawgmoth? Y, yeah. A, M. Oh, oh. Wait, isn't there a U as well in Yawgmoth? Uh, there is not. Moth, not mouth. Oh my Yog god, mouth. I'm going to go walk Yawgmoth. <laughs> I'm going to go walk <laughs> Yawgmoth. I'm sitting there like... Yeah, Cam, I can count to four, and oh, I'm, I think oh. Yawgmoth would be a great oh. unset creature. Mark, think about it. <laughs> He's right there this time. Ooh, ooh, Yawgmoth, who? Oh, how how do I do the? I just want to check something real quick. Yeah. Okay, you clear. Make sure you do not touch. You, you did. You oh did. yeah, yeah. I was um, very careful. Okay, okay. You have um, to not. You have to. The stickers have to not touch each other, not, not touch, touch Juggletron, burger. and not touch the frame. Yes. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Okay, I put this in my hand. Okay. And these go on the bottom of my library. Welcome, Raiders. I will say go. Okay. I shall untap and I shall draw for turn, and I shall play yet another swamp. 
<laughs> Mono black, huh? Uh, yeah, something like that. Um, let's pay four dollars for wolf in blank clothing. Mm. Okay. When Wolf and Blake clothing Ooh. enters the battlefield, you may put a name sticker on it. When you do, up to X target creatures and get uh, each get minus one minus one until end of turn, where X is the number of unique vowels on that sticker. No. Oh. So let's see My what we got of here. The <laughs> um, spooky. That's just one. Clown one. Mox one. Sassy one. Gremlin two. Blood one. Playable. Two delusionary. Ooh, no, okay. Playable would be three. Playable because has y three. Oh yeah, because why? Okay, three delusionary. One, two, three, four, five, <gasps> six. Delusion? What? <laughs> Juggle No. <laughs> it's, it's number of creatures. Oh, number of oh, creatures. Oh, oh. So it doesn't really matter because they're all just gonna get. I mean, that would be sick. I would have just completely wiped the board. Um. But I don't, yeah, does it really truly matter? Maybe I do want to give two things, uh, minus one, minus one. I think I at least want two. Mm. So although I want a wolf in blood clothing, I'm not going to choose that because um, I'm going to choose a wolf in playable clothing <laughs> 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 to give uh, a few things here. So um, with, worth mentioning with stickers, Delusionary is sort of like a jackpot. It's the yeah. only one that has all, all six of them? vowels okay. in it. Okay, yeah. great. It's, it's the only six. This wolf is wearing playable clothing, everyone. So um, we have one, two, three. So three creatures, all three of those, will get uh, minus one, minus one until end of turn. Killing your wizards of the Yawgmoth, sorry. Oh, well, I'll replace the Yawgmoth sticker then. Well, leave, well, no, 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 it, it stays, on. it stays, it stays, it stays. right. Um, and allowing me to attack with my quick fixer, with Menace. Oh dear, I get menace um, now I get to open an attraction! Yay! I'm so excited! My first attraction, it is the clown extruder, everybody. We're gonna extrude some clowns. The horror. You ever eaten at a restaurant afterwards? You had to extrude a few clowns? I, I've had to export some footage. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever I visit this, I make a 1-1 one, one white clown robot artifact creature token. Okay, I'm done. Go ahead. Okay. I'm ready to poop out some clowns. Mm. Let's see. I would like to attack with Juggletron, and Juggletron will add a snake. Oh, God. <sighs> All right, how much damage am I potentially taking off of this? Uh, six. <laughs> oh, no. I'm at seven. Call Juggletron. Uh. Oh my god, I just straight up go to 11? That seems so bad. But you also have an 04, which is like really annoying. Um, no blocks! Don't live in fear in the Infinity Universe. <laughs> well, okay, uh, just six. Dangerous place. <laughs> <laughs> I do not keep my hands inside the ride at all times. I would like to. Um, cast these Goblin Blastronauts. Ooh. When they enter the battlefield, open an attraction. Whenever you roll a six, you may copy the spell, ability, or attraction visit that caused you to roll that die. You may choose new targets for the copy. Ooh. So, I, um, open Trash Bin. Ooh, what's this one? Oh, yeah, uh, visit bin. mill two cards, then return a card at random from your graveyard to your hand. Flavor text? Yet another trash uncommon. Oh, that's great. That's great. <laughs> Isn't it though? All right. I think that's my turn. Oof. All right. Something better be on the top of this deck. So after you draw, then we'll roll for, roll for the attraction. Okay, it was not. Uh, <laughs> but I'm going to roll for my clown extruder. Do we extrude? Let's find out. No extrusion. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Well, my deck really relies on me getting to five lands. <laughs> oh. um, ooh, uh, go ahead. Okay. So untap, upkeep, draw, or is it's in upkeep, right? It's like uh, saga. No, no, after you draw, like a saga. Oh, okay. Yes. Untap, upkeep, draw, roll. Okay. 
at the beginning of main phase. We just went over this. <laughs> On a three or six. Oh, Ooh, a six. Okay, mill two cards and return a card at random from your graveyard to your hand. I mill this mountain and this Roxy publicist Ooh, to the stars. That seems good. And then uh, what do you say we, this is my graveyard. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, sure. Oh, also uh, Goblin Blastronauts yep. makes it uh, double. Because anytime, when I roll the six. When you roll a six. So Holy I, cow. So resolve the first one. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to put okay. all the cards yes. in pull two. Good point, okay. okay. So six, there you go, Roxy. I return a second. Does that count? Yeah. No, no, it's not actually a die roll. R like a random thing yeah. won't. Yeah. Doesn't it? Doesn't This is require. our random yeah. number generator. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So what? What is? What is being copied here? We have a trigger on the stack because you roll the die, right? And then what I mean, does it do? I mean, I was rolling a die. This isn't like capital roll, capital A, uh, capital mm. D die. This was a way of randomly determining which card comes. Oh, fantastic. Back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I get Roxy back. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, but because I rolled a six on the initial attraction thing. Uh, I copy it. Copy it. So I return, or I mill, mill off three. proficient pyro dancer, and ballerina. Um, why don't I roll one, two, three, four, and then re-roll fives and sixes? Sure. Three. three proficient pyro dancer is returned. Wow. Seems good. Seems good. Okay. Um. I should untap Juggletron. Yes. I would like to put this island into play. I allow it. Um, no effects. I would like to cast this proficient pyrodancer. When proficient pyrodancer enters the battlefield, you may put an art sticker on a non-land permanent you own. I would like to put it on... Our first art sticker of the day. This is exciting. I mean, not, you know, that's not on Juggletron. I yeah, don't, I don't and Juggletron that was hogging them all. Because I hate it. <laughs> um, Mark. <laughs> I'm going to put on this Jace plushie. Oh, oh come on. you're getting awfully close there, Cam. I am. Will you be able to fit four, do you think? I think I could get yeah, infuriatingly you, good at this. I think you could get um, another one on there. That's okay, sword. so that's proficient pyrodancer. Um, I would like to activate proficient pyrodancer's uh, ability. Okay. To give another target creature with an art sticker on it plus two plus zero oh, and menace until end of turn. <laughs> you know, go for it. Um, go for declare it. Declare attacks. <laughs> I'm going to attack with goblin blastronauts. Yep. And Juggletron. Juggletron gets another sticker. All right, I gotta see this. Yeah, I think you can do it. I think he can too. Four, that's gotta be, I mean, depending on the stickers you open. Yeah. You open some good ones. Mine would not, would not have been as good for this because they're a lot bigger and more unwieldy. Oh, on, okay, Cam baby. got a lot of really skinny stickers. All right, it's the oh, moment oh, of I truth. Mean, this one's easy. I'm just trying to see if I can like dirt out some more so, space no here. No way, come on. <laughs> Fine, I won't get greedy. <laughs> Look at that, everybody. This is this is magnificent. That Juggletron is juggling a snake, a jace, a wrench, and a sword. So it's a 14-4 trample menace. Yes. Well. I'm also attacking with this 5-4. Yeah. Well, I don't, you know, have a lot of life to work with here. I'll double block your Juggletron. Okay. Um, so... So I'm still going to take a million. Yeah, Juggletron will trample over for, um, eight. Plus five is thirteen. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Great card design, Mark! <laughs> Juggletron knows only war. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now we have to take our stickers back, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, this is so fun. These stickers remind me of so many different... Uh, you remind me of my youth. Did somebody say stickers? Because I have a rules segue I can do here. Oh, yeah, Ooh, here we go. Let me just slide on the frame while you we do stuff rules. here. We love rules. So previously, I had asked Mark some questions about how stickers worked. Specifically on, uh, I believe it was Kathleen played a red-black card that lets you take face-down cards and put them into play. What happens if you have doubled face cards and you have stickers on them. Yeah. And so Mark had to check in with Jess because this falls under the, not the unset 
portion, so they want to do a double check. But I got the answer, and the answer is you treat stickers like counters. So if there was a plus one, plus one counter on a creature and you flipped it over, the plus one would stay. So the same way that it works here. If you add, I don't know, the wrench that Cameron had, the wrench would be on either side of it if it was relevant. It wouldn't suddenly mm -hmm. go face down and no longer have a wrench. Sounds like, like okay. a physics thing, you know? Yeah. Like the wrench is on both sides of the card, really. Well, the card, like, you know, the creature is holding a wrench, and whether you're looking at its front face or its back That's face, true. It's, it's still holding the wrench. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's a little bit niche. It does have an application into the creature release, and typically we don't like to answer questions outside the scope of the event because there's too many edge questions. Oh, yeah. And that's where magic players' brains go. They're like, what if I play a werewolf? No, don't, don't yeah. go there. Just. That's the way the stickers work. How does this combo with my ad nauseum deck? No. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So while you guys are shuffling and getting ready, maybe we could tell some clown jokes or something <laughs> like that. You know, Wheeler's I, not here today, but he's got several clown and lengthy yeah, jokes. Yeah, I, I mean, I feel that I worked very hard to get a Pagliacci Reference? Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure it ever landed, though. Was it too obvious? Mm, maybe. I don't, I'm trying to think if I, if I know any safer broadcast clown oh, jokes. I definitely don't. <laughs> <laughs> All my clown jokes are highly disturbing. <laughs> All right, we're going to skip the clown joke segment in favor of keeping our WotC contract <laughs> intact uh, and uh, just move on to looks like the players have shuffled up and are ready to take their next hands. Yep. All right, do I take the play in this, um, or do we, you know, since... You know, if you want to, you lost, so if you want to okay. play, you can play. Oh. I shall do so. I have to mulligan. Ooh, this is also pretty Despite dicey. Despite the presence of Juggletron and six other very good spells, I feel uh. that it's not really sustainable. Right, yes. I mean, all you have to do, but I mean, think about your odds of ripping land so much higher to have yeah, done yeah, in your exactly. initial hand. I mean, I feel that... You know, with my luck, I can count on ripping seven, eight lands in a row. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've got this a family-friendly clown joke. <gasps> search Ooh, okay, is a family-friendly clown joke. My partner dated a clown before we started going out. Mm -hmm. Turns out I got some big shoes to fill. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Thank you for the... The, the horn <laughs> the really horn made it sound. at the yeah. end. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. that, yeah that uh, really put that one over the top. Thank you. <laughs> Just do the Pennywise dance. I got a whole Google search worth if you need me to fill for time here. Please, please, while they're resolving mulligans. Get, mm. let's, get, come on camera, we'll All do right. more. Hey, Kathleen, oh, why yes. was the clown sad? I don't know, Serge, why? Because he broke his funny bone. Oh. <laughs> uh, sure, I can keep this. Thank God. And then I will put away you. How are you feeling, good? I'm you feeling, good? you know, moderate. He got a good six? Sure. All right, hold up. That's a little. That's a little. Thank you. Zesty luck for you. Ah, uh, go. Let's begin with an island this time. Oh, mm. the second color. Go ahead. Good mountain. Go. Oh, it's Ooh, a nice mountain again. Mm. Swamp. I shall pass to you. Island. Go. Okay. Island. It's happening. I've got a Glitter Flitter. Oh no. Which um, is so cute. Uh, fairy Performer 2 2 Flyer. When uh, Glitter Flitter enters the battlefield, you get a ticket. Then you may put a sticker on a non land permanent you own. I think I will do so. None of my. You know, I can't spend one ticket on anything. I've got just like a lot of other stickers. But my, my power and toughness and my abilities all cost at least two tickets. So hmm. I'm going to put. Um, just, just for funsies, we're gonna put a hat on to glitter flitter. So, gonna wear a real nice sombrero. <laughs> I think that looks just delightful. <laughs> I think she's improved, honestly. Mm. I think she looks great. Go ahead. Okay. Um. Brain, brain, we can do this. Brain power. Drop. Brain power. We really can't. Um, go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Untap. Draw. Okay, what are we going to do this turn? We've got another swamp. 
Um. Oh. That's what that is. Okay. Um. Well, first, I'll go to combat, mm -hmm. and I'll attack you with the glitter flitter. I get flittered. All right. And possibly take, glittered. Take two. <laughs> That's what happens. It's just like glitter in your face every single time. Do we yeah. have any glitter at the moon base? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Um, I'm going to cast a rare here. Um, <gasps> Fleuros of Mira's Marvels, which is uh, the alt art, which looks really, really cool. Three for for Merfolk performer, as a Flor Fluoros of Mira's Marvels enters the battlefield, choose a number greater than zero. Whenever you cast a spell with power, toughness, or loyalty equal to the chosen number, target artifact or creature becomes an artifact creature with base power and toughness XX until end of turn, where X is the chosen number. Partner. Hmm. Huh. Okay. I'll say th I'll go with three. Okay, everything is a 3-3? Three, three. Everything if it is, will just become a 3-3. Three, three. If it's 3 or like CMC? One, yeah, um, target artifact or creature becomes a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Or maybe I should drink bigger. What is it? Power, toughness, or loyalty? Is that loyalty doesn't count. Power, toughness. Hmm. Three's kind of boring, though, isn't it? I'll say five. Five! Final answer. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Nine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Island. I would like to play this blank goblin. Ooh. Uh, when this creature enters the battlefield, you may put a name sticker on it. Add red mana for each unique vowel on that sticker. Uh -huh. I will play Yogmoth. Yep. Giving me three mana. Nice. This Yogmoth goblin. <laughs> this goblin died of Yogmoth. Um, so I'm floating three mana, three red mana. Um, actually. Storm count is one. Yeah. <laughs> Brain. We're so good at things. I tapped wrong. It's, you know, Ariel laxed up in here, you know okay. what I mean? Thank you. I appreciate it. There's been no moment more in a game of Magic that I've been more okay with, like, yeah, just, just, yeah. just fix it. Yeah. Fix it. <laughs> uh, so blue and the three red mana. Motion Sickness. Ooh. Um, when Motion Sickness enters the battlefield, tap Enchanted Creature. Enchanted Creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. Whenever you visit an attraction, you may attach mo Motion Sickness to target tapped creature. Um, oh, so you can move it around. Yeah. Uh, I would like to... Enchant uh, Furos. Fluoros. Fluoros is um, a motion, mo motion sick. Mm -hmm. So then she gets tapped from this. Okay. She does. Sorry, Fluoros, you went on the teacups one too many times. And then I will say go. Fab. Untap. Draw. Okay, 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 okay. Um. What do I want to do here? I'll attack you for two. I get two. Two. <laughs> I really want some glitter. Mm. Uh, James, can we have glitter? The vacuum is dead. Please no. <laughs> um, I'm gonna play um, Scared Stiff this turn, mm -hmm. which is a three-two zombie coward guest. Great. <laughs> Scared Stiff has menace as long as you control a stickered permanent, which we do from our. Glitter flitter. Um, the, hor the horrors of Soren's haunted mansion scared Herc half to life. Great flavor text. Go ahead. Okay. Mm. I would like to make the scared stiff also motion set. What? Oh! Unbelievable! All of my creatures are just suck at going on rides. And then I attack with this Yogmoth Goblin. I accept your two damage. Thank you. Gracefully. <laughs> your turn. Okay. Untap the things that I'm able to. Draw. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I'll attack with Glitter Flitter again. I've become twoed. Two! <laughs> James, please. The glitter time, it's running out. <laughs> Wow, Paul is now emphatically shaking his head at me. <laughs> Let's play um, 
What should I do here? Yeah, let's do this. Three mana for a seasoned buccaneer. Seasoned buccaneer, because I want to open an attraction. Mm. Um, Tutu. Let's open an attraction, everybody. What are we going to get? Oh, it's a fortune teller. Ooh. Scry one when I visit, which uh, that's well, that'll be really nice, actually. Uh, I'm done. Go ahead. Okay. Um. Island. Oh, this is going to hurt. It's painful, everybody. <laughs> Shh. I'm the table friend. I'm not okay. supposed to be here. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I attack with the Yawgmoth Goblin. Oh, yeah. Uh, no blocks. <laughs> I would like to play another blank goblin. Oh. Um. This one will be a cheese goblin. Oh, that's delicious. I know. I was talking about cheese a lot this weekend because I just really like old cheddar. The older, the better. You know, 15, 20 years, that's what I'm looking for. You want it, you want it dry and crumbly. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I, want, I want it to be older. I want it to remember Y2K. <laughs> you want it to be embarrassed that low-rise jeans are coming back? Yeah. <laughs> Anybody out there, if you're thinking about, oh, should I get some low-rise jeans? Just don't. Just don't. Just, just don't. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I float one red mana. Yep. And then I might as well um, cast this Goblin Airbrusher. Ooh. Whenever you place a sticker, create a treasure token. If it's an art sticker, instead create two treasure oh, tokens. Oh, beautiful. Um, I did that in the wrong order because I'm very <laughs> smart. Anyway, uh, your turn. Okay. <laughs> Untap, and now I'm going to roll for my fortune teller. Uh, draw first, please. Draw, thank you. Um, four, five, or six hits. One. Uh. No. There shall be no scrying. Island for turn. Um, let's attack, shall we? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Attacking for the Glitter Flitter and my Tutu, uh, Vidalkin employee. I will trade the Cheese Goblin for the Seasoned Buttoneer. Okay. <laughs> That's an acceptable trade. And you take two from the Glitter Flitter. Two! <laughs> wow, well, she's so festive. Reload for next turn. <laughs> oh. And then I'm going to play, oh boy. <laughs> I'm going to pay five mana to pay six. Play Soul Swindler. Ooh. These are a lot of my five drops that open attractions, and it also is five, so I could have made my attraction. God dang it! I take it back. I'm not. I'm not gonna do that, everybody, because I forgot about my Fluoros mm. trigger that would have happened. So instead, I'll play um, Draconian Gatebot, mm -hmm. which is a four-two for five. Um, uh, when it enters the battlefield, choose one. Open an attraction or destroy an attraction. Well, we're opening. Open here. Hmm. Uh, let's open the Tunnel of Love. Ooh. Hello. Um, tunnel of Love. What a beautiful looking attraction. Visit. Choose an opponent. They choose a creature they control. Then you choose a creature you control. You may exile the chosen creatures. Oh, they're going in the tunnel together. If you do, return them to the battlefield under their owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. That seems good for me right now. <laughs> Otherwise, the chosen creatures fight each other. Oh, my. Just like real life. Go ahead. <laughs> so, oh, when you, but you have to visit it first. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Here, I'll put this uh, as a reminder. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. We have a tunnel of love ride at the Minnesota State Fair called Ye Old Mill. <gasps> I watched a whole video on Ye Old oh, Mill. Oh, you did? Yes, I love Ye Old Mill. It's like five minutes sitting in complete and utter darkness going down a river mm -hmm. while you're in like a little log boat. But while you're doing it, every so often a diorama appears that you can look at, which is just the most like horrifying, weird 1950s like cutouts, like standing in like a 
field, like it'll be completely incomprehensible why they're there or what they're doing or what you should be gaining from looking at them. Anyway, it's real. It's my favorite ride. <laughs> I feel death is coming. Um, I would like to cast this Minotaur de Force. Uh, it's a 2-1 with haste. When it enters the battlefield, I get a ticket. Then I may put a sticker on a non-land permanent I own. Tickets. Ticket. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever master the uh, oh, the, yeah. the correct tension? That's a great to pull, question. To pull tickets out of a? No. Oh. You. It was just like the... the it was a thing. Yeah. yeah. I, I was doing different things at fairs <laughs> in my youth. <laughs> like going on tunnels of love. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cameron and I are both from Prince George, and I'll tell you those stories when we're not being broadcast. Okay, great. <laughs> um, let's see. I am going to. I think, the Goblin Airbrusher, has had, is now airbrushing. A Jace onto his T-shirt. Very cute. Very cute. And I would like two treasure tokens, please. Thank you. Ooh, foil. Um, I will attack with, hmm, hmm. Oh, so much death is coming next turn. <laughs> uh, I did, it's like no I blocks. what I was going to do. No blocks. Oh, this is so bad. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to anyone. I appreciate that you don't speak in hyperbole, Cam. That's one thing Thank I've always you. liked I, about you. I, I, I agree. Mm -hmm. I am famously reserved. <laughs> <laughs> I'm possibly the most reserved person in the world. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, totally. Buddhist monk wins uh, humility contest. <laughs> I am the most serene. Um, no, death is coming. Uh, we attack like that. Ooh. All right. Um, some tutus coming at me, eh? Uh, sure, we'll just, we'll say no blocks. Hooray. I'll take four. Four, yeah. Um. It's all tied up, all 12, 12 to 12. 12. All right. And then I'm going to spend a treasure token to cast okay. Goblin Blastronauts. That's a good card. So when I'm going to open an attraction. I have this 5-4. I open... Spinny Ride. That's where these people were. <laughs> <laughs> There's no escaping. Um, okay. I will say go. All right. Let's untap that which can be untapped. Draw. And then visit <laughs> attractions. Then I'm going to visit some attractions. All right, let's 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 actually visit one this time, everybody. Ready? Three. No! <laughs> Mark! <laughs> Just threaded the needle. Okay, we're alive for another turn. Oh, it would have been so good, everyone. The pain I'm feeling right now is <laughs> indescribable. Um, <laughs> is he getting mad at me out there? <laughs> Okay, well, um, what shall I do here? Um, let me see. How much toughness do you have going on over there? You have a 2 uh, one, a two five, four, and a 2 one. If you want to attack, mm. I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, I, I will be. Okay, don't forget this one. Oh, thank you. Okay. All right, we're going to do it. I'm going to play the card Knife and Death. <gasps> because I need to clear a little bit of Cam's board if possible here. Sorcery. Just a second. Uh, <laughs> one at a time, throw ten cards you own from outside the game onto the playing area from a distance of at least three feet. That's about one meter for everybody in this room. For each of those cards, Knife and Death deals one damage to each creature or planeswalker you don't control that card is touching. You gain life equal to the damage dealt this way. This was um, one of the reasons I'm in black, so... All right, now, luckily, we have a meter stick just behind oh, Kathleen. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, so we All can, right. uh, we can ready set this whole thing up here. Throwing arms ready. Let's go. So something we learned from the previous thing, it's not where you're standing. The cards have to be released from that distance. 
So sort of line up your line up your hand with the end with the of, release the, of, of the meter the stick place. here. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I've gotten you ten basic swamps here. All right. And All I, right. I, I think we're gonna okay. go from um, Cam's board is where um, we're gonna measure from. from. We're gonna say the edge of Cam's board. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, so from here. So make sure your release my, doesn't extend past it. Yeah. This is my yeah. perfect. Ooh. Perfect. Everybody, this might look at easy. This is not. No, it's hard. It is it's actually hard. quite hard because my arm needs to go like this. Yeah, to your get arm it. needs to be behind the meter stick. I, I've been. <laughs> you got ten tries. Okay. I've been experiencing the super in destiny a lot lately. How do I want to even? I, I recommend like, this? like a, a sideways fling. Okay. You can try a couple of each. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You've got ten. <laughs> What a start! <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> what one was that? Is that a two, was that a two one? Did I get it? Yeah. Yes. Oh God! You knifed him right in the throat. No. That was no good. I got your attraction. <sighs> You're gonna have to do better than this. Oh, there's there's minus one on that guy. <sighs> oh. Okay. Oh God. Okay. She can't miss. Okay. Oh, what the hell is going on? <laughs> uh, uh, nope. So far, that's three creatures dead. Well, this, this rare is really making a name for itself here. That one stunk. <sighs> nope. All right, last one. All right, well, did I, I kill three things? Yeah. And gain four life. No, wait, because this one is touching both. So really quickly, can we just read the card again? Yeah, it's one damage to the ones it's touching. So I didn't kill three. It's just like whatever. No, you. This was a two one. one. That was a two one. This, this is, is a two two though. Oh 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 yeah. oh okay okay. So just one damage on the mind yep. goblin. Yep. And then two damage on the goblin blaster knots, but both the airbrusher and the minotaur de force die. Okay, so I killed two two things with that card. That's not you know not too bad. And gained four life. Gained four life. Okay. I accept that. That was pretty good. If it's touching, Mark is in here with a ruling that yes. like to say, if it's touching multiple cards, you actually gain life for that too. So if one knife touched yeah, more cards, was, you know. yeah, one was touching the um, uh, the goblin airbrusher. One was over here, yeah, there, and one on here. So five life altogether instead of just the four. But I believe we, we one, killed all the correct two, creatures. Damage three, two different four, things. You five. Yes. For each thing you yes. So if okay. your targets multiple things, you can right. Multiple yeah, okay. Things. Okay. okay. Yes. Yes. Cool. Yes. Cool. Cool. That Excellent. Was good throwing. Very good throwing. Wow. That was yeah. hard. I don't think I can block anything now. All right. Sweet. Okay. Gain five life. Kill two things. Um, and then we're gonna attack with uh, the glitter flitter. Okay. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> okay. That's the last time I'm gonna do that. I'm good. taking the 20s away. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're encouraging bad behavior. <laughs> Go ahead. You uh, don't have to do much to encourage it, Cameron. <laughs> okay, untap, upkeep, draw, Everyone, and then... Everyone, Infinity is great. <laughs> spinny ride. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! A six! Yep. And uh, you have... Does this one that cares about sixes? Yep, I, it, is. it is. Now, we actually got this ruling incorrect the first time. Um, and the judges brought it up. Yeah, so the way this works, which is fascinating, if you copy an attraction visit, roll another six-sided die and visit attractions based on the result like you would normally do so. Okay. If you roll another six, that would trigger Goblin Blaster Knot again. Yes. So last time we copied the ability you hit twice with an attraction. This time it's different. You don't have So with a six, you would re-roll the die. You wouldn't trigger the ability off your attraction twice, if that oh, makes sense. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to tap the uh, Draconian Gate Bot, Ugh. and then I roll again. Four. I will tap. I I will tap the Draconian Gate Bot yet again. It's tapped again. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> beep beep. Yeah. We nope, attack for yeah, seven. Yeah, I take seven. Wow. Good thing I gained that five. Uh, say go. All right, here we go, everybody. Untap, draw for the turn, visit potentially. Let's find out. Come on, one time, let's go. Using my one time six. Ooh. All right, we're gonna visit both. Uh, I'll scry first. Um, oh, 
do I want that? No. Get out of here. If you keep your scry on top, it doesn't, you haven't done anything. Um, tunnel of love. Okay, choose an opponent. I choose you, Cam. <gasps> they choose a creature they control. So which, who do you want to go on a date? Uh, the <laughs> Goblin Blastronauts. Yep. <laughs> I choose a creature I control. I'll choose uh, my Fluoros. Okay. Um, then I'm going to exile them and return them to on um, battlefield under their owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. Okay. Bye. Here's your motion sickness. Oh. Um, I'm going to play a beautiful foil swamp for turn. Yeah, she's exiled to lend a turn. Um, then I'm going to play... Wait, no. that Oh, that's not going to work how I want it to yet. Okay. Um... Yeah, we'll go to we'll go to combat here, and we'll attack with the glitter flitter again. Okay. Two. Two. <laughs> I get two. Um, and then I'm going to play at the my second main here. Um, wolf and wolf and blank clothing. Okay. So. Rude. This, this time, this wolf is going to wear. He wore playable clothing last time. <laughs> this time, this, cl this clown, this clown, this wolf. I don't really care about the effect, so this wolf is going to wear blood clothing. <laughs> That's a wolf in blood clothing, if I, I ever thought. Before. I think I've seen that film. <laughs> All right, go ahead. These okay. will come back. Or uh, also come back in, so I've got a name and number. I'll say five again. Uh, this enters the battlefield, so I will open another attraction. Yeah, pretty good. Whenever you roll a... S okay. Scavenger hunt. Ooh. Uh, choose a four-legged creature, a liquid other than water, or a door at random. You have ten seconds to search your library and reveal a card with the chosen item in its art. If you so do, the, claim the prize, then shuffle. So this is one of the ones with different text? Oh, I'm sorry, Paul. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's cool. All right. So you've got to choose between a four-legged creature, a liquid other than water, or a door at random. Okay. When when you visit this. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, untap, upkeep, draw, and then let's visit an attraction. Six. Six, 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 Unbelievable! I rule, I rule, <laughs> I rule. How many times have you rolled a six? Like three? Something like that. Um, okay, so, spinny ride. I would like to tap, um, Fluoros. Or uh, no, actually, I'll tap the uh, Draconian Gate Bog. Yeah. Um, then, visit. I choose, okay, four-leg creature, a liquid other than water, or a door at random. Okay, yeah, then I get the prize. Yeah. And then, uh, and then okay. you get how many seconds? Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, one, two will be a four-leg creature. Three, four will be a liquid other than water. And five, six will be a door. A door. A door. Six. Okay. All right, ready? Yes. What Three. Oh, wait, I gotta oh, start my timer. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay, a door. A Find door, a door. A door. Find a door. Uh, here. Oh, yeah. Ooh, looks more like a gate. <laughs> <laughs> Which would be what? what? What is a gate a type of? Sir? I don't know. I, oh, hold on. Gates are door surge. <laughs> that's a door surge, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm getting overruled, that's fine. That's fine. A gate is a type of door. Okay. <laughs> yeah, don't gate, get, gatekeep doors, sir. <laughs> what do you even get? If everyone's happy, if everyone's happy, yeah. that can be a door. Uh, okay, so the prize is I get two tickets, then I may put nice. a sticker on a non-land permanent I own. Dad. Sacrifice, scavenger hunt, and um, uh, uh, open an attraction. So you don't actually get that card. Anymore. No, I don't. You just get the, the yeah. prize? Yeah. Okay. So um, then I open a attraction, which will be Guess Your Fate. Ooh, cool. Okay, so this goes into the junkyard. I'm yep. going to shuffle my library because I, you know, rummaged through it. Um, and then 
because I rolled a six on Goblin Blastronauts, I will ro roll to visit attractions again. Unbelievable. I know, right? <laughs> Although I do need to resolve um, the other one first. So uh, I put a sticker on a non-land permanent I own. What kind of sticker are you gonna go for? You've got tickets now. Yeah, I know. Um, so I'm thinking, I've got two tickets. I would like to actually spend both of my tickets to get this, um, sacrifice this permanent, draw two cards. Ooh, nice. And I will put that on this island. Uh, non -land. Oh, non-land? Okay, then I will put it on the Yawgmoth Goblin. Can you put it on your treasure token? Mm -hmm. Possibly. Oh yeah, that would work too. Get out of here, okay. Goblin. Let's visit attractions again. Six. Let's go. Six. Six. If you roll another... <laughs> Two. Ooh. Oh, I got Guess Your Fate. Ooh, okay, cool. Okay, look at the bottom card of your library, then give a person outside the game a one-word clue not on that card. They guess a word. If their guess appears on that card's name, claim the prize. Okay, we need to get somebody outside the game. So I'm going to go... Yeah. Table not friend fr zone, not judges. Not yeah. friend zone or judges? No, sorry, not Ta table friend, not judges. I thought... Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go get you guys somebody outside the game, and then Cameron, you get I'm ready coming. to give them a hint. Oh, we've got Mark coming. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I should not know this because you have to give me. Oh, a clue. okay. So it just has a appear in the card's name. It doesn't. Yep. Yeah. Can we okay. get our wide camera, Paul? So you pick a word in the name of the card. Your choice. Oh, I thought it was a word. Uh, I'm a letter. A word in the name of uh, what? It is. Uh, Give that give a person outside the game a one-word clue not on that card. Cor correct. You're trying to get me to say the name. Uh, one yeah. of the words in the name of the bottom card. Yes. Okay. So you're yes. going to give me a clue. Yes. And then I'm going to guess a word based on your clue. Great. And if I guess correctly, then you win. Yes. All right. Mars. Planet. Oh. Yes. Nearby planet. Wow! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, well done, Cam. Okay. Reveal the card, then put it into my hand, then sacrifice Guess Your Fate and open an attraction. What the? That's your whole attraction deck. Trash bin. That was excellent. I would have said space. But I suppose Mars is a planet's a much better guess. Yeah. I'm also uh, assuming that I am going to shuffle my deck after resolving these cards. Probably. What an epic turn. I'm glad you, you got Mark in and not me, because I just would have said, Bringer of War! <laughs> 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 okay. Um. Okay. I'm going to put the nearby planet into play, paying one. And then I will cast this prize wall. Back again. Back again. Uh, I'll say go. Oh wait, Goblin Blastronauts entered the battlefield, which means that motion sickness can be moved around now. Ooh. I will move it yeah. onto the Glitter Flitter. No, 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 not my favorite card. <laughs> okay. Okay, go. Okay. Okay. Untap that which can be untapped. Draw that which can be drawn. Roll to visit some attractions. Could you hand me that dice, please? Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Let's go, everybody. Where are we going? Three. Absolutely nowhere. <laughs> I'll play this island. And now I'll play I've been, you know, meaning to make for a thousand years. Soul Swindler. Mm -hmm. It's going to come into play as a 5-3. As long as you visit an attraction, this turn has indestructible. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, open an attraction. So another attraction, which I will never visit. <laughs> but, you know, we might as well open it. Uh, dart throw. Ooh, with my throwing capabilities, mm -hmm. perhaps I will be good at this. Visit, throw a card you own from outside of the playing area from a distance of one meter. If that card touches Dart Throw, claim the prize. The prize is two, two, two pink teddy bear creature tokens, and then you sacrifice Dart Throw and open an attraction. That's pretty good, honestly. That's pretty, yeah, oh. I like that. That's cute. 
And so since this is a power five, now I can make an artifact into a five five until end of turn. So I'll turn um, the mm. fortune teller into a five five. Uh oh. So my fortune teller is now a creature. Mm -hmm. um, all right, let's move to combat. Okay. That seems fun. Um, you're at eight. I I'm disagree. At ten. <laughs> <laughs> Um, fun. Like gravity in space is relative. <laughs> Let's attack with my four two and my five five. Block. Um. <laughs> okay, I will block the five five with the Yogmoth Goblin. Uh huh. And then, ugh, I will block the Draconian Gate Bot with the Goblin Blastronauts. All They've right. had a good run. No, no effects. Okay, I will sacrifice the Goblin, uh, the Yogmoth Goblin. Yep. Um, to draw two cards. Yeah, that makes sense. So you take no damage. I take no damage. No damage. These trade, and my fortune teller will, at the end of turn, go back to being an attraction. Uh, that's all. I'm I'm done. Okay. I wonder if it's still tapped. Draw, and then we visit an attraction. Three. Three. I visit the trash bin as a prelude getting in the trash later, possibly next turn. I mill two cards and return a card at random from my graveyard to my hand. I mill Juggletron! No, no! And an island. Okay, so... How about you hand them to me, I'll shuffle them out and spread them out, and then you pick one. Uh, does graveyard order matter still? Not for this set. I okay. Think. Sounds good. Remember there are stickers on them. Suddenly shuffles more carefully. <laughs> All right, they have been randomized. Okay. Um, Pick carefully. Sick. What was it? Do I get to Do I get to know? Only if you can remember. Well, I mean, yeah, you get to know. It was the <laughs> Goblin Blastronauts. No. <laughs> but I have no more attractions. I guess. Okay. I double so many times. Island. Um. Let's go with, hmm, tragic. Uh, blank balls of fire. <coughs> when this enchantment enters the battlefield, you may put a name sticker on it. Whenever you put a sticker on this enchantment, it deals damage equal to the number of O's in the name sticker on the enchantment to any target. Whoa. So I would like to put, um, let's you bet see. you don't have blood balls of fire. I yeah, I know. <laughs> that would be, good. God, that sounds horrible. <laughs> um, let's go with soul balls of fire. <laughs> <laughs> soul balls of fire, let's go. <laughs> That's what you get <laughs> Okay, so that does. Um, so what does that do now? Two damage to any target. Ooh, okay. I will zap the scared stiff. Yes, gone. Um. Then I will. It's one damage. It's two. There are two oh. instances of O. Or is Balls it? Of. Is and it now? The sticker. In name stick. Oh, one damage. Okay, oh. I'll go to the dome then. Okay. Take it. Um. Do I go? Do I will I take spend one? Oh, yeah. this treasure okay. and cast ballerina, who is a three-three flyer. When sure. she enters the battlefield, you may put a name sticker on a non-land permanent I own. Mm -hmm. So I would like to put. So does every? Oh yeah. Does does it keep happening? Zombie balls of fire. Soul zombie balls, soul balls of fire zombie. <laughs> uh, so that's two damage, okay. which I will use to blow up the scared stiff. Okay, goodbye. You may go. Okay, untapping the things, drawing the things, visiting the things. Let's find out. Four. 
four. <gasps> okay, we visited two. We visit the fortune teller. We're gonna scry. That is going away forever. And then we're gonna visit the dart throw, everybody. How Here exciting. we go. <laughs> All right, from a distance of one meter, if the card touches dart throw, claim the prize. So we can put dart throw right in the middle so that it can be about the same one meter situation. Hmm. Throwing this uh, in in a Stradian mountain. All right. Gosh, this is. I only get one chance this time, everybody. One shot. Uh, oh, it was kind of close. One opportunity. Yeah, actually, not bad. Do not miss your chance to throw. Okay. <laughs> what I'll what I'll do now is cast black hole which is uh, a rare. Uh, destroy target creature and up to X other target creatures where X is the number of attractions you visited this turn. <gasps> <laughs> Welp. Well, there you go. Attack, glitter! <laughs> Nelson, how do you feel about chaos? I just got here and don't know what's happening. Yeah, so welcome. that's a yes then. Good, okay. <laughs> wow, what an epic battle. Quite. Okay. <laughs> so many things happened in that game. All right, so that's you've got one game apiece, but here's the thing, if you're just joining us, we, this is the Unfinity pre-pre-release, and because this is just goofy, fun, ridiculous magic, you're throwing things, you're blowing things up, you're visiting attractions, we're not like saying, okay, well, you know, best of three rounds. That's for Nelson and Serge to worry about. Today, we're just doing 90 minutes of how much fun can we have in this specific strict time period because nothing says footloose and fancy free like a strict timer counting down <laughs> and James tapping his watch from the other room. <laughs> Fabulous. Speaking of which, how much time do we have left in this round, Paul? Till about three, so we've got 40 minutes left. You guys could do like three 40 or, minutes, three or four games. Unbelievable. Oh, wow. In that case, may I have a brief break? <laughs> All right, and we're gonna take you know what? Wait, how many clean clown jokes do you know? <laughs> Nelson's just like gesturing, he's like, No, not zero, zitch, zilch. Uh, I'm trying to think if I know any clean jokes, and the answer is. I'm a comedian. What do you expect me to do? Just yeah. be able to tell a joke on command? Do I look like a clown to you? Yeah. Ah, so do you, okay. need, to, do you need to do a, a I'll break? I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. So Cameron and I, I was born in New Zealand, but I went to high school. I went to like junior high and then high school in Prince George. Mm -hmm. And then university in Prince George. And Cameron and I are both from Prince George. So do you remember going to the PGX, Cameron? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And riding the Gravitron and like the thing that goes upside down and the, the things that yeah. until you throw up in a garbage bin. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the grasshopper? Yeah, the yeah, grasshopper. The grasshopper. Yeah, it was the, the big like balance spinning arm with the baskets at the other end that had two... Um, uh, teenagers in them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and occasionally fluids yep. <laughs> arcing out. Yeah, and from... then you could hear like people scream, the screams Dopplering. Yes. Yeah, that's when I went on that when I was about 16, and that's when I realized I didn't like going upside down. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I still had the rest of the ride to go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this ride only stops in emergencies. Yeah. Crying is not an emergency. <laughs> Throwing up is not an emergency. Wishing you were dead? <laughs> no, not also not an emergency. No. Oh. While, while we're waiting, mm -hmm. something I brought up last time I wanted to stress. So uh, you have the card um, prize wall. Yes. So can I, can, I see, can I see prize wall real quick? Uh, so I, uh, you had uh, Squirrel Squatters was your card. Yes. So let's show you this. So if you look uh, on prize wall, the flavor text for prize wall says, um, uh, I didn't have my glasses on. Uh, that bear's been there since the uh, after Torium opened. I've seen it move. Oh, yeah. That yeah. bear is where the squirrels live in Squirrel Squatters. So the bear at the top of this, that's the bear we see inside of on Squirrel Squatters. So that's the kind of uh, world building we get. So you can yep. very deep, very this, deep. I mean, I remember thinking that that felt like it was based on someone's very specific trauma <laughs> of being like, no, I finally have all the tickets. I'm going to get the giant bear. 
on top of the prize ball and getting it and it's just hollowed out. Like you pull it off the <laughs> wall like it's one of the colonists and aliens. Just wasps <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a little yeah. um, minotaur girl that wins a, wins a bear. We could say it was another bear, not that bear. Yeah. <laughs> or, or if you like the more gory story, maybe it's that bear, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but there's a lot, one of the things we had fun of in the, in the when we did the flavor text and on stuff is there's a lot of cross-referential stuff Mm -hmm. Like uh, icing manipulator talks about the flavored flavors, mm -hmm. and one of them referenced the planet uh, that it it came from. Planet Glorg is from, right? Right. So there's there's a lot of stuff in the flavor text where we're self referencing other things and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, and all of us worked on the flavor text. So that yeah, was we had a lot of fun just like <laughs> okay, generating this okay. self contained, I'm done stalling. Okay, thank you, thank you, hideous thank you. world that we're all experiencing together. Yeah. I don't know, I'm honestly having a ton of fun. I think I would like visiting the Astratorium on vacation because not only would I never have to go back, mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I could say I've done it. And like with all horrible things, it's like good to have that experience. It puts the rest of your life into perspective. Yeah, well, like I'm, I think my favorite thing are the horrible, surly vampire teenagers who are the staff. Yeah. I love that the vampires run the midway because you want to go to the midway at night, right? Yeah. Mm. You know? So I, uh, really I will play. Okay. Good luck. High five. Keep seven as long as it's mm -hmm. playable. Mm. <sighs> sure. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. I mean, what do you think, Kathleen? <laughs> oh, I think that's. Wait, no. Well, I mm, I know I it's, like a, that card. it's a real it's a real head scratcher over here, but we're keeping it. You're keeping it. All yeah. right. All right. Let's do it. Wait, wait, hold on. Go. Good draws. Good draws. Good draws. Island. Go. Ooh, excellent. I will also play island, but look at it's the it's what? the galaxy foil. It's just strictly foil. better island than mine. Look at this. Can you see? Okay. Who is the um like? There's 1970s space art. That usually ha like it's airbrushed with mm. a lot of like clean arcs and like very straight lines, and it's kind of abstract, but it's always like a spaceship with a clear sense of motion to it. And I keep wanting to say Ron Cobb, but that's not that artist. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Go ahead. Um, like too nice to see on the side of a van, though, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not quite that. But like, did you ever have in your elementary school library was there ever a book called The Universe, which was like an art book for children that had like all the different planets in the solar system on it and what kind of, a, he did the cover art for that. No, mm -hmm. God, that sounds cool as heck though. Yeah, yeah, it was. Knowing that you remember this from, you know, your childhood, it answers a lot of questions about, you know, it's like, oh. Yeah. Like, the, I mean, my mother's birthday, I have no idea, no. but you know, this kind of very specific art, blank, 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 trespasser. When Ooh. this creature enters the battlefield, you may put a name sticker on it for three and a blue, this creature gets plus one plus zero oh until the end of turn for each name sticker on it. It can't be blocked this turn. What kind so, of trespasser are we looking at here? This is a cheese, um, a cheese trespasser. <laughs> now, where do I want this to go? That's where. That's kind of what I am. Like if I see a twenty-year-old cheddar. Yep. I mean, I, I'm the same way. Only I'll do it for a baby bell. <laughs> uh, go. I'll do it for a baby bell. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Um, is land is land. I will declare attacks with the cheese trespasser. I take two cheese damage. Okay. Then, um. If your cheese is improperly stored. This can happen to you. <laughs> It's like regular damage, but it's got rennet in it, so you know, vegetarians shouldn't take it. Cheese damage. Oh, uh, go. Mm, wait, no, wait, no, wait. Yes. Okay, second main. Yeah. Command performance. I am just going to open an attraction. I don't cool. think I shuffled my attraction deck. Um, and get two tickets. So I open. Spinny ride. Great, wow. great. <laughs> this is great sound effects for <laughs> So gruesome. Uh, go ahead. Draw. Oh, all right, all right, okay. Swamp. Guess who it is? It's everyone's favorite glitter flitter. Oh no. She's back. Yay. I get a ticket. Well, right I had one already. Um. Uh, then I put a sticker on a non-land permanent I own. Well, don't mind if I do. 
Uh, she had a hat last time. This time, she has a... <laughs> no, I've got it. I know what she has this time. <laughs> She's laying an egg. <laughs> Bloop. Oopsies. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. This is, this is too fun for me. Damn, if you play toast, we can have breakfast here. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, I will visit attractions. Four, yes. five, or six. Nope. Um. Then I will... Montaigne. Blank Goblin. Uh, it will allow me to add... Um, let's see. Is it going to be Yawgmoth's Goblin again? Mm, that doesn't feel right to me for this one. Why don't I go with Magician Goblin? Nice. And that will add two color or two red to my mana pool, which I will use to cast Prize Wall. I'm still floating one red. It's floating. Um, declare attacks. Yes, uh, take two okay. from the cheese. I will say go. All right. Draw for turn. Yes, that's the one. Thank you, Erica. Joan oh, Berkey. Oh, that's really pretty. Thank you. Blue for that. Um. Wait, is that book back in print? It didn't used to have the National Geographic Society logo on it. Cameron is six years old again. I, again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go, everybody. It's time to play Knife and Death. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, all my things are so grouped up. Here we go. <laughs> all right, hold up. One, Ten two, cards. Three, seven. Ten. There's ten swamps. I should have named my deck something like to do with knife throwing, the amount of times this has come up here. Knife time. Knife time. Here we go. All right, everybody. Ugh. Nope. It's okay. Just a warm up. That was that was a free one. Oh, the slide. The slide kills you. That's the one I don't want. Oh. No. That was X1? Uh, no, that's a 2-2. Two -two. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> so close! Ugh. Ugh. Yeah! No! My magician goblin. Uh, oh, yes! Oh. <laughs> Did I get that one? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Well, uh, there's no chance I'm killing that 0-4, but... Well, you've got two cards I have left. two cards. It's got two cards touching it right now. Oh, I suppose it does. Well, it's got three touching it, technically. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Come on, board wipe. No. <laughs> okay, so one, uh, three, six. So the cheese trespasser and the magician goblin both die. Yep. Um, and the prize wall has three damage marked on it. Correct. So and then you I gain, gain six. Six. Right. Yep. Okay. You know, I've never had to uh, use a meter stick so often. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're attacking for two. Okay. Then you get a ticket and open an attraction. Or is it? Just oh, it's enter the battlefield. battlefield. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wish. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, yes. It was something else I was thinking Attack about. Attack for two. I get two'd. Two! <laughs> yeah, that's a much better way to do it. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Untap, upkeep, draw, visit attractions. Um, no attractions have become visited. I will island, and then I will make the glitter flitter Motion sick. Oh no, she, that egg she laid really did a number on her. It took it out of her. Yeah. 
Ooh. Oh, uh, <laughs> go. I get it. All right. Uh, untap. Drive. No attractions to visit. I'll play this Swamp. This is a cool card I want to try here. Um, let's play Gray Merchant of Elfvet. Isn't that cool? It's Gary. Gary's back. Wait, read the flavor text. OK. When Gray Merchant of Alphabet enters the battlefield, choose a letter. For each creature you control that has a chosen letter in its name, you gain a life and each opponent loses one life. Flavor text, like any young zombie, Gary dreamed, Oh, Gary dreamed of escaping the underworld to join the circus. Yay. Yay. It's now, there it is. We have now officially named him Gary. Um, so if I choose uh, a glitter flitter doesn't have A in it. Um, oh, it's each one that has one, right? Choose a letter for each creature that has a chosen letter. Is there any in common between Glitter Flitter and... Oh, G. There we go. Yeah. So, or two. E. Yeah. I'll take... I'll choose G to gain two, drain you for two, um, and pass the turn. Okay. At the end of turn, I will activate prize wall to get a ticket. Tickets. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Untap, upkeep, draw... Visit attractions. Nope. Okay. Hmm. 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 I would like to play Minotaur de Force. When it enters the battlefield, I get a ticket, then I may put a wow. sticker on a non land permanent I own. Ticket. You are ticket rich over there. I am. I would like to pay four tickets. Oh no. To get this six five power toughness. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ugh. With haste. With haste. Oh, gross. Gross. A six five for two, Mark. Oh, Lord boy, Mark. Oh, I also put my hand on the table. Wait, that's set, Mark. Beep beep. Take it. <laughs> uh, oh wait. Sorry, those were on the table, tapped, and I didn't put my hand on the table because I don't have one. Got it. Well, you have a six five, Nos. Pretty good. I do. Say go. All right. Let's go. Um, we'll play an island over here. Um, not going to attack into your 04. We play test at this <laughs> Just because things don't go your way doesn't mean no play testing happened. Oh, is, oh okay. Well, all right, if you say so. How many tickets did it cost to do that? Four. Four. Right. That's a lot yeah, of tickets. That's a lot, lot of tickets. tickets. That's a lot of tickets. That'd that's be a lot, lot of, of energy. Yeah. 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 He earned it. I did. He earned that hey, six five. I worked really hard to steal all those tickets out of Ticketron. It's almost too easy. To just, summon a Mark Rosewood. This you just have to get the tension correct. <laughs> uh I'm gonna play a dissatisfied customer here, which is a hasty little flyer, two one. Uh when it enters the battlefield, roll a six sided die. If the result is three or less, you lose that much life. So we'll see if I'm dissatisfied or not. Five. Okay, I'm not. Okay. Um, so I'll attack with the two one flyer. I get twoed. Take two without glitter. And then we'll play Season Buttoneer to open an attraction. Two two attraction opener. And we'll open the clown extruder. Uh oh. The clown extruder's back. Ready to go poop poop clown clown. Uh go ahead. Oh, uh yeah. I will Oh, okay. Sorry. I will activate prize wall to get a ticket. Yeah. Tickets. Thank you. I would like to read that flavor text on Season Buttoneer, which is everyone comments on the buttons, but few appreciate the pedals. Aww. Which is very good flavor text that Cameron wrote. I did. I that appreciate was me. the pedals, Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Attraction time. Spinny ride. Five. Five. I will oh. tap season button here. Tapped. Mm. Beep beep. Yeah, no blocks. Okay. Take six. Uh, go. This game's picking up speed. Yeah. 
All right, here we go. Draw, let's draw a thing. Let's roll for the clown extruder. Three, no poop. Um, play a swamp. It makes that noise whether or not it makes a clown is the problem. <laughs> it's just like you can hear it spinning up to, to print off one of the, the squeaky noses. Yeah. I'm going to play my draconian gate bot. Oh dear. Uh, to open an attraction because I don't want to destroy one. And to open, oh, it's a dart throw. We're back. Uh oh. Um, I didn't win dart throw last time, so we'll see if I can win that mini game this time. Put dart throw over on Cameron's side of the board. You have no <laughs> trouble winning. <that. laughs> You're right. I don't think there's a rule of where it is. You know, as long as I'm a meter away from it. Um, I'll attack with the dissatisfied customer, and with um, who else wants to go in? This uh, nobody, because. Nope. I gotta start blocking at some point. Okay. Okay. I'm done. Um, I will prize wall. Yep. Dig it. I like that prize wall. That's Me too. Cool. I, okay. Um, die please. Die. Do I visit the spinny ride? No, I do not. Brain, 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 brain. We can do this, brain. Do you, do you just say the names of things you want to activate? Yes, <laughs> I'm like a Pokemon. <laughs> okay. Um, Dishwasher. <laughs> bank account. Self-esteem. Uh, <laughs> Self-esteem. <laughs> telephone. Of <laughs> uh, thinking. Thinking. In response. In response to your thoughts. Hmm. 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 I would like to activate prize wall, pay two tickets to give Minotaur to Force first strike. Okay, this is getting out of hand. <laughs> she's, a, she's a Minotaur to Force. Yeah, that, I mean, fair enough. Living up to her name, for sure, right now. Uh, and then she crundles in for six, first strike. Crundle. I'll uh, just chump with my seasoned buttoneer. Okay. Sorry, your buttons were good, but in the end they popped off. I Say go. You didn't appreciate the puddles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Draw. Okay, roll for attractions. Four. Ooh, I visit both of them. Uh oh. I make a clown robot. All right. What sound does that make when it comes out, Kathleen? <laughs> 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 there it is. And we're doing a dart throw. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. So I'm playing for two, two, two teddy bears here. Uh, do you want to grab one of those? Yep. Bombs? At the astratorium. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. It's fine. It's Here we fine. go. Here we go, everybody. Big money, big money. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. No good. Uh, no teddy bears. Let's play a mountain. What but you do she, make a clown, right? Could she be hiding? Yeah, I made my clown. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. So that one, that one happened. Combat. We're gonna um, bring in the noise and the funk with the party team here. Okay, I Four, take eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Go ahead. Okay. Mountain. Yes. Goblin airbrusher. Whenever you place a sticker, create tre a treasure token. If it's an art sticker, instead create two treasure tokens. A fine collector. I forgot to use spinny ride. Oh yeah, spinny no, ride. Yeah, no. go for it. Five. I will tap down your clown robot. Ooh! I gotta be a little more careful with the spinny ride in play. Didn't think about that. Minotaur to force attacks. Yeah, take six. Say go. All right. All right, crew. Let's make something happen over here. Draw. Oh, 
Yeah, and then visit and then your attractions. visit my attractions. Let's see. Do we visit? Five. We don't visit either on a five somehow. Oh. Sad. I really okay. want to make the clown noise again. Shame. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> Let's move to combat. Um, Are you sure? Yeah. I okay. feel like I should. You've got two things. So you can block not that. You can block this and this and this. Then you would take three. Mm, I'll just attack with the these two. Block. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. I believe in you, Goblin Airbrusher. And then I take two? Yep. Go ahead. Uh, end of turn, I activate prize wall. Yep. I just like throwing things. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. <laughs> um, spinny ride. Ooh, Six. definitely. I tap down uh, the gray merchant. Tapped. Then, um, hmm, hmm. Look at, he's looking at his sticker sheets. I am. It's possible you might skip your turn. Um, <laughs> what? I don't think so. Scoop it up. <laughs> I think we can get in one more game. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's go for yeah, it. Yeah, we got 15 minutes. Okay. Okay. No problem. Okay. Unsticker your cards. Glitter Flitter's taking her egg back. I'm, I'm going to shuffle your attraction decks for you. Thank you. Having a table friend is so nice. It is. If Everyone you'd like should have me to come friend. to your house to be a table friend, I mean, I'll do it, but like it's a five figure bill, so. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Worth it, I, I say. Worth it. Okay, I am going to draw any of the cards that put me into these colors. Any, any, uh, if anybody wants me to make that clown noise for them, then I'll do that one for free. <laughs> Could I just get that as a ringtone? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Disturbing. <laughs> Remember, clip it to win it. <laughs> clip it to win it. Okay. Okay. For all the money this time. Yeah, this is we. Have, this is like triple or nothing or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. This is for all of the those those marbles. Mm, we're good. Okay. Never die by my own sword here. Uh, do you want to play draw cam? I will play. Okay. We're good? Okay. Go for it. Good luck. Have fun. High five. I'll keep. Good five, have luck. Yes, I Excellent. will keep as well. Let's go. Right. Okay. Cameron, you play first. Island, go. Strong start. Draw. One of the most powerful cards in Legacy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will play Swamp and say go. Okay. Strong start. Strong start. One of my favorite colors. <laughs> um, island. Prize wall. Nice. I will say go. You just have one of those? I have several, uh, actually. Ah. I'll play Nearby Planet, mm. which is all things of all types. Pay one for it. Go ahead. Mountain. Acceptable. Um, Bioluminary. A 1-3. Whenever Bioluminary deals combat damage to a player, you get two tickets, then you may put a sticker on a non-land permanent you own. Nice. Ooh, and I will say go. The ticket theme is strong over there. Is this the best Ophidian ever printed? Signs point to Island. not a question we can easily answer. Quick fixer, Menace. Oh. When it deals combat damage, open an attraction. Go ahead. Mountain. Motion sickness for oh, the quick fixer. Oh gosh! So many motion sick creatures. Bioluminary attacks. Yep, I accept. And then I get to put a sticker on something I own. Um, I get two tickets. Mmm. 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 There's. Also, actually, hold on. She now has 
Oh, she's have a sword. Nice. There we go. Your turn. All right. Untap over here. I'll play another island to play Wizards of the Blank. Oh, I just no. want to name him. <laughs> Wizards of the Blank, uh, when it ETBs, you may put a name sticker on it, then look at the top X cards of your library where X is the number of unique vowels on that sticker. <gasps> so I have the word with the most unique vowels here on, available on a sticker, which is delusionary. So Wizards of the Delusionary. <laughs> How is this fair? Is all six. Um, let's go. Look so you look at the top six and you put one into your hand and the rest on the bottom? Yeah. Powerful. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I'll take this one. <laughs> oh, is it knife time? <laughs> Go ahead. I don't like it when it's knife time. <laughs> it's okay, you gave your merfolk a sword. <laughs> okay. Mountain. Goblin Blastronauts. Okay, yeah. When they enter the battlefield, open an attraction. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> wow, even under these circumstances. I, I shan't. I open Guess Your Fate. Ooh, yes. This, is, this one's great. Um... We're not swinging through the Wizards of the Delusionary. So I will say, go. Excellent. I'll untap and draw. Swamp for the turn. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, OK, sure. Uh, <laughs> let's play Myra the Magnificent coming into town. Ooh, which is the... What do you mean the boss has been here the whole time? She's here. She runs the theme park and she's here. Stamps out cigarette. <laughs> runs back to... <laughs> uh, whenever back you to cast an instant or sorcery spell from your hand, you get to open an attraction, which is pretty sweet. X tap. Exile target instant or sorcery card with mana value X from your graveyard and choose an attraction you control that doesn't have a midway counter on it. Put a midway counter on it. Whenever you visit that attraction, copy the exiled card and you can uh, play it with, uh, cast it without paying its mana cost. Wow. Okay. Pretty sick. Uh, she only costs four. Oh. Wink. Thank you. Um, surgical extraction. Surgical extraction. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Let's we'll see how very magnificent she can get. Okay. Untap. Draw. Good. Uh, let's visit some rides. Guess your fate. Three. Three. Nothing. Um, your fate remains clouded. It does. I will... Nearby planet. Mm, Blastronauts attack. Yeah. Take five. <laughs> Go. <laughs> He's playing scared. Draw. <laughs> He's <laughs> afraid. All his creatures need a lot of personal space. Yeah. we. They're not huggers over on that planet. Well, then I'll play the card that doesn't care where you put your creatures. Disembowel. Oh. I like to disembowel your uh, goblin blast mouth. What's it called? Blastron huts. Blastron huts. <laughs> <laughs> that creature's controller loses one life for each unique vowel in the so creature's three, name. Three, <laughs> four. Without vowels, no one can hear you scream. That's great. That's maybe my new favorite flavor text of all time. Who did that one? Uh, uh, Mark, I think. Oh, that's really good. Mark, that was really good, Mark. <laughs> um, uh, all right, go ahead. Uh, end of turn, I'm going to prize wall. Yep. <laughs> um, all right, untap. Does that trigger Myra? 
Yeah. Oh, oh yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. All right, let's open an attraction. Fortune teller, the scry attraction. Okay, thank now you. it's Cam's yeah. turn, sorry. Yeah, I Islands. Point of why I did that. Hey, now you have to visit your attraction. Oh, right, yes. Two. Two. Okay, Ooh, so before yeah. I even put that island into my onto the battlefield, we're visiting an attraction. I look at the bottom card of my library. I need someone from the friend zone. I will be right back. Friend zone fetching time. Time for friends. It's you time can hear for me. Friends. So this is the getting a friend song. We're just down the line. And I grab Paul and I bring him back, even though he's on his break and he deserves to rest. Oh, I was ready to again. sing something, but Never I didn't mind. have to. <laughs> All right. Do, 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 do. Oh, these, one for one. These two did so good last time. <laughs> Nausea. Sickness. Yep. There it is. Oh, <laughs> okay. no! Not again! So, uh, re- claim the prize. Reveal the card, put it into your hand, then sacrifice, guess your fate, and open an attraction. Uh, Me guess knowing what he's fate playing goes makes away, it a lot and I reveal <laughs> scavenger hunt. Should I shuffle my library? Probably. Probably. Does it tell you to on Guess Your Fate? It doesn't. I guess you only saw the I bottom. I think you don't need to, because you should have just seen the bottom, the bottom card. card. Sure. Okay. Look, you just look at the bottom card, and then I guess it's implied that we'll, uh, hmm. okay, we'll yeah. try not to look at any other cards while you're getting it. Sounds good. That's on the battle right? Uh, this yeah. oh, has been this sacrificed. sacrificed right. Okay. Um, so I've put the island onto the battlefield. Then I've got this motion sickness. Um, I don't want Meyer to be able to tap to copy yeah. things, so I will. You've just taken her out of commission here. Yep. But she's the boss. Well, she should know better than to eat the concession. Yeah. <laughs> uh, go. Okay. That my, my Myra plan was really what I had going on for me here. Let's try and visit the fortune teller. Two. No! Play this island. I think this will be fun. <laughs> I would like to uh, play blank blank rocket ship. Uh oh. <laughs> Which I get to put cool name stickers on. Choo choo rocket. <laughs> Two, three, flying. When this vehicle enters the battlefield, you may put up to two name stickers on it. Whenever this vehicle attacks, choose a letter. This vehicle gets plus one, plus one until end of turn for each name le- name sticker on it that begins with the chosen letter. Crew two. So do I have two name stickers that start with the same letter? Um, yes, I do, actually. Um, I really wanted it to be oh, the... Dear. The clown blood rocket ship, <laughs> but that won't give me maximum benefit. Clowns don't have blood. <laughs> I've looked. <laughs> so instead, it will be the sassy, spooky rocket ship. Ooh, get on board for a sassy, spooky time. <laughs> there it is. Oh, how cute. Okay, there you go. Um, and uh, that's, you know, that's all she wrote. Go ahead. Okay, uh, I will prize wall. Yep. One ticket, please. Thank you. Okay, untap, upkeep, draw, then roll to visit attractions. Three, nope. I will put this island into play. Mm. Mm -hmm. Then we will cast Wizards of the... Is Yogmoth. To- <laughs> is toast a word you can pull in here so you could have Wizards of the Toast? Wouldn't that be cute? That would be that good. That would be cute. Or actually, Wizards of the Zombie. Oh, nice. Same number of vowels. Um, so I will look at the top three. One time. I will put this into my hand and these two on the bottom of my library in any order. Fair enough. Is that is for chat saying, yes, toast is available. Ooh, excellent. Ooh. So you could have Wizards of the Toast. Ah! Then I would like to cast this blank, blank, blank trespasser. Oh. 
Um, Do you want my words clown and blood? <laughs> clown blood trespasser. Blood clown trespasser, <laughs> I think is somehow more <laughs> ominous. But for now, she is a soul trespasser. Ooh, nice. Okay. Um, or actually, I'm going, no, that's fine. A that is fine. A blood trespasser is just somebody who sneaks into the gathering of the juggalos. <laughs> I think I saw soul trespasser in the last game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like their EP. <laughs> uh, I will say go. <laughs> Untap, draw, uh, roll the visit, roll the visit. The fortune teller, five, oh, we scry do one. visit. Let's scry. Mm. I scry every time. I'll leave that on top. It's like you're not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> you do have two X ones out there right now. You know? It's true. <laughs> um <laughs> Oh what the heck? We're playing knife and death. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> I can't not play it. If I if I have it, I've got to play it for the third time. Played around it. At uh, management's request, I've assembled a oh. sharp things stack of ten cards. Oh, this is great! They're not all knives. Okay, but... this one is wicker picker. Everybody, that's getting tossed here. <sighs> great work, Kathleen. By the way, on this. Oof. Mm, mm, uh, Thrak feels is bad. the butcher. Thrak is the butcher. Ooh, gotcha. Kind of. Is it, I suppose it is touching. Mm -hmm. Stone Spear Crystal is the next. Toss. So that's one. Oh. Ooh. Bronze Walrus because of the tusks. Oh, nope. Blade of Selves. This is a rare. <laughs> yes. Oh. Pack Attack. <laughs> this sucks so bad. <laughs> You've been caught stealing, which has a bunch of swords on the art. <laughs> nope. That one got Kathleen. Ow! Scano's Dragonheart. Uh, Judge, she does not own these cards. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on! <laughs> I played around it this time! <laughs> Hammer Thrasher! <laughs> okay, I should have just stacked them up. Ooh. Why is it ten? Sword Swallowing Seraph. Come on. You got nothing. You got nothing. Ugh, dang <sighs> it. All right. Every time I like one okay, card well, off of wiping the board. <laughs> one, two, oh. three, four, five. All right. Five life. Sharp, sharp friends. Sharp friends. Thank you for the sharp friends deck. Did I get your, yeah, you have oh. your O4 or whatever left. Thank you. I'm missing oh. one more, but <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Okay, I'll play a mountain don't like knife for time. turn. <laughs> Very few people do. Love that knife party. Love the knife party. Curve the bullet. Thank you. Uh, we're going to crew um, the sassy, spooky rocket ship with Wizards of the D Delusionary to attack you for uh, four. Mm. Go. <laughs> uh, I will. Man, I feel good wall. after a knife fight. Wow, you have so many tickets, Cameron. I do. Oh, yeah, Myra Trigger, sorry. She does still ha open an attraction. Yeah. Which is Merry-Go-Round. This is my rare attraction I opened. All right. Not a land this time. Ooh, this gives creatures horsemanship. Was it the land? Almost as good. Um, <laughs> blank Goblin. Uh, cheese goblin. <laughs> it's cheese goblin. It time. adds one red. <laughs> what do you have there? Ten knives. No! <laughs> Actually. <laughs> one of my all-time favorite videos. <laughs> no! <laughs> I have the bloodlust for knives. I have it. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, you can I afford will. the best prize. Yeah, what is the best prize? You know what? Wall. I am going to tap the prize wall to give the cheese goblin um, power toughness 8-7. Wow. How many tickets does that take? Holy five. Cow. Five tickets. Which is exactly how much you have. I have a 1010 10 sticker over here for six tickets. That's pretty cool. Me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> I deserve that. I deserved it. I o even overpaid because I was floating one from Cheese Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, how could you let this happen to Cam? <laughs> I will say go. <laughs> oh, I'm knife mad. <laughs> Draw. Let's roll for these attractions. We got a three, which does nothing. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's play a card. What do you say? Um, I'll play my dissatisfied customer, which is my 2-1 hasty flyer. Roll to see if I'm dissatisfied. Nope. <laughs> Pretty satisfied. Um, <laughs> okay, that's it. So um, I'll crew the sp sassy, spooky rocket ship with the dissatisfied. Wait, no, I mean, it has haste. So, but um, mm. you have an eight seven over there? It's spooky. I do. I'm going to no, crew. That's the rocket ship. I'll crew my rocket ship with the three one. Okay. And attack with these two in the air, four, five, six. Okay. I take six. Yep. Okay. Uh, go. Not a l <laughs> Urza's Fun House. <laughs> well, it's a cool land. Oh, well. You can pay to go to visit Urza.com. Hmm? Oh, oh yeah. I do have an attraction. Yeah. Five. Oh. We visit. Okay, so this yeah. isn't in play. Choose a four legged creature, a liquid other than water, or a door at random. You have 10 seconds to search your library and reveal a card with the chosen item in its art. If you do, claim the prize, then shuffle. Okay, so. One, two is a four-legged creature. Three, four is a liquid other than water. Or a door is okay. five, six. One. So a four-legged creature. Ready? Okay. Ready. <laughs> Command performance. Ooh, what creature is that? I get two ticket. It's a horse. There are all kinds of pegasi in it. Ooh, beautiful. Uh, I get two tickets, then I put a sticker on a non-land permanent you own. Sacrifice, scavenger, hunt, and open an attraction. I have a ticket so, to this is shuffled. Um, yeah, do you have... do actually have everything because you have nearby planet. I do. Um, That's sick. Oh, wow. You just want infinite. I can. Okay, brain. We can do this. We can actually totally do this. I have a plan. Okay. I have a plan. I have a plan. I totally have a plan. This gets sacrificed. I reveal trash bin, where I will be shortly. <laughs> I am going to... Okay, so I get to put a sticker on a thing. I'm going to spend two and put sacrifice this permanent, draw two cards on... You can't do a land, but you could do an attraction. Yeah, sure. yeah, why not? I could do this attraction. So I'm going to sacrifice this trash bin. Draw two cards. Yep, great. <gasps> oh, his face. I put Urza's Funhouse into play. Uh huh. You have, you've got Tron assembled. I do have Tron assembled. I am going to tap to add Lemniscuit mana. And then I'm going to tap double red to play opening ceremony. Oh! <laughs> and you have infinite mana? I have infinite mana. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what? You better open a good booster here. Let's go. All right. I went to the shop. <laughs> what do we want? Yeah, what do you what do you want? <laughs> Did you buy a pack? I bought three packs. Okay. Just because, you know, it's possible yeah. that I would get get this in every game. Wow. Okay. I was gonna say, did you get a collector booster? 
No, I got the set boosters. Okay. So, like, you know. <sighs> oh my gosh. Yeah, Rise of the Eldrazi for sure. You think it's Kamigawa? I think it has to be Neon Dynasty. It's so cool. It is cool. Okay, so I'm going to open this uh, okay. set booster of Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. And then you've got Wooberg plus... Uh, Inf yeah. Infinite Colorless. Infinite Colorless and Wooberg. Plus One time. your blue and red mana. One time. What do we got? Okay. Ooh, an art card. Nice. This mountain? It's not going to be on the card reader. I kind of pulled no, Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ben. No, 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 no. It's okay. okay. Um, Makoti Ambusher, uh, Ninjutsu Lifelink. Okay. Silver for Master, Ninjutsu. Oh, this is sick as hell. Um, Got a lot of nin sweet ninjas so far. Yeah. And the Lifelink is good for you right now. Yeah. Um, Geothermal Kami. That too, yeah. Which does not have flying. It's just seen from a low angle. Commune with Spirits. Greater Tanuki. Love that Nuki. Vanishing Slash, Double White, Double which is not great for me. Uh, when We Were Young. Oh yeah, there we go. There you go, Cam. Thank you. Um, anchor to Reality, Sacrifice an Artifact or Creature. See, this is like... Okiba Reckoner Raid. Cameron. Cameron. The reality chip. Nice. You can play your whole deck. <laughs> Cameron. <laughs> Wait, what? Can, reality chip lets you play off the top of your deck. Yeah. <laughs> number of color mana, but Temi cool safekeeping. Uh, and I get to play with Arena. Okay, 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 okay. Well, he's also got all this blue and all this yeah, red. Yeah, he's got a lot yep. of blue and red, so you can play a lot of stuff, I'll tell you And then you I've that. got one, one of each color, yep. and then I can also get one double pip off color thing. So we're going to play... Yep. Storm count uh, is one. Yep. So I'm going to use the blue mana uh -huh. to play the reality chip. Yeah. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. <laughs> Sp okay, this has brain. given me so brain. many ways. Brain. Brain. So many ways to punt. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm just going to actually sort these. Anchor to Reality. Okiba Reckoner Raid. When we were young in Banison like Slash. It's like building a pool over here. Yeah. Um, Mercote Ambusher. I have this mountain. And Tammy Safekeeping. So I can get... <sighs> I think I'm going to use my one black to get the Ambusher. Great. Who has lifelink? Then artifact and an enchantment. Hmm. I need to get out an enchantment. Um, well, you have an Okiba record. record yeah, raid. so I will play the Reckoner raid, tapping this. Yep, there you go. No, uh, that's bad. That is bad. Okay. Storm count is three. <laughs> Actually, no, this is fine. This is fine. Storm count is I four. will play the Okiba Reckoner Raid using the black mana. No, I've already used the black mana, so I need to tap nearby planet for that. This is okay. This is still okay. Okay. This is okay. Um, I have one green to use. So. Boop. Yeah, Boop. saga triggers. Yeah, saga triggers. Each opponent loses one life, and I gain one life. Yep, chapter one. Thank you. Um, I will play at the top four cards of your library, 
enchantment per land, or Tammy's safekeeping. It gains you two life. It does gain me two life. Um, I'm just glad this is happening to me. <laughs> I'm proud to be killed in such a spectacular manner. Yeah. Yeah, I would be too. Okay, Wait, I'm gonna... you have these, these enchantments too already. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, I do. Okay. Tammy's safekeeping. I'll cast on the cheese goblin. Boop, boop. Um, well, this is confusing. Um, and then... Uh, I can no longer cast this. I can no longer cast this. So I will do When We Were Young using my white mana from opening ceremony uh, to give plus two plus two and uh, until Sorry. end of turn to uh, the cheese goblin and Lightning. I don't know, the prize wall. Um, yeah. Okay. I'll put that. Oh, Ben's got it. So each Thanks, get plus two plus two, um, there I also have lifelink. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, okay, I also have this anchor to reality. Which I won't play. I don't have, um, artifacts or, uh, equipment, really. Or equipment or vehicles. So. I can look at the top card of my library at any time. As long as the re reality chip is attached to a creature, you may pay lands and cast spells from the top of my library. <coughs> I would like to attach this to <laughs> this Mercotai ambusher. So, all right, what are I, you casting? I will use the red mana and this one blue to cast Roxy, Publicist to the Stars. Oh, nice. Uh, she flies. She flies. Um, card reader. Thank you, Ben. Okay. Uh, distribute up to two art stickers among one or two non-land permanents I own. Well, I think she has hit this Jace plushie <laughs> with her little car. <laughs> um, <laughs> and Cheese Goblin also has a snake in his brace of stuff. Um, yeah, what's next? <laughs> Goblin airbrusher. Yeah. Card reader. Um. Dang it. You can play it from the top of your library. I've already played land this turn though. <sighs> airbrusher gets to put some art on something, right? No, if oh. whenever I put art oh, on okay, something. Okay. okay. Well, Wow. That was kind of a whiff. <laughs> wow. Uh, cheese Goblin attacks. So this is an... Eight, eight seven... No, it, is, no. no, it gets plus two, It's plus a two. ten, nine lifelinker. Ten, nine lifelinker, and it I have... Indestructible. And, yes. Indestructible from Tamio's safekeeping. Yep. Um, and also you gave... Oh, the, you gave the other plus two to the prize. Well, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I have no blockers, so I have to take ten. And you gain... Ten. Ten. <laughs> That's a good swing, I'd say. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, go. Uh huh. <laughs> Untap. Draw. Visit your attractions. Visit my attractions. I die to mana burn. Or I go <laughs> to the fortune teller. Do I leave it on top or bottom? Get out of here. You're not good enough anymore. Um, well, um, how much time do we have left in this round? Oh, uh, I think we're in overtime, Minus actually. 18 minutes. I'm so sorry, everyone. I no, would like no, to that's scoop. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for the match. Oh, fabulous.
fabulous match cam. Okay. Wow. wow. So, infinite mana and opening up a pack of Kamigawa wins Cameron the game at the very last second. Incredible. Yeah, you were going to die. Like, that was... Oh, yeah. I was dead. Yeah. I'm an extremely dead man. That was unbelievable. Knife, Fair magic. Knife throwing, infinite mana, <laughs> packs opening. What more do you want, people? Mark! Great job, Mark! <laughs> <laughs> well, that was... Bananas fun. <laughs> but we still have one more round coming up today. We have round three, which is Megan versus Adam, and Cameron is going to be there as table friend. But before we get to that, we had to do... Well, we had to. We did. <laughs> <laughs> we had to do it because it sounds like Wizards was like, get in there and make comedy! <laughs> no, I don't want to make comedy! No, go be funny! We, we made four sick rips for Infinity. And they're very fun and they're very cool and you can see them on YouTube, but you can also see them right here, right now while we scoop up our cards and get Megan and uh, Adam ready to play. So stick around, we'll be back in about 10 minutes, everybody. Yeah, it's glitter! <laughs> glitter! Welcome, new employees. As you all know, I'm Myra the Magnificent, star of the Astratorium. Although I will never meet you or learn your name, I'd like to thank you for joining the team, both through this video message and by paying you an appropriate and livable wage. Please enjoy the rest of this six-hour video. unspecified number of years ago, Myra the Magnificent founded the Astratorium by launching a roller coaster into space. And now, it has grown into the place of wonder you see today, beloved by all solar systems with an appropriately capitalist economy to justify our visit. To some, the Astratorium is a theme park. To others, it is a carnival. To many, it is an interconnected network of gift shops held together by a thin film of family-friendly attractions. All of these can be true, and often are. Whether you're joining the employee teams responsible for ride operations, visitor services, vomit removal, or the gift shop, your first duty is always to ensure that Astratorium guests have the best and most profitable time they're legally allowed to. Luckily for you, those parameters are clearly laid out in the extensive Astratorium waiver. Please make sure to read the waiver yourself so you're fully aware of what potential incidents and hazards the guests have agreed are not the responsibility of the Astratorium. And remember, never apologize for anything, as that implies liability. The Astratorium prides itself on its diversity of employees, all of whom should be treated with respect by their peers. For example, the day-night cycle is hard to predict in space, so vampires may need support for flexible schedules. Zombies are undead, but everyone still gets mandated breaks. We understand humans have a bunch of their own problems. Get to know your coworkers and see how you can support one another. Speaking of support, we need yours to help stamp out our many infestations. If you see any rats, squirrels, beebles, or gremlins, report their location to Chief Engineer Truss immediately. If you observe any of these groups in active combat with one another, see how it shakes out, then tell Truss the winner's location. In addition to employees like yourself and the Astratorium's many performers, further joy is forcibly added by our numerous clown bots. Do not interfere with the execution of their duties or you may be lethally mirthed. Remember, Astratorium robots are programmed to do their jobs and enjoy doing their jobs. Any extraneous conversational gambits are liable to break them, which has traditionally had catastrophic consequences. Speaking of which, in the likely event that Captain Nebula crashes the Astratorium, follow this standard routine. Simply... Wait a minute. What will happen at the end of this minute? Everyone at the Astratorium knows the magic characters and stories, right? Am I still waiting for the end of this minute, or have you changed the subject? This souvenir shop sells Chandra's goggles, and this wrestler is dressed like Liliana. Okay, we'll do this now. 
Yes, and this toy shop is selling plush Johnny dolls. But no one is playing magic! Okay, but if I'm going to a combination circus midway theme park spaceship, I'm not bringing a backpack full of commander decks. They're very heavy. Not even if it was magic themed? I don't understand why I'm on the rhetorical back foot so often in this conversation. Is it actually that while these are beloved characters and stories in this world, no one's invented a card game with them yet? That does seem like the kind of brand capitalization that Meyer the Magnificent would love. Exactly! Someone just needs to pitch her on the idea and oh my gosh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? That has rarely been the case so far. We gotta hop across dimensions, find the real Astratorium, and then tell Myra all about our amazing idea! Our. Every time. Every time we run this simulation, you want to go gallivanting across the multiverse in order to be the one who invents magic gathering at the Astratorium. And why is that such a bad thing? <sighs> Because the last time we did it, it used up a horrendous amount of electricity. We wound up psychically linked after the Garrick's Wake log flume ride whoopsied through a black hole. And you wanted to put damage back on the stack. Wait, we're psychically linked? Yes. Then why don't you understand my passions? Okay, Teferi's Time Twister was easily the best ride we've been on all day. Without question. What do you want to hit up after lunch? Sensei's Spinning Top? Eh, it takes so long. The Cyclonic Rift? I've never had a good time on that one. The Toxic Deluge? I don't meet the height requirement. Ooh, what about Ashiok's Totally Safe Ride for Babies and Children? Are you kidding me? That's way too scary. Will and Rowan's Mild Ride? That's for babies and children. Starnheim Unleashed looks fun. I'm allergic to feathers. We've never tried Rafine's conniving carousel. I think it's broken. We could take a spin on Parhelion 2. I prefer Parhelion 1. There's Elish Norn's flawless machine. <laughs> the ride design is far too orthodox. What about the Urzatron? Everyone complains about it, but I really don't think it's that exciting. Any of the log flume rides? We could try the Mimic Vat, the Knowledge Pool, or Garrick's Wake. Ew, people swim in that water. What about Thalia's No Fun Zone? You have to pay extra for that. There's a show called Obnixilis Presents. Obnixilis Gets to Kill You. I've never seen any reviews of that one. Oh, how about Chandra's Revolution? I think it just closed. <gasps> Could we try Storytime with Tamio? They actually just replaced that one with something called... The Phyrexian Completion Experience. Now featuring a Johnny. <gasps> Hey, I know! We've never tried Teferi's Time Twister! Oh yeah! Let's hit that one, then get lunch. Ah! James! Do you know what's up with Cam? He's like, you gotta get out of here! Run while you can! Why do you have a sticker on your forehead that says coward? Ah! It's Ben. He's a menace with the Infinity stickers. As a goof, he stuck one to his own head that said unhinged, and then it all started unraveling. He's realized you can change what things are by adding the stickers, and he's gone mad with power. What power? He put a sticker on Cam's head that says Sphinx, and now he's on the roof shouting, shouting riddles at tourists. OK, cool. Sounds like you guys are having a great day. I'm just going to hit the can and then leave. No, 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 no. You can't. He made the toilet Phyrexian. More of that strange oil. It's probably nothing. It's a mess! He made Adam into a dinosaur? <laughs> Nelson is a robot? Welcome to the Astrotorium. Welcome to the Astrotorium. And he made Kathleen into a goblin! Mm, jokes on him, I've been a goblin for years. Oh, hello, James. Ah! You look like you could use a sticker. Um, thanks, but I think I'm gonna just go. I, I thought you were a coward! I'm also unstable! Oh, no need to struggle. You won't feel a thing. The adhesive is mild by design. There, you are now wearing a hat. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, James, you're right. Using the sticker on the magic card is more fun than altering the very being of my friends. Thank you. And ethically, you're in the clear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Unfinity pre-pre-release here on the on Unloading Ready Run. Uh, this is round three. We're playing with these brand new cards. It's been cool so far, I think. Um, joining me on my left is Megan. Hey, what's up? On my right, we have Adam. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Good. Okay. You, you, are you sure? Yeah, I'm good. All right. Yeah. Ooh. I'm good. You're good? Yeah, We're okay. good? Okay. All right. All right. Uh, Megan, I believe, won the die roll. Yes, yeah, I did win the die roll. you did win the die roll. Only thing I'm planning on winning this <laughs> round. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> All right, <Go> begin. <laughs> Adam, is your mic on? <sighs> now it is. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Professional baby, let's go. All right. Come <laughs> yeah. on, I played this forest. Get your act together. OK. Ooh, lovely forest. Draw a step. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Trust <laughs> You're welcome. Ooh. Forest. Go oh. ahead. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Here's another forest. Go ahead. No two drop. Oh. Basically dead. Draw stab. <laughs> Play this island. <gasps> I tap two mana, a green and a blue. Uh huh. I'm going to. Play this line prancers. One and a green for a 2-2. Two, two. When it enters the battlefield, I get two tickets. Then you may put a power and toughness sticker on a creature you control. Um, and then I can pay three and a green. Target creature you don't control blocks target creature you control with a power and toughness sticker on it other than line prancers. This turn if able. All right. You gonna I put a power tickets. toughness stick no, sticker? No, I'm good, on thanks. This? All right. Here I go. This I'm is a defining moment for me. <laughs> this is it? All right. This is it. Come on, baby. Nope, go ahead. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Untap. <laughs> Mistakes. Keep draw. We're made. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play this forest. Okay. I would like to go to combat. Yeah, hit me. I'll hit you for two. Uh, I, I take two. Okay. Tap three mana. Uh-huh. I'm figuring out how to pronounce this. Oh, okay. Uh, I cast this ticket Ticketomaton? <laughs> Ticketomaton. Yeah. Ticketomaton. 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 Proliferate. Oh, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> so I get another sticker. Or uh -huh. another ticket. Mm -hmm. And I can put a sticker I'm going to pass again. On oh. Adding a sticker. Go ahead. Interesting. Yeah. All right, come on, buddy. Yeah, I really. No! Oh, oh no. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. We're fine. No, emotionally we're pretty ruined by yeah. this, but um, all right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Grabby Tabby, go away. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Untap. Yep. Draw step. Play an island. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna tap four. I'm going to cast. Clandestine Chameleon. I'm fine. Yeah, when yes. Clandestine Chameleon is a battlefield, uh -huh. get two tickets, and then uh -huh. you may put a sticker on a non-line permanent you control. All right. Are you finally going to sticker yeah. something? I am going Thank to sticker goodness. something. Thank goodness. Oof. Uh, I am going to make this Ticketomaton uh -huh. an 8-4. Uh-oh. <laughs> beep, beep. Yeah. I think at this point, there's very little that I that can do. That cost me four tickets. Uh-huh. Combat. All right. Hit you for 10. I take 10. <laughs> Good, go ahead. <laughs> well, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Life is short, and this game was shorter. <laughs> All right. Good warm up, everyone. Yeah. I really got in some nice practice um, drawing hey. cards. Mm -hmm. two, was it a two lander on the? Was it a two lander on it the play? It was a two lander. Yeah. But do you know what? That's complete. I felt I, good yeah, about you it. Have, like, yeah, I think the math is like you are like eighty-seven percent to draw land right. on and your if first I had two draw one steps land, or something. Yeah. I would have been. I would have been gravy, baby. Yeah. You know, mm. as versus as an A four. 
Well, look at them. What's that? <laughs> okay, so if my opponent doesn't do anything, uh -huh. and I <laughs> play this three drop, everything's uh -huh. gonna be fine. Yeah. <laughs> all right, wow. all right. Okay. Do you know what? It's gonna be. It's gonna be better this uh, time. Can I show off my super bling godless shrine? No, I gave it to Ben. Wow. Yeah. That's so nice. Ben owns it now. It's not mine to mm. show off anymore. Handsome card, though. Yeah, it looks good. It's like a, there's like a little spaceship and the, an eclipse happening. Kind yeah. Of. Yeah, yeah, it's very, yeah. Handsome. <laughs> it's very handsome. Yeah. Quiet. Dapper. I don't keep cards. I just Slummy give them away. Yeah. So if there's any cards that you want here. Right now? Well, you no, have right. your forester too, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> I just want her. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. <gasps> oh. Yeah, I cut. Ooh, all right. In this household, we cut In our dice. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Vroom. All right, come on, buddy. I keep. I keep. Yeah, I'll keep it. All right. Here we go again. <laughs> Forest, go ahead. I don't think you know what any of these cards Ooh. do, but. Trust that. Go ahead. Swamp, go ahead. Mmm. Draw step. Is land? Mm. All right. Uh, can I do anything? Nope. Go ahead. Only you no. can answer that question. <laughs> no. No two drops. All right. Uh, another swamp. Go ahead. Ooh, no three drop, draw step. <laughs> oh, my deck isn't about casting spells. <laughs> Mine is three mana. I am going to cast Ticketomaton. Tick All right, Ticketomaton? <laughs> ticket, Ticketomaton. Ticketomaton? Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Interesting. Um, You know what? I'm going to attempt murder. I will roll a single die. Uh huh. What's that? Uh, that was yeah. You're attempting murder. I'm attempting murder. Oh, I'm going to take automaton. Yes. Well, oh. just choose target. Yeah, that's okay. my target. Well, X six sided die. Uh, for each even result, put two minus one minus one counters on it. Get out of oh. here, <laughs> nerd. My take automaton. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Okay. Trust that. Well, this is awkward, isn't it? Play this for us. Go ahead, Megan. Ooh, no four drop? Yeah, no four drop. Hot. Well, I'm just letting you know my hand's full of fight cards. Oh. <laughs> awkward. Yeah. Um, well, you know what? I am just gonna I'm just gonna pass. Okay. Just that. Play this forest. Uh huh. I tap five mana. Ooh. I, I will cast Ambassador Blorpity Blorp Bloop. Oh, <laughs> fascinating. Yeah. Uh, it's a legendary creature. Mm -hmm. uh, alien advisor guest. When Ambassador Blorpity Blorp Bloop enters the battlefield, I get three tickets. Mm hmm. And then I may put a sticker on an online permanent I control. Are you going to put a sticker on yeah. this little jerk? Do you get to respond to this? Is this like a thing you can respond to? Judge? I mean, in theory? Hey, Judge Nelson here. Yeah, what? this is a triggered ability when Ambassador Blorpity Blorp Bloop enters the battlefield. Mm -hmm. So if Megan wanted, she could oh, cast a spell sticker. before you get the stickers. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's gone? <laughs> Worth noting, <laughs> Yeah. there's no interval between choosing which sticker to put on your card mm -hmm. and putting the sticker on your card. Huh. I don't know where my 8-4 sticker went. Did you take it off the other card? Yeah, I did take it off the other card. Hmm. What? Are you sure? Um, Is it stuck to you? No. I think I'm going to spend... Where could it have gone? Wait, I... I ate it. But where is it? I don't know, it just disappeared. Hmm. I would like to spend two tickets and give Ambassador Blorpity Blorp Bloop Mentor. Oh! <laughs> Okay. Oh. Yeah. That's surprising. 
I don't know. My A4 sticker's gone, though. Yeah. I took it. I remember it. putting it back on the card. I just yeah, I remember seeing that. straight yeah. up took it away. Okay, go ahead, Megan. All right. Hmm. Thank you. What does Mentor do? Whenever this creature attacks, if another creature is attacking that has lower power than it, I can put a plus one, plus one counter mm -hmm. on the lower power. And creature. that was two tickets? Yes. Okay. Um, all right, I'm going to tap a single forest yep. and play this Tchotchke Elemental. Gnome Tchotchke? Um, <laughs> whenever you create a token or put a counter or a sticker on another permanent, put a knickknack counter on Tchotchke Elemental. Use a unique item that completely fits on Tchotchke Elemental for each mm. knickknack counter. Oh, there's so many knickknacks around here. I know. Oh, that card's so strong Nick here. Knickknack <laughs> heavy. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Um... Do they need to be IP relevant? <laughs> I don't know. Uh. Are you going to fight it? I'm going to be really mad. I just want you to take that into consideration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going ah! to cast Fight the Blank Fight. Uh, enchant creature you control. I'll target Master Blorpity Blorp. Sure. Uh, when this aura enters the battlefield, you may put a name sticker on it. When you do, enchanted creature fights up to one target creature you don't control. All right. So, uh, what do I want to. What kind of fight are you going to fight? I don't have any big words. Hmm. Oh, no, I do. I'm going to make it fight the familiar fight. Oh, I'm really familiar with this fight. Yeah. Um, okay, goodbye. Enchanted elemental. creature gets plus O plus two for each name sticker on this aura with eight or more letters. So, oh, all right. Ambassador Blorpity Blorp Bloop is a three five. Is a three five now? Yeah. Hmm. Come yeah. At. Oh, come at me. I'll hit you for three. I take three. And then I will tap three mana. I'm casting another spell? Yeah. What I'm is this? A game of magic? So I'm gonna cast Season Buttoneer. Uh, it's a two mana or three mana two two. When it enters the battlefield, I get to open an attraction. That's nice for you. And I got balloon stand. Balloon stand. Uh, to, it says visit, choose one, create a one one red balloon creature token with flying, or sacrifice a balloon. If you do, target creature gains flying until end of turn. All, All right. right. All right. Go ahead. Okay. Well, we're finally gonna do some stuff. <laughs> Um, first A4 things first, we're <laughs> going to cast this chicken troop. Yeah. Uh, which is just a 2 2 or 2. I get a ticket, please. Um, and then I may put a sticker on a non land permanent I own. Ticket, please. Let's mm. see. I, I do just want to. I just want this chicken to be wearing a nice fez, you know? Mm. Okay. I could see it. Well, you're you're in a minute. You're not going to have to imagine it. You can just see it. It fit over its head. There, there we go. Okay. Um, and then after that, uh, I'm afraid that an incident has occurred. Okay. What's that mean? Um, I I'm going to destroy <laughs> target attraction, yeah. and I just have to say I am so sorry. <laughs> Well, you are in the land that invented sorry, so yes. here we go. Uh, yeah. All right, goodbye. Go to the junkyard. Uh, yes, I gained three gain life. three life? Yeah. Uh, all right, your turn. All right, untap. Boy, I sure would have loved to roll for one of my attractions. Trust out. Ooh. Um... Hmm. All right. Hmm. I agree with that sentiment. <laughs> there are many, uh -huh. ma many lines. Ward two, huh? Things. What? Yeah, ward two. <laughs> ward two. Yeah, ward two, huh? Deal with it. Writes down yet another fight card. Yeah. All right. Uh, combat. All right. I attack. Well, there's a pre-combat trigger with uh, Ambassador Blurpy Blurp Loop. What happens? Uh, but I'm choosing not to do it. When okay, at the beginning of each combat, each oh, it's each combat. 
<laughs> Wait, we missed a trigger on my <laughs> combat? Yeah. At uh -oh. the beginning of each combat, you may have Ambassador Blorpity Blorp Bloop's base power and toughness become equal to the total power and toughness of all stickers on permanents you control. Oh, okay. That seems like a bad choice for you. Well, I mean, if it's stickers, right? Yeah. Then it would be zero. Well, no, you have you one have sticker. A name sticker. You have fight the familiar fight. Familiar stuck to your hand. Oh, all stickers on. Oh, yeah, it is stuck to my hand. Well, he has a sticker, too, so it's two. Oh, It'd you're two right. Two. It's two, two. Yeah. Well, you want to make that creature a two, two? No, I'm good. Thank all you. Right. right. Combat. Well, worth back asking. Mentor trigger. Ah! Yeah. Bite me. Uh, uh yeah, I don't block. Take six? I take six. <laughs> oh, boy, we're all having fun. We are, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Um... I'm going to tap two. I'm going to command performance, and I'm going to get two stickers. All right, you got it. Or, or two, two tickets. tickets. Two Sorry. tickets. Yeah. I don't like this. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to cast this wolf in blank clothing. Uh huh. Um. Oh, Adam, you get to choose two. Oh, I choose two. Yep. Oh. What? Well, all right, let's undo this. Hold up. You have four <laughs> tickets. Yeah. I have four tickets. What are you currently? Is it three five? <laughs> Let's make old Ambassador Blorpity Blorp. I'm going to pay three tickets. All right. And make old Ambassador a 5 3. Okay. So now he's a 5 5. Yeah. I understand how math works. Yeah. Well, it's still. All right. We're, yeah. we're on to my turn. Yeah. I still do the same thing. Okay. Um, I have decided that this is a wolf in tightrope clothing. What does it mean? Mm hmm. Oh, uh, I think we all know that. Uh, so three things get minus one, minus one. It doesn't really matter. Um, go ahead. Okay. Untap. Draw. Why won't you cooperate? Just let me play my <laughs> cards. Okay, I'm going to tap three. All right. I'm going to cast Finishing Move. Oh, no. Uh, I get two tickets All and right. then put a sticker on an online permit you own. All right. Um... And you currently you, have three. You yeah. bite one of my creatures. Yeah. Who you bite? Uh, one sec. Well. I'm gonna put. <laughs> whenever this creature attacks, if it's not a brush wag, it gets plus X plus O until end of turn, where X is the number of its super types, card types, and subtypes. Ah! Am <laughs> Ambassador Blorpity Blorp Bloop. This seems quite bad for me. Uh, I'm going to fight the. Yeah, wolf. all right. Well, you punch dead. the wolf. I guess it's a punch. Hmm. Yeah. Are you sure? It bite. It's a bite. Uh, I would like to go to combat. Okay. I'd prefer you didn't, <laughs> but whatever. I attack. Uh, there's some triggers. Yes. How many stickers do I have? One, two, it, three, four? It totals up the power and toughness of power and toughness stickers. Oh, okay. It's the power. Oh, total. Oh. Yeah. So if he becomes an 8-8? Eight, eight? Uh, base power and toughness become equal to the total power and toughness of... Oh, so he's just still a 5-3, right? Equal that to the total I believe once we get a second yes. power and toughness, yes, then, then it will down. start adding up. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, he's a five. He's a five five, and he attacks, and he gets plus five plus zero. Oh. oh, great! Yeah, don't forget your mentor trigger. Yeah, mentor trigger. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I'm just gonna chomp this friend. <laughs> yeah. Ah! And you take four. Sure. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Mm. Come on. Admiral Blorpity Blorp Blue. Well, I'm dead, <laughs> is the thing. Um, look. Uh huh. I'm just gonna, like, like look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna search for this coming attraction, mm -hmm. and then I'm just going to politely die. Okay. All right. Uh, All right. On the upkeep. Yep. Or not upkeep on your attack step, but you get the idea. Okay. Stickers. Stickers. Blur blue. You really are doing <laughs> the Lord's work. Have we checked the back of the sticker cards? For I the did. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. That was the only other suggestion we got yeah. from uh, 
from Team Judge. On, yeah, uh, no, they ju it just, just I think it fell off or But where something. could it have gone? It must be here. Oh, you know what I'm saying? The mentor and yeah. five. Yes. Is it between your fingers? Nope. Hmm. Was it absorbed into your bloodstream? Possibly. <laughs> well. Stickers, stickers. The yeah. ambassador has sent a strongly worded letter. <laughs> yeah, where is... Where is this person person with the deck who also does nothing? Or that also does nothing? Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm like, right? <laughs> Come on. I, I just want to point out, yes. uh, you are allowed to use paper and pencil in place of sticker. So if you lose your sticker, but you know that's your sticker, you can't oh, use nice. paper and pencil to replace the sticker. Okay. Oh. oh. All right, so you can have your... I still have an 8-4 sitting around somewhere? Somewhere. Yeah. Okay. But where did it go? <laughs> is it on one of the tickets? Did you check all the tickets? I did not. Well, we, let them make a ticket, say, for now. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I that was known to four just tickets? Things. Yeah, it's four tickets. Okay. I'm glad we're at least not doing best of three anymore. This would have been <laughs> a really miserable time for me. <laughs> yeah, just. <laughs> well. Well, all right. Dude, that's I'm everything for right. here. The team. event is over. <laughs> Thanks for coming up to Canada yeah, to play your two games. Get your butt back below the border, <laughs> you chump. Back to Minnesota. Uh, up here, we Canadians, we really we take our we really take our magic seriously. We take our affinity deadly seriously. You thought you were coming to have a good time? Yeah. Actually, little known fact, if I ever lose a game of magic on camera, Lur, uh -huh. Lur burns something in my house. Wow! Yeah. Yep. Just an item? Yeah, just one thing at random. <laughs> yeah. Is it a controlled burn, or is it they just no, like set it on fire, set it on and they're fire like, and good luck like a, with this? Yeah, good luck figuring this one out. <laughs> yeah, what's missing? I hope right. you have a fire extinguisher. <laughs> yeah. I determined what it is is that I didn't cut your deck, you yeah. cut mine, and I didn't Ooh. cut yours, and yeah. that would have been the dis like the real change maker. Yeah. Um, I will play once again. Okay. The last time Adam lo uh, lost uh, a game, we burned one sock. Yeah, I'll keep this. I'll keep this too. Don't know which one. Okay. I'm going to play some spells, so get ready. All right. Forrest, go ahead. Okay. But not yet. Bust up. Everyone calm down. <laughs> Forrest, go ahead. Um, playing. Oh, wait, I get to draw a card. <laughs> going to do that. Yeah. Planes. Chicken troop again. Yeah. Uh, can I get a ticket, please? You may. And this time, I feel like um, this this chicken is celebrating a birthday of someone. <laughs> Happy birthday! It's my Happy birthday. birthday! I'm a chicken. Congratulations, Bill. Happy birthday! Uh, go ahead. Okay. First step. Yeah. I will it's play this your island. Birthday. Okay. I tap two mana. I will play the Lion Prancers. You got it. And just about feel I get two tickets. I will spend those two tickets to make it a two three. Mm. Ouch! It's a birth it's your birthday. It's your Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We love you very, 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 very much. Go ahead. Alright. I block. What? I didn't attack! <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm just letting you know. Oh, okay. That's nice. Um <laughs> I'm gonna play nice. coming attraction. Yeah. Ooh. Um I will let me look. Can we get that on the card reader? Oh, yep, sorry. Coming attraction. Um, here we go. I will get, you know what? I'll get another swamp. And you get an attraction? And I get to open an attraction, finally! Uh-huh. <gasps> Scavenger hunt. On the board. Thank goodness I have people to remind me of things. Mm. Um, it's one of the ones where I go and look for a card, and if I do, then I get tickets. Yeah, so the modes are? Uh, so yes, this one lights up on three, five, and six. Mm -hmm. um, and I can, well, I can search for a vampire or a zombie, fire, lightning, or an explosion, or a metallic creature. <laughs> if I find one, I get two tickets and then can stick or something. Okay. So there's that attraction, scavenger hunt. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay, untap, draw. Uh, combat. Yeah. I'm coming in for two. I take two. Okay. I'll tap three mana. You're you're gonna. 
I'll cast a Season Buttoneer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I get to open an attraction. Sure. I didn't reshuffle my attraction deck. <gasps> Judge? Gasp! <laughs> <laughs> if you could please shuffle your attraction deck now. Yeah, Thank you. Oh, okay. Do you want to cut it? I <laughs> it's don't. Three, <laughs> it's three cards. All right. Hall of Mirrors! No! Wow! Uh, All right. Hall of Mirrors. You've seen it once before, but visit, choose target creature you control. Each other creature you control becomes a copy of that creature until end of turn, except it isn't legendary if the chosen creature is legendary. And that flavor text says, finally, something that can capture all of my good angles. Oh. By Captain Rex Nebula. Okay. All right. You gonna kill this one immediately too? Or? We'll see. <laughs> no promises. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Come on, scavenger hunt. No, absolutely mm. not. Under no circumstances. Mm. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play this planes and pass. Oh, okay. Draw. What uh, do I need? Four or six? All right. Nope. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out. You leave this place immediately. I'll play this island. Yeah, you will. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you will. Uh, pff, you have so much untapped mana. Yeah, I'll attack. I'll block. Okay. It's a two-two, right? Uh, yeah. I'm not like yeah, yeah, nuts. Yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> you want to trade? Yeah. Okay. So you trade. I take, take two. two. Uh, look, Megan. All right. I'm unhappy already. I'm really sorry. No! An <laughs> incident has occurred? Yeah, an incident's occurred. It's awful. Uh, I'm really sorry, though. Yeah. You, you are, got it. At yeah. least, you know what? At least you're sorry. Go ahead. That's what matters. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to play a forest. I yeah. will tap that forest for a tchotchke elemental. Yeah. And I'll pass to you. Okay. Untap. Oh, thank you. Draw step. Uh, My brain is a sieve. Okay, I'm going to tap to you. I'm going to play blank, 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 Trespasser. Okay, great. Excellent. <laughs> it's a 2-1. When this creature enters the battlefield, you may put a name sticker on it. Oh. And then I can pay three and a blue. This creature gets plus one, plus zero oh until end of turn for each name sticker on it. It can't be blocked. Okay. Uh, let's make it Interesting. a... Goblin. Oh. Mm. All right. And then I'm going to tap three mana. Suspicious, but all right. I'm going to cast finishing move. <laughs> Adam, sorry, did we roll for your attraction this turn? Yes. Okay, good. I did. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I get two tickets and I can put a sticker on a thing. Um. Let's get, I guess I can, names are free, right? Yeah. Names and art, I think. Names are free. Let's make it a goblin coward trespasser. <laughs> Classic unblockable <laughs> creature. Mm. And then I will hit you for two. All right, I take two. Go ahead. Interesting. Interesting. Let me see this. I have a question. Yeah. If this copies the Trespasser, does the all the copies have the stickers or no? It just becomes the base version? I believe the stickers just count it's the card that they're on, the physical okay. card they're on. Yeah. Like plus one plus one counters. Yeah. I just needed to make sure. All right. Wasn't sure um, it was some weird state based thing or, you know. I'll play this forest. Yeah, huh? I'll pass to you. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Untap. Draw. Uh huh. Play land. Mm hmm. <laughs> Roll for your attraction. Oh, yeah. Not. Yeah. Roll for my attraction. No. A one. Nope. Combat. Okay. No blocks. For four. Yeah, I'd take four. Okay. All right. Ambassador <gasps> Blurpity Blurp Loop. All right, you got it. 
Uh, I get three tickets. And then I will put a sticker on something. <sighs> I guess we'll put the whenever this creature attacks, it gets plus x plus o, where it's number of super types, subtypes, everything else. All right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Megan. I'll play this planes, and I'll pass. Okay. I untap. Yeah, absolutely you do. Draw. Uh-huh. 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 Gonna, gonna tuck it into your shirt? Oh, yeah, I could. Although, you've got your mic. Oh, yeah, I do. Well, good luck, everybody. <laughs> Hey, Judge Nelson here. Just wanted to let you all know I have no idea what's going on. All yeah. right. Oh, good. You have five minutes. Uh-huh. It's time for a pie-eating contest. All right. <laughs> I have chicken. Uh, that's not pie. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Not oh. yet. Oh, baby. So, uh, uh -huh. I have to take three bites. Great. One for each creature that I... Oh, that fell apart. Oh, let's just get in there. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, one. Mm -hmm. I can't watch this. That's one. I just hope uh -huh. Taffy Toe is watching this. Yeah. Oh, no. That's one bite. Okay, two. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's two bites. Great. That's kind of food, right? Uh-huh. All right? Uh-huh. Okay, so. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> you're, 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 you're wearing the tarp as a bib. Is the idea to protect your clothing or protect your cards? What? Because well, yeah. initially you were protecting the cards, and then yeah. you switched to protecting your... Yeah, I protect me. Okay, you don't care about the cards. No. All right. All right, well, this is still two. <laughs> I can just smell chicken. Uh-huh. Oh. Hmm. There's still two, by the way. This is a big one. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh. Uh huh. Man. You want some? Do you know what? I did until you started <laughs> eating it, so. Yeah, that's fair. All right. And then there's just something about this situation. Uh huh. That's just putting me off a little. Yeah. Took off eating for a little bit. Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, you're okay. All right. And then. Uh huh. There. There's your gun. Uh huh. Three. Oh great! I'm really. I believe you. So, how, how many more bites in that chicken do you oh. think? Uh huh. Thank you, Farmer. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, people are pointing out you did not roll for the attraction, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't. You just touched that die Ew. with your yeah. chicken hands. Uh huh. I did. All right. All right. Everybody gets plus two, plus two? Yeah, I trample. That's very exciting. <laughs> I just want to eat chicken. Oh, uh, yeah, time. okay. Okay. One. Uh huh. Two. Three. I'm gonna um. Attack like that. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna kill, kill this this gentleman. Oh. Um, oh. This guy. Oh, well, there's a trigger, I guess, but it doesn't. Yeah. Matter. I mean, I, before or after I kill, I bar entry. Oh. Okay. So, it oh. It kill it. It power four or greater. Mm. Yeah. So this thing dies. Yes. Um. I take nine, and I go to one. You take nine. I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. I, is that is bar okay. entry? Do you just play like the animated GIF of that kid like jumping head first into the low doorway? <laughs> All right, here we go. Well, I live. I'm dead. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I'm. Ooh. I'm dead, and I'm also horrified. <laughs> that is the... Time? I am okay. okay. That is the yeah. second time Adam has needed the tarp on stream. Yeah, second time, yeah. <laughs> but this time, I'm decidedly cleaner than last time. Wow. Surprisingly, yes. Wow. Yeah. yeah. All right, stickers. 
you go there. You are a goblin coward. Cameron, some uh, people in chat are asking what the first time was. I think oh, was, uh, the watermelon. Was the watermelon was in 2022. Yep. yep. Do you want another oh. napkin, Adam? Why? <laughs> no reason. <laughs> you do you. Yeah, do, do. What you want. when you say it like that, yeah, of course I do. <laughs> I'm now a solid O3. That's okay. Um, I've lost in every conceivable way, <laughs> um, including chicken eating. <laughs> Did I get it? Oh, no, yeah, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> is, is getting your cards covered in chicken grease a strat to avoid the knife throwing? Uh, Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Card. Just the just slides right off. Hmm. I can't believe that the time I played around knife throwing, I played into it. Yeah. <laughs> I should have just like stacked everything up. So um, I know I don't know. Maria was just getting real good at the end. Yeah, you were yeah just, it was you were deadly. Just in trouble. She just got the yeah. she had the rhythm. You yep. Know, feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. Look at Jamaica, yeah. it's bobsled time. <laughs> wow, cool wow. running. Wow. <laughs> cool running reference in twenty twenty two. Love that movie. It's, it's a crowd pleaser, honestly. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, just a I'm tour de force. I'm gonna play it again. <laughs> Rest in peace, John Candy. One right. of these times. Yeah. I believe in myself. <laughs> I do. I've always believed in you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. I believe in you. Yeah. See, there you go. I b also you're believe in you. You're talented and you're funny. Oh, thank yeah. you. You're smart. You're building an awesome deck. You're. <laughs> You're a really she refined. <laughs> you're a really refined roast chicken eater. <laughs> You've got a lot of grace. Yeah, I do. A yes. lot of poise. Yeah, that's usually <laughs> the first thing that people say about me. They're like, <laughs> "It's like you know Adam Savage." Like, oh, the oh, guy with all the grace, grace and poise. And poise. <laughs> yeah, the grace and poise guy. Enter that man in the Miss Universe yeah, pageant yeah, already. I, wait, I thought. I thought they changed it to Dex Poise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did, yeah. Cameron. Yeah, the series got a lot worse when they did that too. Mm -hmm. You know. All right. Uh, okay. I will okay. take this dice so no one else can touch it. <laughs> do you want me to touch it? It's kind of clean. Go, Look. Go ahead. Do you what sure? you want to do. Yeah. Feel how you want to feel about it. No, yeah, that's, that's your own deck. That's my deck. <laughs> Judging only, you're just going to oh, get great. in front of the YouTube comments and remember to shuffle your attraction decks. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I shuffled mine, but I will again just in case. How many attractions do you have? I have eight. <laughs> I have eight because, believe it or not, I have a lot of ways to open now. <laughs> we'll see them someday, baby. We'll see them someday. We've I still got them. the bare minimum. <laughs> All right. Oh, you can cut these eight attractions if you want. Uh, yeah. All right. But don't cut in line at attractions. Remember that. Mm. Yeah, that's that's no bueno. All right. I'll, I'm going to keep once again. Uh, I still believe that this can get there. Yeah. Yeah. I never wish for anyone to mulligan, but it might be the only chance I have. Uh. Oh, Adam. Uh, yeah, I'll keep it. <gasps> oh, big cheats! Gotta... Big cheats! Judge, there's a oh, card okay. outside. Are you gonna keep your hand? Yeah. Just shuffle up into your library. Okay. <clears throat> you absolute monster. Do you need to check the barbecued chicken bag for any more cards? No, maybe, we're good. Maybe that's where the 8-4 power of toughness sticks. Maybe, like. I don't <gasps> know, but I'm hungry already. I'm still hungry. Just want to eat. Did you, That's yeah. the only reason I drafted that card. I was like, I get to eat. Mm, all yeah. right. No, I mean, it's compelling, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. starting to feel it a little myself. Yeah. I still, I feel like, I, I wish that it had been like a sheet cake. Like, yeah, I would, I, I would feel good I about actually you. Looked, but okay, like, yeah, like. Along the edge of a sheet cake. Yeah. After like, you left, I had the idea to get like, you know, a sheet cake that just says good game, good game, good game, <laughs> good game, good game, good game. Yeah. yeah. Like, do you want some? Yeah, I would have, like, I was looking, but all they had were, like, slices of, like, cheesecake and stuff. Uh -huh. They don't really sell, like, I'm assuming they don't just make them every day, right? Like, I don't know. They make chickens every day, though. I don't run the It was either that or I was going to get a real big eggplant. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it had been that. For no other reason than I love vegetables. Yes, an aubergine. Yeah. But I did look for a big eggplant. 
for no other reason than no enjoyment. You what, like vegetables. Yeah, enjoyment of vegetables. Everyone what about peaches? That, could you eat a peach yeah, in three I bites? Eat, I could eat a peach in three bites. <laughs> they say raw eggplant is the peak of vegetable yeah. cuisine. Mm. Okay. All right. All right. Forest, go. Yeah. Trust that. Go ahead. Swamp, go. Ah. Trust it. Mm-hmm. Tap two mana. Uh huh. Now, if I command performance, mm-hmm. I would like to open it. Like, do I have to? Cho- I have to choose both now. So yes. if I choose both now, can I open the attraction and then roll for it, or does it like? It doesn't work that way, right? I think it goes in. I think that's order. Fine. Give me a second here. I'll check the card. Does the, it goes in order? Yeah, because if you pick two, yeah. you pick open and roll, and it'll be like, oh, okay, first you open. I mean, there's only one attraction that really helps you out immediately, <laughs> so I think I'll just open an attraction and get two tickets. I think that's pretty. You cool. do you. You got roller coaster. Oh, uh, all right. Visit creatures you control get plus two plus zero oh until end of turn. I'm gonna die to that soon. <laughs> I don't have any creatures. Go ahead. Well, let me just go over this for people. Map time. Time. <laughs> so, like like all commands. You start at the bottom, make your choices, but then read top to bottom. So it would be oh. okay to open an attraction, and then during the resolution of the spell, the attraction will come onto the battlefield, and then you can roll for it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to play coming attraction. Oh, ah, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So this planes into play. My hands are all greasy from the chicken. Disgusting. Who could have foreseen and this? And open <laughs> this dart throw. What Ooh, is that? I'm very excited. Um, it's a, you know, Oh, dark it's out throw. here, and you throw yeah. a card at it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's get ready to uh, throw some cards. I hope. Yeah. Okay. Um, and now it's your turn. Okay. Got the sharp cards already. Just oh, <laughs> you do. Okay. Okay, Megan, don't be mad, but I'm really. Not <laughs> <laughs> roll to visit your attractions. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter. You don't have any. Creatures. Doesn't matter. I still gotta roll it. All right. A four. Doesn't activate. All right. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Ooh. Interesting. Hold on, I draw. And now I roll to visit my mm. attraction. Yeah. Oh, you did. Four. It. Okay. Okay. All right. Three. Got, give me three. Got a selection of sharp cards Ooh, for you to choose from. Thank you. I will take this. I'm going to go first one. Sword sol- swallowing seraph. Um, and if someone can. Yeah. Do you want to use the meter stick? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me a meter. Wait. Here. All right. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you have to take it away so I can throw it. Oh, all right. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> ah, golf clap, golf clap, golf clap. Good job. Good job. Um. Okay. Now I am going to play um, a land for the turn. Yeah. And then uh, I'm just going to go ahead and play another coming attraction. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. All right. <coughs> we'll put another planes into play. Okay. Um. And then we will open. Guess your fate. I'm very excited about this one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. And that is my turn. Go the for it. Bottom card of your library, then give a person outside the game a one-word clue. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, and if, yeah. And then if I give them a clue and they guess the word, not on that card. I get the card. Okay. Trust it. <coughs> Uh, I'm going to play this forest. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, sorry. No, roll. <laughs> Great, thank you. Uh, I'm going to tap four. I'm going to play this monitor monitor. <gasps> it's a four mana two five. When it enters the battlefield, uh, open an attraction. Uh, once each turn, you may pay one to re-roll one or more dice you roll. <gasps> Gasp. Balloon stand. Ooh. Oh, all right. Go ahead. Uh, I'm going to roll to visit my attractions. Four! I visit them both! Ooh. Um, all right. I first will uh, visit Guess Your Fate. Yeah. I need an outside friend! Mm-hmm. Um, I Okay. Look at the bottom card of your library, then give a person outside the game a one-word clue not on that card. They guess a word. If their guess appears in that <coughs> card's name, claim the prize. So here I am looking at the bottom card. 
<laughs> and you can't use a word that's on the card. I mm. know. Okay. It's like Pictionary. Um. Or I'm whatever. Uh, it. Charades. Oh, charades. All right. <laughs> charades. And you know you have to ask Mark. You, you have, have to ask Cam. Me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. I, I do. I'll guess your fate. Wait a second. That. He worked on the <laughs> set. This is cheating. This is collusion. I want somebody else. Accident. Accident. There's no shot. Um. <laughs> incident. Yes! An incident has occurred. Mark Rosewater, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. So that goes in my hand. Okay, I sacrifice this and open an attraction. Um, and then also I do a dart throw. Uh, so you had your chance. We're gonna go with Haber Thrasher this time. Uh, okay. All right. <gasps> so close! It bounced. It yeah. bounced off of it, alas. Um, okay. Uh, oh, this is the new attraction that I opened, yep. Scavenger mm -hmm. Hunt. You look for things. Okay, oh, great. Yes. Um, is it the same one? Do you have more than one? Or is it the same words that you're looking for? It's the same one. Okay. I only have the one copy. Thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh. Uh, right. Yes. Sorry. Okay. I'm going to cast um, this jetpack janitor yep. who is Alpha Strike. Okay. Um, Alpha Strike is. Uh, it has first strike if it's blocking or being blocked by a creature that comes after it alphabetically. Full fiddlesticks. Okay. Um, and then <coughs> I'm also going to cast Done for the Day, uh, which is this little enchantment. Mm -hmm. At the beginning of your end step, if you control an employee, a performer, or a robot, you may get ticket or create a treasure token. If you control all three, you may put a sticker on a non-land permanent you own. Um, so that's my little enchantment over here. Okay. And I go to my end step, and I will get a... Um, I will get a, ah, I will get a treasure, please. Okay. Uh, treasure. Here we go. Oh, I've got this treasure. Go ahead. Yeah. Untap. Draw. Yeah. Roll for attractions. Go for it. Two. Nothing. Mm. No, I'm good. Uh, I will play a land. I will tap five. Mm -hmm. I will play Admiral Blurpity Blurp Bloop. Okay, okay. Uh, I get three tickets, and I can put a sticker on something. Um, I believe you have five tickets total? Yeah. Let's do the plus X plus O thing on the 2-5. You got it. Uh, combat. Go for it. I swing for five. Um, I take five. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. <clears throat> um, okay. I'm gonna roll for my attractions. Mm -hmm. Two, I do not visit any. Mm. Alas. Um, all right. Uh, I will play a land for turn. Oh, how much was the sticker? Three? Oh, three. Sorry. Yeah, they cost things. No worries. We got there. Don't count that much, man. <laughs> Alarming. Um, yeah. <laughs> Your opponent's doing this one? Yeah. What are you at? 34. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I will play this Grabby Tabby. Yeah. One, two, three. Four. Okay. It has vigilance if I control a stickered permanent, which I do not. Yeah. Um. Uh, oh. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> Reminding me constantly. Uh. And then I am going to play. Um. Gobsmacked. Mm -hmm. Um. On this monitor, monitor. Okay. Um. I have chosen someone outside the game that I can see. Um. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then uh, I will um, cast an incident has occurred. 
sacrificing this treasure. Yeah. Um, and I am going to dis destroy uh, this roller coaster, mm -hmm. and I just want to say I'm really sorry. Yeah, about that's it. fair. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Mm -hmm. Just double checking here, uh, Megan. Who have you yes. chosen for gobsmacked? I have to tell. Yes. I believe it's public. Yeah, it doesn't say in secret or I write it down. Um, if it just says choose, then oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, then then I, I choose Paul. Paul. Don't go anywhere, buddy. <laughs> um, I need this creature to not attack me. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll attack for three with this jetpack janitor. Okay, I take three. It, Great. It's public information to the players. The person who you pick isn't normally told. Forget I told you. Uh. <laughs> okay. Um, and then at the end, uh, I get a. I will take a um, ticket this time, please. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. All You're right. Welcome. Go. Cool. Untap. Yeah. Draw. Okay. Roll for attraction. Okay. A six. Ooh. Wow! You. I get a one get one a balloon. balloon. With flying. <clears throat> One one balloon. Uh, <clears throat> okay. First things first. I'm gonna tap one mana. Okay. I would like to cast blue ribbon. Uh oh. Uh, blue ribbon is an artifact equipment. When blue ribbon enters a battlefield, ask a person outside the game which creature you control is the most deserving of a blue ribbon. Attach blue ribbon to it. Uh, equip creature. Uh, has best in show. So whenever a spell or ability targets the creature with the blue ribbon on it, uh -huh. um, if it's not targeting the creature with the blue ribbon, that spell or ability also targets the creature with the wow. blue ribbon. Wow! Okay. Yeah. So got a mic? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, cool. so Maria... <laughs> Maria? <laughs> Who are you hoping it wasn't? Uh, it wasn't. Maria... <laughs> I yes. need you to okay. So one of these creatures is best in show. Please don't pick the one with the don't passive. Don't you can't. Well, you I can. I can you say can't that. Influence yes, me. I, I can just say. You I can say what I want. What I want to have happen. I'm just. <laughs> you I am just pointing out. I'm revealing the all of the information. One. Yes. Uh. Sweet, sweet <laughs> justice. Okay. Well, I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> uh. Oh God! There are bones everywhere. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Paul has a job he has to Doesn't do! Doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, you stay there. Oh, you can't, can't see okay. Paul. I can see well, his legs. No, that doesn't count. I what? You don't get to say if that counts. <laughs> I see, see him. Okay, well, I gotta cover Paul up completely then. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. I don't make the rules. You're breaking the rules! No, I'm not. Paul has a job to nothing, do. Nothing in the rules says that I can't cover up Paul completely, alright? With my stinky chicken tarp. If you're wondering why. Yeah, you gotta pull back. <laughs> why, <laughs> why are you doing this? If you're wondering why Adam's doing this, I don't know. Is this good? Oh, the monitor is off. Okay, here's my argument Paul is. Paul is simply wearing a tarp. Out of sight, out of mind. I can see Paul still. <laughs> you can't. You can I see can the tarp. I can see Paul. No, no, you can see no, the tarp. No, I can see Paul. You Paul's can see right the tarp. there. You can see the tarp. Paul, would you if, like to cut to yourself? I, why? I. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Paul. No, you I can see, see the tarp. You can see the tarp. I see covering his Paul. Knee. I'm gonna argue. I see Paul's knee. Judge. Judge, that person is simply <laughs> wearing a tarp, and I can see them. Hey, I'm the judge. Yeah. Um, if you can't see so them physically, my, I'm just. <laughs> I am gonna <laughs> argue that I'm a genius. So, from <laughs> Megan's point of view, yeah. I would say that unless she can see some part of Paul's body, I then can he see is his knee. And, and I'd like to let you know, although I am a magic judge, I am also the judge of hide and go seek quite regularly. Oh, yeah. Paul has a job, and you're. Preventing perfect. him from doing That's his perfect. job. <laughs> Knowing where someone is is not the same as yeah. seeing them. But if he's if he was simply 
if that was just an accessory, yeah. then I would see him. <laughs> no, you see the tarp. <laughs> no, but I see him. He's no. wearing the tarp. <laughs> I don't see, see him though. He's covered I up. See Paul all right, all right. In come his on, dark. come on and tell everybody. All right. Well, <laughs> well, well, it's true that Megan can't see Paul right now. We found out from yes, you are not, Super Judge tomorrow. You are not allowed. Like it's unsporting conduct to do things like hide them. So you are not what allowed do you mean? to do that. That's smart. I was it's using the, <laughs> the tools that I was given. Uh, whether the person leaves of their own volition is fine, but uh, you are not allowed to cover them up. Paul, you gotta go to the bathroom? Do, do you know how many game stores this ruling will make so much happier? <laughs> Think about the chaos that would happen if this is happening across the, the world. Mark, I want chaos! Adam, think of the problems you're causing. I am thinking about it! Think of the problems! Viva la revolution! <laughs> I, this makes me a martyr. You've won three <laughs> games back to back to back, Adam! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, have, right. you Sorry, know, yeah. All right. have you no sense of Megan scale? Can see Paul. No! <laughs> At long last, I only sir. think about the immediate feelings that I'm having. Okay? At long last, and the second sir. those are gone, then I don't think about them anymore. What are you doing with your cards right now? <laughs> One of the rules <laughs> for this doing? is think about... <sighs> okay, I'm going to... What is it? Equip three? Yeah. Well, I gotta move the best in show. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to move it... <laughs> to Admiral Blorpity Blorp Blorp. Sure. He's only an ambassador. Don't promote him. Yeah, he has a civilian job. Thank you, Cam. You're tapped out? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Woof. Do you have a bite? fine question. You're going to bite this tabby? I'm going to fight the blank fight. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, I think I. So this is this is a spell targeting, right, Judge? Bah. <laughs> this is gonna be bad for you if this works the way I think it does. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> it does target? Okay, so I target the monitor monitor. Yes, but the, the question is, is, does it count as a spell or ability? I think so, it's a spell that targets. Okay. Yeah, it counts as a spell, right? This, this is a spell that targets for best in show. Sorry, I was cleaning yeah. up a tarp. Um. <laughs> you ate chicken on that tarp and then you put it on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I kind of yeah. I kind of forgot about the chicken. <laughs> we know Aura's target. Whatever. We're asking if oh, it counts for so best smart. spell or ability. Yeah. The aura is definitely a spell. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So right. if I target this, it also targets a, a copy right. targets may, Admiral Blurpity Blurp Loop. Yeah, you'll need like a copy token yeah. targeting Admiral Blurp. So uh, this is going to fight the three two and Admirals, and All since right. it's got a f eight letter word on it, they get plus two plus zero. Oh, so the three, All right. three plus five oh, plus two. Calm down. Yeah, okay. Plus zero oh, plus two. <laughs> <laughs> Like that. Uh, okay, and I have one, two stickers currently. Yeah, you. I think you need to put a sticker on the copy. Oh yeah. Oh wait, hold up. That doesn't work the way I think it works then. Because if I had to put a sticker on the copy, then Admiral's gonna not fight the three five. I don't have an eight, another eight letter word. Okay. Okay. I screw, so since I screwed up, I'm gonna say dead. they're gonna no, they'll trade. Okay. Because I didn't plan it. So. Wow. Yeah. An unusual moment of mercy yeah, from like, a man who covered his coworker or friend with yeah. a tarp. Coworker. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the room. I know. <laughs> Paul I mean, said, I mean, boss. Paul said much worse about yeah. yeah, boss is more likely. Like, man, person who signs my face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Megan. Woof. <sighs> yeah, employer, really. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna roll for my attractions. Yeah. Three. I visit them both. Okay. okay. Uh, scavenger hunt. Um. Wait. I'm gonna go to dart throw first. Okay. Uh, so, all I can't right. believe the tarp didn't work. <laughs> We're never inviting Mark back again, right? If there's one thing that's a problem with the stream, Thanks, it's Mark Rosewater. <laughs> <laughs> can't believe he swindled me like that. Ugh, alas. So close. 
Um. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> choose a vampire, zombie, fire, yeah. lightning, or an explosion, or a metallic creature at random. You have 10 seconds to search your library and reveal a card with the chosen item and its <laughs> art. If you do, claim the prize. Um, I thought I was a guest. <laughs> <laughs> you guys invited me into your house. Yeah, we did, yeah. 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 This is the you way you treat me. Thoughts yeah, of you, like Adam's, Adam's views yeah, and statements are not reflective of Loading Ready Run as a whole. I'm just going to let you know right now. Literally every PPR is my last PPR. <laughs> Don't worry, I might not be back. <laughs> um, all I know is yeah. all show long, everyone is like, I'm, I'm here, I'm a human being. Okay, we'll say, um, <laughs> we uh, love you very, very, we very, love very, you very, very much, Mark. Much. I hope you do not. Mark, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> please, please, please don't take me. Oh man, I hope. Oh, so geez. yeah, just to double check, Adam, is the ultimatum either you go or, or Mark, Mark goes? Mark goes? <laughs> yeah. All right. And I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> So really, I'm, I'm okay you, with it. Yeah, you, yeah. you don't want to change yeah. that. Yeah, no. okay. <laughs> I'll stick. I'll stick. I'll die on this hill, Paul. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, as long as you die on it. <laughs> vampire zombie. We'll say yeah. uh, this one is um, fire, lightning, or an explosion, and this one's a metallic creature. So. Well, Wait, what happened? To pick the random thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I get to pick yeah, one. Yeah, pick one. Just, I'm thinking! Pick one! <laughs> <laughs> I swear, if you don't pick a card. Um, okay, I'm looking for um, a metallic creature. Okay. All right, can someone give me 10 seconds? Okay. Uh, In some yeah, kind of official I capacity? I can do it. I can do it. Fair. I can do it. All right. Uh, and go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. All right. I. Nope, this is an elemental. <laughs> All right, I did not find one. <laughs> uh, okay. What was, what was happening in this game? Um. I just. I don't even know anymore. My, I'm playing um, Brim's. Brim's Barone. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and um, that's that. You know, can someone, you know, just anyone in this building, this? grab me my, grab me my moose hat. Go ahead. Oh, it's activated abilities can't be activated. Wow, that card really gets me, doesn't it? <laughs> You're just starstruck by Paul. Oh, thank you. Here is my moose hat. Okay. Ooh. Untap. Draw. Uh, I roll. Oh, another six. Oh. I make another balloon. Blah. M Mark, I found I it. I need, okay, I, I have need to put this down. <laughs> it's on my head. Cameron yeah, needs to put it away. Uh, I'm going to get a repetitive Is it a right now? Yes. And it's a five four? Yes. Top five. Sure. Admiral Blorpity Blorp Bloop. Where <laughs> did he come from? I got two of them. <laughs> They're twins. Admiral Blorpity Blorp Bloop. Uh, I get three tickets. Admiral again. I am going to make this balloon an 8-4. Yes, please, Adam. He's a uh -oh. civilian. <laughs> All right. Combat. Sure. Swing for eight. I take eight. <laughs> From that balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. It was because he rubbed it on his head first. Yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> Draw. Um. Okay. Roll for my attractions. Yeah. One. Absolutely not. Mm. Under no circumstances. <laughs> um. Ooh, but I do get this. I am going to play this autograph book, which I just drew. Yeah. Um. And when it enters the battlefield with a page counter on it for each person who has signed it. Uh, three, tap, remove a page counter. There we go. Um, draw a card. And you know, you notice a lot of people signed it quite tiny so that they could, um, <laughs> so they could fit a lot on here. Here's you though. <laughs> here's, here's Adam's signature. You can you know, see that's it. That's not bad even for Adam considering he holds a pen in his fist. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> so All right. I just... How many signatures are on it? Um, seven. 
Uh, to be fair, I wasn't going to do anything until Maria said, hey, don't you play Megan? That's true. Yeah. That did happen. So really, it wasn't my fault. One, I couldn't be. I can't be playing. Two. You know. Um, three. I'll, I'll tap it and remove a page counter. Yeah. And draw a card. That's so many page counters. I know. Page uh, Master starring Macaulay Culkin. This, I'll play this forest. Um, and eight, eight four flyer to deal with. I, hey. <laughs> cool it, Buster. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Kay. I should have killed that balloon stand instead of that roller coaster. Eight four. Yeah. Untaps. Draw step. Roll. Roll. A five. I get nothing. Adam, sorry, just yeah, here. Can we just double check? It, do you have the right number of tickets in your on on your player oh. right now, or do we need to spend some of them from that? Uh, the oh, four? I have to spend four. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Did we get the three from ETB? Yes. 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 Master board. We did. Great. Sorry. Thank you. Keep forgetting tickets are a currency. Big cheats! Big cheats! Uh, I'm going to tap three. Yes. I'm going to put the best in show on... Yeah, of course no, wait, you sorry, are. sorry. I'm going to put it on here. Oh, all right. Sure you are. Uh, I will go to combat. Sure. Trigger on ambassador. What happens? Um, at the beginning of each combat, you may have ambassador blorp 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 bloops base power and toughness become equal to the total power and toughness of all stickers on permanents you control. So it also is an 8-4. Yes, but best in show means that this is copied. Our so this is an 8-4. It copies abilities. Okay. Combat. Yeah. I die. <laughs> <laughs> I die big Oh, it doesn't time. target? Hold up, hold up. Wait. Yes, it doesn't target. No, no, oh, they're right. They're right. Well, you don't die. You're I'm set. not dead. It doesn't target. Okay. Let's just read Blue Ribbon one yeah, more yeah. time. What does it say? Spells and abilities don't, they have to target. Okay. It is spells and abilities. Becomes the target of the spell Big cheats, big cheats. And this cheats. is just a triggered ability just that doesn't target and affects thing. this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Glad okay. we caught it before the person. We All caught right. it. So, how much? I so, take, swing out. I take you for. I, I take nine. I was okay, at ten. You were at ten, so I you're at one. Yeah. You must continue to play this game. Thanks, Cam. Go ahead. It's what I do. Well, I should be more aware. This I wasn't trying to cheat you, by the way. I'm sorry. Sure, you weren't. Um, okay, uh, I'm going to roll to visit my attraction. Mm -hmm. Four. I visit both, right? them both again. Nice. Mm. Um, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, throw this, throw at this dart show. The dart throw. <laughs> dart show. This is a dart show. Oh. Of a buddy, dart throw. buddy threw a dart at me. Mm. Put you a dart on my brand new cigarette or my brand new jacket. <laughs> I'm exceptionally brand bad at this. Cigarette. I should consider yeah, not okay. having this attraction in you my know deck. What? I would never make it either. So <laughs> hmm. that's hard. Um, okay, this one, uh, same thing. Same three cards mean the same three things. I pick one for me to search for. Um, vampire or zombie? Is, Is that right? okay? Uh, ten, make ten, it ten quick, seconds. Quick note: It's yeah. The, you're looking for pictures, not the actual yes, creature. Yes, I'm device. aware. Yeah. Okay. Um, Ready? Yes. Set. Go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's a zombie. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. I get two <laughs> tickets, and then I can put a sticker on a non-land permanent I own, sacrifice it, and open an attraction. Um, all right. I have three tickets. Do I have anything that can save me? <laughs> well, I'm going to go with that's a strong no. It's going to be like a pretty aggressive no. Mm -hmm. hmm. um, but you know what? I, I am just going to, you know, like for a good time, yeah. um, give Brims like this nice bear. I feel like he just wants it, hmm. you know? There you go, Brims. He just wants it. It's it's soft and fluffy. Exactly. Oh, pick a beeble. Hmm. Um, all right. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to take a page out of this autograph book and draw a card. Yep. Oh, Wrath of God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to one, two, three, four, five. Um, cast this Tuscan Whiskers just because it's cute. Yeah. Mm. And then I'm gonna scoop. Okay. All right. <laughs> we do. Are we doing another one? 
Yeah, man. Okay. We've got 20 more minutes. Oh, we got 20 minutes? Which yeah. is more than enough time for you to kill me yet again, Adam. <laughs> Don't worry about it, buddy. I'm sure in 20 minutes... <laughs> I'm sure in 20 minutes you can beat me up to two more times. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll even find a third use for the tarp. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Oh, stickers. Oh yes, unsticker your cards, please. Uh, is mine? Nope. Wow, dart throw. I need to get better at that. Hey, maybe or don't do that right beside your microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna sit on my hands. Yeah. How many dots? Yeah. How many dots is it possible to put next to your name? I guess right now there's three. That seems well within the range of dots that you can put. Oh. I couldn't. I'm actually surprised how messed up Admiral Blorpity Blorp Bloop is. That card seems very good. Yeah. Real solid. Three tickets is a lot. Three is a lot it of is. tickets. Yeah. It is. I didn't think. I was like I mean, when I drafted him. I was like, you look. Fine, them, I guess. Drafted them. I was like, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. As it turns fine, out, I'm glad Blue Green is finally getting like good cards. Right? Yeah. Yeah. God. They're due. Yeah, they're due. They are due. Ever since they took Oko away from us. Mm. Wow, hot take. Shiva <laughs> in chat suggests switching decks. <laughs> hey, I believe in my yeah. deck. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I believe in my deck. Not also, need Shiva. I believe in my deck. More boop. Ambassador Blorpity Blorp Boop. Yeah. He's yes. a civilian now. <laughs> I believe in my deck's ability to lose, but to take a longer time doing it. Remember, did mm -hmm. you shuffle your uh, attractions? Yes, I shuffled my attractions. Okay. Not have human <laughs> gender. <laughs> okay. Let's just so, ask they're, they're they. They. Okay. Yeah. They don't have human genders. Hmm. Knew it. They're not. Oh, no, I thought you were shuffling your attractions. I already did. You want me to again? No. Too late, I am. Too late. 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 <laughs> What's happening? I don't know. I'm I, sitting on my hands, look, so I oh, stop. Things, things get. Oh, I mean, the last <laughs> round usually things get a little weird. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little weird. So you sometimes I make things a little weird. You Two, covered three, your coworker. Four, five, six, seven. <laughs> nope. Oh, boss. Wow. I would go to seven, too, by the way. What? Oh, my. <laughs> All right, let's just call this one. Like, this is a wash. <laughs> Shuffle up. That's statistically unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Jeez. I've never seen I don't think I've ever seen that before. Really? Yeah. I've this never... is your first time drawing seven? Like, drawing... lands? Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Yeah. I don't think so. Not that I can remember. Can I just pay you to play Arena for me? <laughs> yeah, sure. That's wild. I mean, I've seen a lot of Six Landers, right? But yeah. I don't think I've ever gone the full... Well, we've all seen Six Landers, am I right? The full Monty, you know? I need to put the stick down because it's starting to make my wrist hurt. Yeah. <laughs> I've never drawn all lands. Well, for my opening seven? No! I don't, know, I don't think that, that's pretty unlikely to, for that to happen. Yes, to it anyone. is. Yeah, it is pretty was, unlikely. Yeah, that's why I'm just like, why is everyone shocked that it's never happened to someone? It's, it's just like even less likely to have to go to four before you see a spell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But here we are. And here we are. Okay. <laughs> what did you do? I touched it. <laughs> I told. I, I did it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck. Um... Sure. <laughs> Do you know what? Yeah, Whatever. I'll keep this. Um, I'm going to... Put this on the bottom. That's right. Okay. I'm forced to wonder now, what happens when an astronaut gets an itchy nose? Uh, Forrest, go. 
Uh, I think they just have to live with it, Cameron. There, there's a small piece of Velcro on the inside Go. of the... Oh, is there? Dad, uh, Chris I, Hatfield answered that question at one point. He, there's a I, little piece okay. of Velcro inside oh, to that's rub on. <laughs> that's so clever. I wonder how long it took them to get there. Was that like Go Gemini ahead. astronauts being like, yo, I need... <laughs> I was up there for three days. Uh-huh. You're ramping. I hope I get to pie eating contest. I'm actually hungry. Oh. And it's scavenger hunt again. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Go ahead. Trust that. Yeah. Play this island. Sure. <clears throat> Tap three. All right. I'm going to take a play Ticketomaton. Ticketomaton. I get a sticker, and then I'm going to put a. I'm gonna give this ticket automaton a nice candied apple. Oh, that's so nice. There you go. That's just okay, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. that's just nice. Yeah. Yeah. That feels like something a three year old would do at an amusement park, like give the robot a candied apple. Three. We visit it. Ooh, okay. Alright, same randomization as before. Yeah, something a three-year-old would do. No, I mean it's. I mean it's just. <laughs> hey, three-year-olds are really cute. A quiet yeah, no, I, roast I, of I, Adam. I just meant that it was a very sweet gesture. <laughs> For a simpleton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, that one. All right. Once again, a what is it? A metallic creature. All, All right. right. So, ready, set, begin. <laughs> no. Nice little video. Tick, seven, tick, tuck, six, tick, tuck, tick, five, tick, tuck, tick, tuck, four, tick, tuck, three, tick, tuck, two, tick, tuck, one, tick, tuck, tick, tuck, deck, deck, deck. No. <laughs> I stress me. <Rude. laughs> Vicious. Adam came here to win. He's in his opponent's head. No, I came here to make Maria or Megan laugh, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't not laugh. Wow. Not, not. You wanna? I couldn't afford to live in Victoria if I wasn't living rent-free in people's heads. Yeah. <laughs> true, bestie. Very true. Um, all right. I am then going to play uh, this little discourtesy clerk. Yeah. I will open an attraction. Okay. Um, I open pick-up people. What does this one do again? It's like, if you do a bunch of stuff... If you, you have to... three attractions, you draw a card and lose the life on your end step. Okay. Um, all right. Your turn. Okay. I'm pretty sure I hung out with discourtesy Trust clerk it. in high school. Uh -uh. <laughs> I think we all we all did, or we were either you hung out with or you were the discourtesy clerk. <clears throat> uh, this is awkward, isn't it? God, do I need to kill that three two? Only you have the answer. You have a green mana open though. Oh yeah. Could be fronting giant growth. Do you have Embiggen? Yes. <laughs> no! <laughs> That's something that somebody who didn't have Embiggen would say. No? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, a tap of land. Sure. Land's blue no. ribbon. Can somebody tell me which creature of mine is the best in show? Get out of here. If there's only one target, does it have to be that target? Can they, they can't choose no target, right? Let's read the blue ribbon one more time. Yeah. So when enters the battlefield, ask the person outside which creature you control is most deserving of a blue ribbon. And, but then you have to attach the, the blue ribbon to that creature. Yeah. So if you only have one creature, it seems fair to skip this part. Okay. Although ma perhaps not that much fun. But we're going to have more fun doing other things. Mm-hmm. You have a blue ribbon Ticketomaton. Yeah. Nice. Go ahead. Oh, interesting. I award this blue ribbon to the Ticketomaton as there were no other candidates. Ticketomaton yeah. experiences a range of emotions. <laughs> uh-uh. Roll them, visit my attractions. Three. I visit them both. Uh -huh. um, all right. We'll do, uh, we'll roll for the pick a beeble first real quick. Uh, three, I make three treasures and put three, wait. 
Roll a six sided And create a treasure token. So I make a treasure token, and then it has three luck counters on it. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and then next I will scavenger hunt. Um, I will search for a zombie. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Ready, set, begin. <laughs> Nine, eight, <laughs> seven, <laughs> six, <laughs> five, <laughs> four, three, <laughs> two, <laughs> one, <laughs> deck down. No, I believe that this is a zombie who is running this ride. I believe you are correct. Or is that a vampire? Or a vampire. But it says vampire Zo or zombie. Yep. You want to look at it? You want to decide? Do we need to call an art judge? Looks like an elf. It Look, it has the same pallor as this discourtesy clerk. It's got pointy ears. Does she have pointy ears? Oh, I, actually, OK, fair enough. I don't know. That's what I'm wondering. Because look, it has pointy ears. There is No, that's elves. its headset. Oh, it's got a headset on? Yeah. Can we get can we get the height bar card on the card reader? <laughs> you know what? Yeah, you can take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all yours. Yeah, go ahead. Well, this goes back into my deck. <laughs> um, I get two tickets and can put a sticker on a non-land permanent I own. Um, so can I get two tickets, please? Two tickets. Um, and then um, call the artist. Call the locksmith. Call the locksmith. I mean, there is the precedent. Lan of War Dead are a, a zombie elf. You know, I'm just going to put mm. a nice little like alert on this, on this alert. ride. Yeah, alert. Mm. You know, beware. Watch out. Um, and then I sacrifice this um, and open an attraction. Bounce Chamber. Return a creature you don't control with the lowest toughness among creatures you don't control to its owner's hand. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> That's so bad for me. Um, and then play this forest. What are you at? <laughs> um, I will play this grabby tabby. Yeah. Um, and then um, I will. Uh, Sacrifice this treasure to play down for repairs. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non land card from it. That player discards that card, destroy up to one target attraction that player controls. Okay, well, I'm going to let you know right now it's a bunch of five drops. Wow! <laughs> I have Admiral Blurbity Blurb Bloop. I have a pie eating contest. Okay. I have Admiral Blurbity Blurb Bloop. No! I have Fight the Blank Fight, and I've got Super, Super Duper Lost. Well, I will take Fight the Blank Fight. Yeah. Uh, that card can get right on out of here. Mm -hmm. Um. And then, uh, you know what? I am not going to. Um, not going I'm to not going to offer a trade to you. So yeah, I will just simply pass the turn. Okay. The uh, the true power play would be taking the pie eating contest <laughs> and denying Adam. And denying food. Adam. Yeah. The the chicken. It's your turn. Yeah, I know. Okay. Hmm. Boy, I'm in trouble. I guess I will tap three, and then I will finishing move. So I get two tickets. Boo. Uh, I will add... We'll make it so this thing can tap for a mana of any color. Oh! Mm. And I will punch that thing. All right. It punched. That cost me two tickets. Yes. But that's all I can do. Go ahead, Megan. This is the only shot I've got, y'all. I just am <laughs> flooding. <laughs> I wish I was flooding. Uh, three. I will roll a six sided die for Pickaby Bowl. Um, I make a treasure token. Yep. Um, and then I put three counters on this, which makes six. If there are then if there are six or more luck counters on pickle people, claim the prize. So I make two treasure tokens and then sacrifice this and open an attraction. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Information booth. I love drawing cards. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, I am then going to cast this buddy. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I will put a counter on this hat, on this cat, on this hat. Um, and attack, oh wait, I'll attack you for five. Ow. Yeah, I take five. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. Um, and then I will play this forest. Go. Okay. Untap. Draw step. Uh, I will tap three. I will play a bioluminary. It's a two and a blue for a one three. Whenever it atta deals combat damage to a player, I get two tickets, and then I can put a sticker on it. Maybe. All right. Uh, go ahead. Um, I'm gonna roll for my mm -hmm. buddies. Five, nothing. Okay. Um, hand me the moose. <laughs> Bring me the, the moose. moose. Pass me the Thank moose. You. Charge the moose. Charge. Here comes the moose. Bogafos, fetch my moose. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. I am going to go ahead and um, attack for five with menace. Yeah, no blocks. All right, take five. Yeah. Okay. Um, go. Go. Yeah, I said go. <laughs> Just asking. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think I said? Jeez. Uh. I will tap four mana and All I will right. play this ball arena. It's a four mana three three flyer. When it enters the battlefield, you put a name sticker on an on land permanent you own. Uh, All right. Can I just put in? Can you put a name sticker on a thing that doesn't have a yep. blank space? Okay. Yeah. I uh, will just put and it. And you can put it wherever you want. And if it doesn't fit, you can like turn it sideways or put it underneath. Bioluminary pants. Perfect. Oh. I heard that those are the hottest pants you can own right now. Go ahead, Megan. Um, two. Bounce chamber. Return a creature you don't control with the lowest toughness among creatures you don't control to its owner's hand. Get that out of here, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. Um, and then after that, I'm afraid an incident has occurred. I'm so sorry. Oh, you're killing me. But this. that ball arena yeah. is dead. Super dead. Super mm -hmm. dead. Yep. Um, and then I will attack you for 10. Mm, no blocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I die. All right. Yeah, see, there you go. And that's perfect time. <laughs> I got one because you only have three lands in play. <laughs> that's not true. I was well, really I hoping. I was hoping I was going to draw one land because I wanted to super duper lost. I was going to uh, get the door. We have an extra door, like a portable door from the other room, and I was going to drag it in. It would be very funny. So does everyone pretend that happened? Mm -hmm. And it was very funny. <laughs> it was, on top. It oh was my very God, was funny. Like, oh, okay. The one I wanted to centrifuge, but alas, we did not get to. What does this do? It, where we draw cards from each other's libraries. Oh, yeah. Right? But you get treasure tokens, so. True. I don't, you're going to be able to cast, cast some of my cards. Some of them, yeah. But not the white or the black ones. <laughs> what a delightful time. Yeah, that was fun, Megan. Yeah, except for that time that you covered your coworker with a tarp. Your coworker slash friend. No, it was the time that you ate chicken was the worst. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's all the matches we had lined up for the Infinity PPR for today. So, um... Thank you very much to Wizards of the Coast for letting us run this. Thank you to Megan, Maria, and Maro for all being here. Um, but, yeah. Uh, just, well, we will catch you in the future. And now, this. Bye, everyone. Yeah, bye, everyone. By which we mean...
We will now thank subs. Yes. Right. That's just goodbye to the YouTube viewers. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah the, the YouTube viewers are gone now. So everyone can go ahead and dig in there. Yeah, it looked great. Oh, I also fine. forgot to thank uh, our judges. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, hold up. Before, well, look, everybody eat some chicken. Yeah. While you guys yeah, yeah. are out having some chicken, I want to say a big thank you to Surgeon Nelson, who's been here all day. Hooray! And, and uh, all of the chat Good judges. Chicken. Yes. I don't have a list of all of the chat judges. I can help. Uh, thank you, yeah. Nelson. We had uh, Rob and MC University and Pharmacist Judge. I think that was it. I'm not sure. Did I miss anyone else? Let me know. Or MC Judge, Judge, if I missed anyone Judge else. Judge Rob. There. Judge Rob helped us, and so did. Trevor, LRMTG, and definitely Min at Pharmacist Judge. I think it was just the three of them say, slightly smaller crew. So thank you very much. I needed your help. Yeah. And also thank you to all of our other mods, our chat mods who've been working hard in our Twitch chat. Thank you, chat, uh, thank you, chat friends. Thank you to uh, Ben and Graham and Matt. Uh, all of whom do videos and stuff like that. And Paul and Ben for running the board. And uh, Picks and <laughs> Picks who did the uh, mango pixel, who did the intro video, yeah. and the chicken who gave it life, yeah. so that uh, we could have some chicken. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Adam, can you like scooch a bit down? You're a little tall. Perfect. Do you want the chair, Adam? No. I took okay. Adam's chair. This isn't the least <laughs> comfortable way that Adam is going to sit in this room today. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and don't forget Manalik. Our last. Oh, oh yes, I'm sorry, Manalik, you were in there too. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching.